I just need to I need to get it behind me. Oh, this is kind of a cool spawn for going south. Risky, but cool. I need to just start afresh. I need to not be constantly being nagged about what just happened. So we're going to do that right now. This is good. This is good because um, it's very risky, this play. And when I've had this spawn in the Happy past, Monday, I've said this before. There's a risk I might starve to death. There's a risk I might starve to get death going this way, but we're going to do it anyway. Cassio Mike, thank you for the 16 months. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Happy Monday, Z. Hope you're good. Sick what? Thank you for the 17. Flemo, thank you for the 3. <gasps> Nine pills, thank you for the 7. Uh, I see what you did there, you cheeky bastia. <laughs> uh, Diddy Dog, thank you for the bits. I, I'm not so bad. I'm calming down a little bit now. How did I get into Day Z? Uh, I was a Call of Duty player. I nearly said streamer then, but I definitely wasn't a streamer. I was playing mostly Call of Duty and COD Ghosts had just come out. And I was watching a few videos on COD Ghosts. I played some other games, but all FPS and I was only a PS3 console player. I, I didn't have a PC for gaming or anything. And uh, I was watching a Go COD Ghosts video and then after it, the same the same YouTuber had a video about Day Z. So I just thought I'd have a look. I'd never heard about it. And I, I, I kind of watched his video and he... His video was like, in case you don't know what Daisy is, this is the concept kind of thing. And I was like, that seems really fucking interesting. You know, you do what you like. There's no narrative. You're not meant to achieve a certain goal or finish a round or whatever. You just, you just play, you just do what you like and see what happens. That seems really interesting. So I watched his whole video through and the next one that was recommended was one of Frankie on PCs. And so I watched his entire back catalogue of videos. And that was in like November and December of 2013. So yeah, much like a lot of people, I watched Frankie on PC's videos and then went and played a game that wasn't even the same game. I was watching a load of Armour 2 modded stuff with helicopters and bases and god knows what, and then went and played a game with three guns. <laughs> and fucking loved it. <laughs> Obviously it got bigger than that guns-wise, but when I first started, you know. It's Brishka, I'm going to keep working on it, dude. I've got to the point where I need to get myself some, uh, like I need to get like a poorly walnuts and whatnot to like go around collecting for me. I need some people to run collections. Come around the wrong way here. I need things to prevent frostbite. And we ain't gonna fight. I, I was running along the beach thinking I would, uh, thinking I would maybe get a fishing rod, but I need to go to the actual military base. Like he's got a hat on, which we could have. Oh, I just put a hat on anyway. But I need to get myself some gloves and things. You know, I ain't, I'm gonna struggle otherwise. So I'm gonna go back round that way. We are gonna struggle. This might be a death, but this one's gonna be good though because what we're doing right now is a big gamble. If it pays off, we'll be down south real quick, and it'll be epic. If it doesn't pay off, I'll be dead, and we can try again. You do cork, yeah, you start with nothing. Is it worth making rag clothing? Cranky, it absolutely is if you're playing on this. Now, uh, I don't. I, I don't make rag clothing because I prefer the challenge of the game. I, I prefer to have to look for it. And Like right now I could get frostbite in my, my hands and my feet. Sorry, my hands and my face. Uh, and I really like the challenge of trying to uh, achieve something, you know? Like trying to find the gloves, trying to find the balaclava and... It's much better. I've also only spawned with two rags, and I need those for bandaging and potentially making a fire as well, so I can't really uh, spare my two rags for making rag stuff anyway. Rag clothing is vanilla. It was added in 117, I think it was. It's been added fairly recently. The problem is, though, on regular standard servers like Chernerus and Livonia, like the official servers, you don't really need to make rag clothing. It's more of an, P it's more of an RP kind of thing, because... It's really Namalsk that needs rag clothing, but Namalsk it kind of spoils the survival. It makes it a bit shit, I think, you know. You can make stuff with two rags, but I need two things and I need those two rags. So these rags are, uh, are disinfected. If I use them to make, uh, I don't know, gloves, then... Uh, Yes, I've got gloves, but also if a zombie makes me bleed, I'm dead, aren't I, you know? 18 months, woe. 
They're slightly warmer. That's from a player, but we'll take it. I think that one spawns any loot. It doesn't. So what I'm really hoping to find here is a bal balaclava or a pair of gloves. The fact that there's nothing doesn't inspire too much confidence, to be honest. Someone's been through recently. How you die? Uh, well, I'd killed myself just now. I was just getting a bit... I was stewing over the... the that's cool. I was stewing over the uh, bad luck that I had, in my mind anyway, and uh, so I have had a fresh start to try and forget about it. Forget about it. This is dead dude loot, but it's quite handy for me. That's also good insulation too. I'll keep the dry bag. So slightly better clothing. The helmet is better. It, it, it gives us more insulation. Spare pair of gloves, but probably won't need them. But thank you for years of enjoyment. Have a great stream. Uh, no thanks. Bu scopes cool. Two. All right, we'll have two. We don't need them, but why not? Uh, Bunneting, dude. Thank you for the continued support as well. Very, very kind, man. Thank you. Can't affect, afford to be hit by these zombies. That's good. I can make a fire. See, the biggest problem is that this is the cutoff where you, you don't really find food south of here. So I'm running this way, but I'm going to need to find a fishing rod uh, or I'm really in trouble. You know, like I need a fishing rod or I'm going to have to find rope to make a fishing rod. Right now I don't have anything to cut a fish up with, so even if I can fish, I can't I can't cut it up. That's someone shooting fairly near the air, airfield as well. This is this is gonna prove to be a mistake, I'm already regretting it. Sabotage, I'm I'm always on on Mondays. I won't be on next Monday because it's uh, the funeral of uh, the funeral. I just, I, I, I can't be bothered with the, the idiot drama that comes where every time I say uh, the word, the word, I, I just, ugh, it's... Uh, Flitwell, thank you, sorry, Flitwell, thank you for checking it out, I appreciate it. Don't turn her around. I don't want to see you cry or some shit in it. Just walk away. <laughs> It is a bank holiday, but I don't normally I normally just stream on bank holidays, Fudgy. There's I don't have an employer that's gonna like pay me or give me double time or some shit, right? I'm the employer of me. <laughs> so uh normally I just stream, but uh I'm not gonna stream next Monday because it's more uh, I think it's a bit uh of a different thing. It's not just a bank holiday, it's like a pretty important day, you know. I don't think I should just stream and talk about tiny peens and shit, you know. I'd I'd rather just not. There's plenty of time for peen talk thereafter. However, what I am going to do on Sunday, all being well, I'm not. This is not set in stone, but just yet. But in an ideal world, on Sunday, I'll do a 12-hour stream. So I'll. Uh, I normally do a 12-hour on Monday, like today. We're only just getting going. Hopefully, we'll actually play some Daisy at some point. But yeah, I. Uh, I intend to do a 12-hour on the Sunday instead. I think we better go up to this industrial. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a knife, some some means to make rags, possibly a lighter even would be good. Can I ask a question? I've been searching for NBC loot on Deer Isle Matt Vanilla. I keep checking power plant but getting hardly anything. Can you suggest where else to look? The best place to look is the power plant immortal, but it's everywhere, you know, it spawns everywhere. A lot of the industrial buildings, in the backs of cars, you really have to thoroughly search for it. Other places where I found some, uh, the temple is, not the temple, sorry, the swamp is really quite good as well. You can find like the green military stuff all around the swamp. It's a bit rarer, but if you go there, there will be some. So, to be honest, really, your best bet is to loot the power plant, check it thoroughly. That's good. And if you if you've got what you've got, then run to the temple, have a look there, loot what you can, and then run back to the power plant. You know that that's probably the best way you're going to get the full NBC suit. Do 
So you need that for the uh, for the thing, apparently. For the thing, that's descriptive, right? I need that for the thing. For the oil rig is what I'm trying to say. Still haven't got a balaclava. Yeah, it will come when I'm streaming. That's a good point. One minute sub-only mode, you mean? We'll go sub-only mode. Because uh, emotes don't make a noise. And then I'll, yeah, just not talk for a minute. I think that's probably wise. I'll forget about that, though. So, yeah, I, will need, I might need reminding. <laughs> right, that's decent. We can make knives now. If we can, any rock will make us a knife. Right, come on, give me a balaclava. No insulation. I'm going to keep the wellies for now. In fact, maybe I won't. I'm probably not going to do any swimming for quite some time, so I think we'll take the boots. A balaclava or anything that goes on your face, anything at all, would be good. We're going to be getting frostbite on that face any second if we're not careful. Right. A bandana or similar, you know. There's, there's plenty of things we could find. I just need to find one. Gloves, knife sheath, saw. You know what? I think we uh, we're gonna need to get some more clothes for rags as well. We can use that for sawing up the clothes. I don't have to make a make a knife to do it. I need to make rope. I'm gonna have to go fishing. I think we've got to prioritise food over anything else right now, otherwise we're dead. So, if I need, if I can get enough rope, r rags together to make rope, I can then make a fire and fish at the same time, and then we'll be okay. You can make a you can make a bandana with rags, but I'm, I don't do it. I, I'd rather really search and try and find one. It feels much more fun. Do I make a fire? I think I'm going to make a fire in the... Oh, that's not a fire barrel. Let's just do it here. I'm going to make a fire here and just warm up. I think I'd be stupid not to. I'm dark blue. I'm losing health all the time. And if I get the plus symbol, it just buys me no frostbite for another 15 minutes or so. That has to be one of the most annoying bugs. It has to be. It's so frustrating. stand on the fire to light the bloody thing. It's time to start <coughs> Oh good, yellow health. Hodder, thank you for the three months. That's really kind. Mexican Custard, thank you for the 17. Uh, Kappa of 19, thank you for the 13. Slow Mo J, thank you for the Prime as well. Very kind.
That was at the air yeah, that's at the airport. So we should be okay here. One step. Uh, Hodder, thank you again. Uh, Juan Cena, Juan Cena, that's a cool name. plus symbol anytime soon. That's a bit frustrating those shots because I actually need to go that way. I need to go that way really. I need to go and loot over there but I guess we're going to have to go back to the coast. And, and We can get some more clothes maybe but this plus symbol is going to buy me a little bit of time. Maybe I can get to the land bridge but the other island, Tara Island, is a fucking death trap right now. It's absolutely dangerous as hell. Excuse me, right, I don't need that anymore. We've got matches. There could be some leftover loot when the shooting stopped, but I'm not entirely convinced that... Do you know what? I could go with a sledgehammer and what's the worst that's going to happen, but... I've overstretched myself coming this way, like I said I was doing. Maybe we'll just go. It's very big and open. Roger, thank you for the support. So, some of the shots were here. He had a shotgun. Scarf is ruined. It's time to start running. Now starving to death. Oh, we could get it would be so cool to get lucky. fix that. I don't really want it on my head. I'll find some BK-18 rounds. I should not be out in the open here. The shots could be around... There's something dead there. There's something on the ground. I don't know. See, the shots we just heard, he's dead there. We heard some other shots, they were up this way some. Now, I'm not sure if they were still on the airfield or they were in the trees. I'm kind of hoping he might be in that house on the left. If he's in there, it gives me half a shout, because it's quite enclosed. That jacket's a little bit better than my jacket, but I'm not going to take it. <sighs> now where, where 
Where the fuck were these shots at then? He must be. It must be somewhere in these trees. Now I'm in deep shit. I'm, I'm starving to death. I'm going to lose the plus symbol fairly soon. The shots were outside. They weren't inside. I feel like someone killed the guy in the greenhouse and then ran away or was shot at and they, they ended up like chasing somebody else, you know. Maybe the one in the green was with another player and uh, green has been the one in the green building has been killed. Like he's kind of running that way, being chased by someone else. That was, Or maybe they were shooting zombies as they ran away, one or the other. I think we're going to just use the dead guy. I, th I thought there'd be somebody else. We're going to use the dead guy for uh, for a knife, for hooks, and we're just going to go and catch a fish and hopefully not die. We don't need that anymore. Can I cut that with that? No. Nope. Should probably get away from here. Just do a cannibal run. I'd really rather not. Actually got a knife on him, which I'd missed. I feel like there was two players in here. One got killed and the other one's chased away the other dude. Could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. So we need to. We're now yellow. Uh, the plus symbol's about to run out. It's not got very long left. So let's get to the sea. On the way, I need to get a couple more sticks as well. Lee Posi Canola, if you don't like my stream and you want to be all judgmental, why don't you go and watch somebody else? It's fine by me. I've been playing the game for seven, eight years now. I've been streaming it full time for six and a half years. I certainly am happy to play, uh, to play through. More so than most, I won't give up in a survival situation. But if I'm salty about a bug and I want to start fresh, I fucking will, dude. So, in fact, just ban him. <laughs> if he isn't already banned, get rid of him. I'm not being judged by some random twat. Just go somewhere else, dude. That would be good. I, I really love the survival. Not talking to the troll now, I'm talking to everyone else. I really love the survival when you've made a bad choice and then you're trying to dig yourself out of a hole or whatever, you know. When, 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 you, when the survival is because of a decision you've made and you're paying the consequences, you know. That's when DayZ is at its finest. But when you're paying the consequences because of a fucking bug and then a server restart, that is a different story, you know. It, 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 it doesn't feel compelling and fun and like... I've made this mess, I'm going to get myself out of it kind of thing. What it feels like is, this is fucking annoying, I shouldn't even be like this, I should have that here, I shouldn't have died. I, it, it sits with you and it sits with you for a while. So this situation is fun. I caused it and when I started running this way I said I was going to potentially cause it too, you know. So I, I think it's really cool to try and get out of jail when you make a mistake or when you try and push a bit too far. But when you're trying to dig yourself out of a hole because of a fucking bug, uh, and then a death that you didn't deserve, and then a restart that wiped your gear when you'd already won the little melee off, you know. That is a different scenario altogether. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the sea and try not to die of starvation. That's the, the main priority. How many hours have I got in this game? Well over well over 14,000 skip scene, despite, or skip sign, despite what it says on YouTube. Like YouTube, I've been saying, uh, when an 11,000 hour player, I've actually got something like 14, 14 and a half thousand. But I think 11,000 sounds better for the title. Even then, people say, show us your Steam hours, like I'm lying, you know, like... 
probably just drifted into one video, you know. <laughs> Go back and have a look through the history of the channel. You don't need to see my steam hours. There's enough proof there now. Do one. <laughs> right, that I'd forgotten we'd got. That's kind of handy. Right, we can use that to cook the fish. But I think what we do is we just make... We're just going to make the, uh, the rod and start fishing. Uh, yeah, well, I played standalone before I played anything else three times three, so I only played... I probably only got about ten hours in Armour 2 mod. <laughs> Dog can, yeah. I, th I think it's fair enough. I mean, sometimes the people that say shit like... I don't remember the guy's name. Uh, sometimes the people that sh say shit like that being completely honest, are not new, new new viewers. They're old viewers that are a bit salty. They've been, they've been banned for some reason. They're on their secondary account. That happens so often. You get you get someone being overly douchey. It's normally somebody else that's come back on another account. You know, that Good happens morning, all the time. Brother. Hope all is well. There keep really isn't that on. many dicks. There's just a small number of dicks that keep redickening. you know. That's quite often the case. I do have a real hook. You're right. I ought to use it. I'd forgotten. I, it, I had it in the boonie for a while, didn't I? Wasting my time on bones. Bam people can watch, Luca, but they can't troll you in the chat without a new account, can they? Uh, Macatree, thank you so much for the 11 months. Tim Dog, thank you for the 3 months. Uh, Hodder, thank you. Mexican Custard, Kappa, thank you very much. I enjoyed it as well, Edgar. I enjoyed it right up until the point where I died, like, by a hair. And shouldn't have done, you know. And then ran back and didn't get to take the loot, which should have been mine, because of a server restart, you know. Cheers for the support, guys. You're very, very kind. Thank you. I really am going to... Oh, do you know what? I've, I've, I'm wrong. If I cook it in there, that, that's no good. I'm going to have to make a fire. If I cook it in there, I can't eat it straight away. So let's get a fire ready to go. In fact, I might as well light the fire and be getting the plus symbol. <coughs> Oak and Bear PC Specialist is my sponsor. Exclamation PC to see their website. Uh, they sell... Uh, they're a PC builder that work in... Uh, they're from the UK, but they sell throughout Europe. Uh, and if you use the code TRMZ, there's a little bit of discount as well. So they're my sponsor. <coughs> they're the biggest PC builder, I believe, in the UK. Uh, pretty good. I'm going to be upgrading with them very, very soon, actually. I'm just waiting for the 40 series cards to come out. What's the most compelling part of streaming Daisy full-time? The money. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. I have to say, it. it's what a lot of people are thinking, so I like to play up to that. Uh, I think that's different for different people, to be honest. I, I think the most compelling thing for me is the 20 years of retail like before I did this. I, I did 20 years of jobs I fucking hated before I did this. So I really value what I do now. I, I don't think... I think most streamers probably do, but I think if you'll say you're, I don't know, 20 or 22 and you've never really do had much of a job, or you could be 25, maybe you've been streaming five years, you've never really done anything else. You might be worldly wise in many ways, you might be way more mature than me or whatever, but if you've done 20 years of a job you fucking hate, or a, 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 like 20 years of regret that you gave up at school and you've done retail when you're actually not that stupid, but you, you're kind of stuck wasting your life, you know. That's the thing that make, that's the thing more than anything else for me, is that I'm not doing the 20 years of shit that I, I was doing before. Uh, it was quite a decision to go to full-time uh, Gravesy, but to be honest, my divorce, or it wasn't a divorce then, but the, my breakup made it easier on the basis that I was, I had to sort of leave my house. I had to go, uh, I had to go uh, like, and back to my parents for a couple of years. I had no choice. I was paying half of all the bills. I had a mortgage and I had to keep paying that even when I wasn't living in the house anymore for a while. So, uh, going back to my mum's and then 
eventually ended up not part of the household anymore, not having to pay the bills. And I was then in a position where I was financially a lot more secure to take the risk. You know, I'd, I was still, obviously I was paying like money towards my kids and everything, paying maintenance and what, like, like you do, but I didn't have to, uh, I didn't have anywhere near the same responsibilities bills wise, so I could take the risk and see how it went. See, I just went red on, on thirst as well. Very nice, Dolkan. I hope it goes well for you. Do you have to restart every game with nothing, or is it something... You, you do, Cork. Uh, if you die, you lose everything. Daisy is an all-or-nothing game. It's a survival game. It's like an... E so, it, no matter what you do to try and keep your loot... Is that someone else on me? Hello? I've got no gun or anything. I'm not a threat if you're there looking to kill me. I think there's nobody there. I think it was me. Yeah, no matter what, when you go into a game like DayZ, you need to go into it knowing that you're not going to keep your stuff. You know, it's a lot like life, you know. You might you might work really hard, do really well, and buy a new house, and buy a massive great mansion, and you might be driving a fucking, I don't know, a Ferrari and a Porsche and a whatever else. It doesn't matter one jot ten minutes after you're dead. You know? <laughs> it's a lot like life, you know. Like DayZ's like that. You need to go into it knowing you can't keep your stuff. You can't take it with you. You just can't. When you die, it's gone. You can do things like build a base, like a little base, like a little fort to try and keep your stuff, or much more efficient way of doing it would be to, like, get a shovel and bury dry bags with loot in it so you can leave yourself stashes, and then they'll be there after you're dead and you can go back to get them. But even those will get looted eventually. You know, if you leave a base on a server, it'll get raided and everything will get taken, you know. Your underground stash, sooner or later, someone's going to find it and steal your stuff, so... Nothing stops your stuff from getting taken. Sooner or later, you're starting with nothing. But Daisy is a story writing game, you know? Starting with nothing and, and the adversity of the challenge and the people you meet along the way. Like, just now, I'm only fishing and surviving because I got roped by cutting up a dead guy, you know? I had to go towards the firefight. Luckily, the, the, the firefight had moved away, so I cut the dead guy up, took his, took his stomach, used a knife t to cut it. I also used a, a bone knife from his bones to cut his stomach up, make rope, and now I'm fishing, thankfully, because of some dead guy's stomach, you know, that's kind of a cool narrative for a game, you know, we take it for granted in Daisy, but the idea that I'm actually surviving with the stomach entrails of another person that was a player in the game is a really cool thing, you know, and I think people don't, we all take it for granted, but that mechanic alone is something you wouldn't see in most games, you know, it's very cool. <coughs> Uh, well, that's what I was doing, 60, 60, uh, 6 Danger. Exactly the same, but I, what, I started streaming when I was still... It might have been one of the reasons why me and my ex split up, but to be honest, the main reason was that we didn't love each other anymore, I'd say. But uh, I was starting my streams at 9pm. So I was streaming at 9pm until, say, 2am, and then I was getting up for work at 6am the next day. So it is really hard. To, like, if you're streaming... like. To be honest, when I first started streaming, I wasn't really worried too much. And I, I, at the time, we just the kids were a lot younger. I was kind of used to functioning on about four hours sleep. I, I just was used to it, you know. Like you've got young kids, you don't sleep very much, you know. But uh, it was a challenge. The only reason I was doing it was because not long after I'd started, it was clearly growing. You know, I, I started and it was going pretty well on Twitch. I mean, and I, I got Twitch partnered inside <laughs> three months. I was like, bloody hell, this could be my way out of my troubles. You know, I'm in a lot of debt. I didn't start it for anything other than a hobby, but within three months I was Twitch partnered, you know, I was like, fucking hell, well, if I'm Twitch partnered, now I can have a sub badge. Back then, there was no affiliate, so you couldn't have a sub badge unless you were a Twitch partner, and that was quite hard to achieve, so if you were a streamer with 50 viewers every day, you couldn't even have a sub. You could, Nobody could sub to you at all. There was no subbing whatsoever. Uh, so you had to have something like 100, 120 viewers at least every day concurrently to try and get partnered before you can have a sub badge, sub button, you know, so uh, it was, it went it went really quick and then it kind of made me realise that I was in a lot of debt and perhaps streaming could be my side hustle and so I put more and more time into it and then after we split up I put more and more time into it because I had more and more spare time, you know <coughs> Luca, yeah, I should be printing the fish, shouldn't I, yeah Jungle Dave, dude, thank you for checking out the vid, I appreciate it, thank you. 
This is going pretty well now. We're doing okay. We're, we're now okay food-wise. Hydration is not so easy. Uh, ban, Banza, Banza, you. I, I started on YouTube before I started streaming, so that's that's what I did. I, uh, so yes, I do edit. However, I've stopped recently. The last couple of months, I've been paying an editor to do them. And to be honest, the, the edited videos with somebody else doing them are a little bit better, I think, than my own. Uh, Uncooper is a very experienced editor, and he's very good at what he's doing. But also, he's editing per hour being paid, whereas I was trying to fit in edits while I was a streamer, you know, I just didn't have the time. I, I, how I, I used to do it, I'd stream five days a week and then Thursday was my edit day, so I'd take a day off Twitch to edit, but I might have six hours to get the video done and whatever time, I, whatever video it is, I've got to do it that day. If I was doing a really long video, so for example there's a video where I'm playing with Lottie and it's like, it's about an hour and 50 minutes long, the, the Daisy Duo PvP event one. That took me about 13 hours, I think, maybe. And I did it all in one. I had to start at 8 a.m. I finished about 9 p.m. or whatever it was. It might have took 12 hours, I don't know. But I could only do it that day, so I had to start at 8, finish at 8, and that was that. And I can tell you for a fact that there's nothing more mind-sapping than editing for, like, <coughs> 10 hours or so. And then when you think you're finished, you've then got to re-watch the entire video to make sure it's right. I think I came in you around know. when you were hitting closer to 700 <laughs> viewers, and I've absolutely loved your content since. Dude, I catch thank you the very YT much. stuff more often than the stream these days. Thank you. Oh man, Johnny, thank you very much for the support. You're very kind. But yeah, I, I, I'm glad I'm not editing at the moment. But I d I've done editing for eight years. And as soon as I got full fibre internet, I, I spoke to Uncooper about him editing my videos. Because I then had the <laughs> upload speed to make it possible to share the footage in order to uh, get it made for me. There is nothing worse than doing 10 hours solid editing, eating your lunch while you edit because you haven't got time to do anything else. And then at the very end, you have to sit back and spend an hour and 50 minutes, minutes, not minutes, watching the crap that you've just made when you will just want to die. But you have to watch it back to make sure. No matter what, when you've edited something, there's always a slight mistake. There'll be a little gap where you didn't leave the, the, the video quite right or there'll be a, a fade that's not right or you'll have put some text somewhere and then you've moved the video and the text doesn't marry up to the video or whatever you know there's always a mistake always and I've always watched my videos back 100% every time to make sure I don't leave the mistake in the video you know uh, it's little things like that that matter I think for YouTube growth you know a little bit of focus on things like that kind of help uh, some people don't, you know, like some people will like, they'll be coughing and coughing and sneezing or whatever and they'll just leave it in, you know, even in the narration, they'll just leave it in. <laughs> like, but yeah. Uh, old man Johnny, thank you again. Rasak, thank you for the 12 months. Uh, Luca, dude, thank you for the new sub, that's very, very kind, thank you. So one thing we're going to struggle with, on this island there's nothing to drink. There's no, uh... There's no water. There's no well. Best insulation. Okay, we'll have that. They knifey booties. Oh, I just dropped my belt. Okay, I'm glad I, I realised <laughs> that. Actually don't really need that knife, but... Where the knife has gone now. I double clicked it, it should be in here. Let's carry on. Yeah, to be honest, I've always, one thing I can say about me in editing is that it's, it's a bit like me in anything, really. I have Keep this thing where I don't like starting a job, whatever it is, never mind editing, but I don't like starting, you know. If I've got something hard to do, I'll try and put it off, you know. But once I've started, I have to fucking finish. I, I don't know if it means I'm... I don't think I'm on any kind of spectrum or anything, that's not... What, but I can't help it. If I've started something, even if it's just writing an email, like, I struggle, you know. The house could be burning down and I'd feel like I need to finish the email before I before I put my phone down or my... get off the PC, you know. Did that Zed have a green, green plate? That one didn't. Nope. I can't, I can't not, I just, 
So I might delay and delay and delay, but with the edit day, I knew it had to be that day, so I can't delay it. It's either that day or I don't do it. And then once I've started, I can't stop. And it, it, it's bad. Like, my missus will be like, I've made us some dinner. Do you want to come down and eat it? And I'm, like, almost angry at the idea of not being able to just carry on editing, you know, which is really dumb, but I kind of have to finish. I don't want to stop. If I stop even for half an hour, it'll take me another 15 minutes to get back into the flow of what I was doing, and I ain't got fucking 15 minutes. I just need to get it done, you know. I, I, I'm really bad at doing that and letting go. Hotfix coming next restart for the mouse. Oh, there's an update from Sumrak today, is there? Please tell me it doesn't put NBC loot at the fucking oil rig, because I've... Uh, I've, I've been turning down NBC stuff. I don't think I need 12 of that. Sorry, three of those. I think that's a bit overkill. <coughs> Brakes are shown to increase overall productivity. I, I, I think that's dependent on the person. I don't think that's the case for me. I... When it comes to editing, I just want to do it, and I do it in a block, and I can focus on it like that, you know. I, I, I just can. Maybe it's partly because I've been bred, like, not bred, but I've kind of learnt it with streaming, you know. Once I start, there's no breaks on stream, you know. I'd just rather have it a block. I'll take a nice, big, whacking great break when I'm done, you know. I think it depends on you and what you're doing, uh... Like, if I would imagine it's like very similar in a way, but not the same. It's much more creative. But if you're writing a novel, for example, or if you're writing a book, or if you're writing, I don't know, if you're writing three pages for a website on a news story or whatever it might be, I would imagine that a lot of people that do that don't like to interrupt their flow because once you're in a flow, it's kind of streaming out, you know, like it's much more creative writing something than it is editing, but it's a similar kind of thing. Once you get into a flow of it, you can carry on and break in that rhythm can make, make it really hard to get restarted again, you know? Uh, so apparently there's a soft soft fix. I don't know what it's for. Hot fix, sorry. Are these ad breaks new? They are, Bogger, yes. They're going to last for the whole month of September and then that'll probably be it. Guys, I'm just quickly downloading uh, a short for YouTube that Rexler's kindly made me. Thank you, dude. Just quickly downloading that now while we wait for the hotfix to come through for Namask. So let's go to mods. Let's see what one needs to be updated. Namask. Namask Island. Update pending. And Namask Survival. Update pending. So I'm just updating the mods now. It still says update pending for some reason. Oh, it's done it. Uh, danger, dude. Yeah, that's a long day. Long. That's a very long day. I hope you're getting rewarded handsomely for the very long day, dude. To be honest, Lima, I, I, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, but... <sighs> I don't want to say, I, I, I really value every viewer. I really want people to watch. I, I really do. But some of what you said there, I, that thought has crossed my mind, you know. If, if I'm playing ads like three minutes every hour, if it's upsetting a viewer so much that they just won't watch me anymore, did I really need that viewer anyway, you know? And that's the, that's, I'm not saying that's defin definitive what I think, but that thought has crossed my mind, you know. Because if they're that easy to get fucked off with my, my stream, then sooner or later they were going to go anyway, you know. Yeah, I'm the, I, I am the same sneaky lizard. I, I am exactly the same as you are there. But yeah, I, that thought has crossed my mind about it, you know. Like, I, I really love the fact that Twitch is free, and I hope that there's never a paywall with Twitch. And I... I, I, it is going to make me more money having the adverts, but that when I was trying to decide, to be perfectly honest, guys, what happened was I go along with my blinkers on, paying no attention to anything, and every month Twitch offers me something with, with regards to adverts for, for each month. 
and, and they offer you like like a little bit more than you normally earn on adverts in the hope that you'll play adverts and I never do it I I've been turning that down for the hour. last year I charge a minimum point two to account for time to get back on task I, I've been turning them down but on the 30th of September sorry the 30th of August wasted uh, happened to whisper me and say you should check your advert offer apparently they've been offering crazy amounts to streamers for this month for some reason so you should check it and I checked it and it was a crazy amount it was a crazy amount enough to make me think about it and I was I, I actually I had to take my mum to the hospital and I was talking with my mum about it she knows nothing about streaming she knows absolutely nothing about streaming but I was like this is the this is what it is this is what it means I can't really decide I'm not particularly in favor of adverts if I'm being, being honest for a game like what I play it's a bit frustrating you know like there might be one minute of action and if that happens to in coincide with the the 90 second advert it's really frustrating but and and she kind of rightly said well if people if people aren't prepared to to go with that especially given like I'm watching the telly in the evening and <laughs> she's obviously 71 but she's quite quite a good quite a, I, I watch I watch Sky and every 12 minutes there's at least three or four minutes of adverts so in an hour you're actually watching about 40 minutes worth of TV so if I if I can watch that and your viewers can't watch 57 minutes of footage and three minutes of not it's not quite fair because live footage is different to pre-recorded you know you it actually pauses it's a different comparison but the difference in the time of ads is so huge you know that she kind of said if your viewers aren't prepared to go with that and get 57 minutes for free because there's a few adverts on then m maybe they might not have stuck around so much anyway and that's exactly what she said and that, it did make me think exactly that to be honest you know Yeah, well, to be honest, I'm, I'm not really... Jabok, this is nice because nobody's moaned about it and can't have gone all full bore. This is just a conversation. I'm happy it's to here. talk about it. It is finally here. Thank you for everything, Paul. Cheers. I'm happy to talk about it. It's a lot nicer to be talking about it this way than, like, deflecting someone that's only been here for five seconds normally that, that's moaning about... Or even worse, has been here for five years that's kind of moaning about it because that's not what, what happened this time. So it seems a bit more of a good time to talk, you know? But yeah, it's no, uh, it's no great shakes. Uh, but uh, th this, this one, like I was just saying, I didn't even know. I, 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 I've been checking this advert offer that they make every month, and it got to the point where I was like, I'm never going to do this. They're offering me like a little bit more than I normally get. The adverts Hit are only a small portion of everything. Mate. I'll just live it, leave it. I won't bother, you know. And then this one was just kind of too good to be true. So I was like, well, I'll try it now. Then if I'm going to try it ever, I might as well try it now, where they're going to pay me stupid money to try it. Uh, after, I think you're right. Change is a factor. You're absolutely right, yeah. Would I consider creating my own servers? I don't think so, Casper, no. I need to get that tetracycline. I've got a cold, haven't I? I just, yeah, I just saw tetracycline and I didn't pick it up. Now, this is a bit of a weird way of doing things, but I've just given myself... I've just taken my blood and I'm not going to make that blood bag viable. But I want this to replace the blood I've just taken, but also give me hydration. So I'm a little bit struggling for thirst right now. We're at a load of hospitals. We're going to find more than one saline. Uh, we're going to find more than one start kit. So I might as well take that one and start my hydration coming back. Look at my hydration. It's going up. It would be kind of stupid not to do that, right? Well, I think it was this one, wasn't it? No, it's the next one, I think. So let's cure the cold, get our hydration up, and then find some more. Mostly bug fixes for the suit. Okay, thank you. Yeah, going back to the server question just briefly. I think I might have missed some alerts. So Sipsilon, thank you very, very much, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, cheers for the continued support, dude. Yeah, I, I'm not in that very. I'm really not keen to host a server anymore. I, I never really hosted a server, but my name was on Spaggy's servers, the Running Man servers, right? So they were Spaggy's servers, but my name was on them as a means to try and help them be a bit fuller. And it did work. It helped. A lot of it was down to the servers, but uh, it was a good plug and it really helped the servers. And, and certainly through sometimes where it was the only server that was full for first person for a time. Go back three, four, five years ago, you know. Uh, it really worked, but it, it just, as my stream grew, it it became a bit like the ads, you know, it can be a little bit boring to talk about the same thing. 
That was like that, but much worse. Did I just get some... It, it was like every day. Yeah, I heard the suppressed shot. I thought I'd picked up some bullets. That was a suppressed shot for sure. Yeah, they weren't. They were 380 and 22, though. I didn't get the bullets for the BK that I've actually got. Hello, bro. Hello. Had your friend with? Yeah, I'm eating some fish and having a lovely old time. Was that you that just fired the suppressed suppressed pistol? Shit! Running man. Is this you? <sighs> no, it's not me. That's kind of annoying because this is the place where you can get good loot. He's fine. He's just it's nothing wrong with that. It's just a bit frustrating as all. Well. It's fine. I understand why people do it. So, I'm not going to try and kill him or anything, but it, and it just kind of spoils it a little bit, you know? Like I, I want to have a really cool adventure on the mouse, maybe make a video. It just I, it'd be much better if people kind of went with it, you know. But it's all good. I I get people do it. But then I can be a bit like, oh, I'm just going to run away then. 15 AW some that's months fine. you're the best. Uh, Zayfot, thank you so much for the 15 months. Very kind. Anonymous, thank you for gifting I'm Bertie the sub. Is long. Hit me up with some ads. You won't get them now, young man. Ish, thank you for the 62 months. Uh, Resurrector. Resurrect? Resurrector. Thank you for the nine months. Wrecked mans. Erect man? Wrecked mans. Yeah, wrecked mans. Twitch baby. Thank you. Diddy Dog, thank you for the bits. J Boy, Jake, thank you for the new sub as well. Both of you guys. One was new, one was a resub. Thank you. Mr. Irrelevant and Prosecute Crime. Thank you. Yeah, I, I understand that kind of thing's going to go on where people are really eager, and it's fine. But it, it's just... I'm not even bothered that it happens. It just feels like it takes away from the game, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm meeting someone, and they're friendly, and I'm like, this could be cool. We could have a little team up. This could be good. This could be really a good adventure. And then when that line comes out, it just makes me deflated, because then it feels like the, the adventure's kind of been... It, it's just, like, never got started, you know? It, it's been... I don't know, the, the engine failed before the race began, kind of thing, you know? The streaming industry, blimey, that makes it sound uh, professional. <laughs> How long have I been in the streaming industry? At the coalface. I've, I've been at the coalface for... Uh, I, I started streaming three times a week at the end of April 2015. Uh, yeah, I started streaming three times a week at the end of 2015. I got partnered in June 2015, went full-time in May 2016. It's all good, Kenny. I'm just having a little bit of a play. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. I understood the question. What's my favourite Irish dry stout? Uh, I don't think I have one. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure he was Gillot. But, or Gillot. Gillot. Yeah, but he knows me from watching the videos. And he probably wouldn't watch the videos if everyone I met was like felt like it was some kind of like fake ass adventure, you know, like or the streams, same thing. But it's all good. We'll be seeing him again in a minute because after the hospital, people always come here, you know. So. Hope you're well, my friend. Just popping in before work. <laughs> Wonder if anyone ever started streaming as a youth. I think that was Amish said, wasn't it? He started straight. Tra he he had like an apprenticeship under some. Uh, under, under some... Well, it wasn't under tutelage, you know. He got no tutelage at all. He got the cold shoulder. <laughs> I believe that's the case, though. Maybe, Dree, but... When, when you're streaming all the time and you're hearing it all the time, it just deflates you. It just does, you know? Like, it, it, it's not a big deal. There's so many streamers out there, by the way, that when they get out... It is considered a faux pas, by the way. It is... <laughs> Like if, if you if you meet a streamer and you start talking about them being a streamer rather than playing the game, it, that is considered like a what not to do thing, you know. People should know that if they watch streams, you know, hopefully. But anyway, a lot of streamers just shoot you. They, a lot of people just kill you. Like, I've done it once or twice over the years. A few times more than once or twice. But 
there's streamers out there that are like, if you won't play along and you won't let me play the game, I'm just going to kill you, and that's that. And that's your fault, not mine, you know? So, the fact that I'm just running away and thinking, like, that's enough of that encounter, I think that's okay. Someone asked if this was vanilla. It's Namalsk, which is a modded map, so it can't possibly be vanilla, unfortunately. This is harder than vanilla, though, you know? It's a harder version of the game than vanilla. Xbox Vanilla NVGs, Tijana, they only spawn at helicopter crash sites, that's it. There's normally four heli sites on Vanilla, only one of them can have uh, uh, goggles at any time, so you have to loot quite a lot of helicopter crash sites in order to find the NVGs. That's just the way she goes. First time chatter, like, maybe you don't. Maybe you watch the YouTube videos and not the streams, which is why it happens more, by the way. So, Vide, uh, I livid or Vide, I Vide, L Vide, might be livid. I don't know. Uh, if you're still in the server, dude, make sure you leave the stream now rather than staying, because if you're still in the server playing along, you might get yourself in trouble with the server. How long does it take a cold to cure? It, it's not set in stone. We might have to take a lot of pills. It might you might only have to take one. Cheers, dude. Take it easy. <clears throat> yeah. It'd be nice to be able to kill that animal, but I don't have no bullets. Hi everybody, it's Dr. Nick. I mean it's Terracactyl. <laughs> Sounding like Dr. Nick. Cheers for coming in, dude. I hope you're good. Hello. Phil Beds, uh, love me an ass adventure. Even a fake one. <laughs> Fair enough. Whatever floats your boat. Right, let's go. Uh, Hot Winger, thank you for the new sub. That's very kind. Cheers for the support. Cheers for the uh, the new subbing. C4E and Mr. Krabs, thank you for the resubs too. And Shellis, dude, hope you're good too. Back a tree. Now that's a word you don't read often. Curmudgeon. It's a good word, isn't it? I should be checking this coast more because this is where these red boats spawn, where you can find the stuff for the oil rig. I was really kind of hoping to find a gun before we do anything else though. Guys, if you are getting DMs on, on Twitch, uh, uh, don't get yourself caught, it's very, unless you know the person. Uh, just block them and report them and move on. So it looks like somebody there, uh, bad skills is getting spam from uh, from someone. So if you're getting spam from someone you don't know or you've not just been chatting about, chatting to or whatever, not about, then uh, if it's something that looks too big to be true, block them and report them and that's that. There's a lot of shits about. Don't get caught by one of the shits. Do we think the day before coming next year will give Daisy a run for its money? No. No, we don't. Uh, I think the day before, if, if it comes out and it's good, great. But I think it's going to be along the lines of The Division or Watch Dogs or whatever. It's that style of game. It's, not, it's more of a survival version, but it's not an open world sandbox game, you know? Big Larry, I've not received it yet, dude, but I'm happy to receive it, dude. If you send it, I'll have it. It got delayed, Lingen. It got delayed. Hi, Joel. How are you doing? 
Uh, most games over promise and under deliver as a rule, I think. But uh, it, it turns out before a game comes out, they try to make it look good so people buy it. I, I think gamers are gradually cracking on with that idea and understanding it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think the day before is not going to be... The thing that really puts me off, I, it could be a really fun game for the adventure and for the game. Like a survival game that's like, I don't know, a little bit like a Fallout type game, but really true survival in a zombie apocalypse. Or a survival game that's a little bit like The Division or Watch Dogs or whatever, you know. That could be a really fun game, you know. It might be fun even for me. But that third person over the shoulder shooting shit that the game has, that really puts me off, you know. I don't want to play Gears of War. I didn't like that style of shooting when Gears of War first came out. Never mind in a game that's meant to be more of a, like a survival -y type game, you know. That over the shoulder crosshair on screen, that's that's a, uh, that that's an arcade game, you know. It's it's not a, uh, it's not a legit survival game. Different people will have differing opinions on that, and that's absolutely fine. But that's mine. I I definitely think it doesn't belong. Love you, hi. Multiple, dude. All the all the all the platonics. I hope you're good. Thank you. It really isn't immersive. That's right. I I definitely agree with that. I'm, I'm very surprised there's no bullets. Oh, there is. Bullets we don't need. Yeah, I've never played Ghost Recon. I've always avoided it for that exact reason. I just, I just can't, I can't face that kind of thing, you know. Especially in a, a mill game, you know, like it's military. Maybe it's not simulatory, but it's a military type game. The idea that the fo the shooting isn't like a first person shooter just spoils it, you know. It's just it's not, not my bag, baby. I don't interact much, but try not to miss a stream while at work printing shirts. Vape, dude, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Cheers for not missing a stream. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Couldn't stand still too long up here. We're going to get shot in the back. Hi, Neil. You're right, dude. It's supposed to be fun to see your character. Well, I'm not I'm not crying on third person here, right? But it, it might be fun to see your character, but... Some games suit it and some games don't, you know. If you're playing a platform game where you're jumping around and shit, it suits it, you know. Maybe if you're playing Mirror's Edge or something like that and you're jumping up and down. Or, Mirror's, Mirror's Edge was first person and much better for it from what I remember. But do you know what I mean? Like, some games suit third person and that you can make sense of it. But a game where it's about shooting, if, if I'm meant to enjoy shooting, I don't want just a random crosshair on the screen. That's like aim trainer, you know. I want the gun. I want the gun in my hand and want to aim down sight or hip fire if I want, you know. Oh, that's the first one we've found. A nylon filament. We need to find another two of those in different colours. The cranes are where you can find weapons. You can get Mosins and stuff on the cranes. Yeah, so normally you get decent enough weapons as a rule. of having my ashes stored in a glass air remains to be seen. <laughs> That's kind of so so kind of mediocre it's actually okay. <laughs> uh, thank you very much to, for the support, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Vape and Bon Lad, thank you. Yeah, I need the pipe wrench for the oil rig, as if someone's asking. You need a pipe wrench for the oil rig. It has this bit where it's got like gas escaping and you can use the wrench to stop it somewhere. I don't know how to do it, but I know we need it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the fuck? Why would it not let me light it there? Oh, you have to choose placement with it. That shows what I know, doesn't it? Oh, you do. Yeah, you have to. You can't just like. Okay, that makes sense. I give up. Let's have a little. It thinks there's a ceiling, that's right, it won't let me light it. I've carried it around as much as I can carry, I can't carry no more, fuck it. We need to keep looking here. I'm not done. I don't see me needing that. So it's nice to find one of these. At least I know what they look like. They're like a little spool of uh, wire and shit. I think that's a famous. Gasoline. Right, I'm in trouble now. Red thirst. I might go back to the hospital. The guy... The guy that kind of interrupted us there has cost me future sailings. I could fish, but I'm going to have to... Oh. I'm going to have to get the plus symbol before we fish. I think we might do that. I think that's probably safer. Keep on running. Just watched your video from yesterday. Dude, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Cheers for the continued uh, resubscribing. Aztec, thank you. I, I really enjoyed that run, but it, it came to a bit of a... Uh, Crescendo. An unfortunate one. Guys, watch the video, it's great. No spoilers, but there's a spoiler. But it's no spoiler. But it is. Uh, where's the matches? Please tell me it's not wet. I don't think it is wet. So we're, we're dying of thirst right now. I got a bottle. I might have a bottle, dude, but I can't drink it. You know, I, I, there's no well around here, so... There's only a tiny, tiny little smidgen in there. What I could do, I guess, is run up and fill it full of snow. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I'll do that. And I need hydration more than I need energy, don't I? So that might make some sense, maybe. I've seen the MK2. What we'll do then, we'll get the plus symbol. I've got to come back here. We're not finished. We'll get the plus symbol, and then we'll run up the hill, fill up this, and then I'm going to have to dry, dry it at a fire. I, even then, I, I can't drink it. I've got no... Uh, I've got no tabs. I've got no charcoal tabs. But that's not actually going to work. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to catch some fish and, and get some hydration that way for now. I've got Tetra... Uh, but it's a bit of a risk to give yourself cholera and then hope your four tetras are going to cure you. You know, that could come back and bite you on the bum.
They would work, but maybe four might not be enough. It's it's a job to know. I don't think you can just drink the snow, no, I don't think you can. Will I try to make a deal with God? No. I'll try to not get an earworm. Make a deal with God. God You can eat the snow brown pants, but you can still get sick from it. I'm pretty sure you can get cholera. I'm sure you can. Yeah, like you say, Gringo, you need a cooking pot and then you can boil it and then you can drink it when it's cooled down. Can you boil the water in the pan? Nope. You can't put you can only put water in the cooking pot. I know I've got the palace, guys. One sec. It's time to start running! Sorry guys, I'm just quickly emailing, which is it's kind of important. Like a one paragraph, one, one sentence. Right, there we go. So, I'm cold as hell, but I have got the plus symbol. And we're just going to have to go fishing and then come back. This is going to be really dicey. I, I, I need to go back to the hospital, I think. I think the hospital is going to be the way to go. Maybe there was chlorine in the last yellow container. If there was, I'm annoyed I missed it. But if you want to go back and check on the VOD or something, that would be great. Or if somebody saw it else as well. Uh, hi, Geronio. Hey, Geronio. How you doing? Uh, yeah, Geronio. Geronio. <laughs> it was a map. Yeah. I, 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 there's a few things that look similar, but I would. I even I feel like I wouldn't miss chlorine tabs, given that I'm dying of thirst. But you never know. Jaywit, dude. Thank you very much for the seven months. That Swiss dude. Thank you for the eleven. Aztec. Thank you for the twenty-six. It's a modded jacket that's been added part of the Windstride mod, the jacket. Swooge, dude, thank you for the three months. That's really kind as well. Right, got to keep... Uh, I've got to get a fish real soon. This is not great. Cheers. At this rate, I'm going to start losing the plus symbol and dying before I've uh, caught a fish. There we go. Oh, you have got to be fucking shitting me. Not only have I got my boots in the water, it's one of the phantom fish. I hate that. I hate that with a passion. What am I printing? My P45. 
Well, at least it's a good one. Passion Haitley, exactly. I think I might use this this time. So if I use this, I can't eat it straight away. But I can catch another fish while I do this. Joe, I think I'll be doing mostly the mouse. I've got a team up tomorrow with Joito. Uh, we'll have a chat maybe tomorrow morning between each other and decide if we want to do Namalsk or not, but I think I'll be doing Namalsk for a good while until I either do the oil rig or I've had enough of trying. Until I get to land here with the spacesuit, basically. One more circle. I don't think it's cooked yet. I think the sound has changed. Here's a great red. You can't eat the fish without cooking it, Canned Reaper. It's not based on real life, really, necessarily, but you can't bear grills it and eat it raw. If you've got pills, like vitamins, you can eat it raw, but the devs have made the calories, like, ridiculously low. So it's not a feature that's based on realism, but you don't get very many calories from a fish if you don't cook it. So. The idea behind it, obviously, is to try and encourage you to play Daisy the survival game and not just eat raw fish all day long. Jaw, yeah, this is this is pretty hard. Now, I've made it harder for myself because I've gone running off some stupid direction. Can't take a bite. You can't eat food on the mouse if it's over 65 degrees, so that food's cooked, but I can't eat it until it's cooled down. Teapot, I don't think you need a full MBC suit. You, 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 what I think you go to the oil rig for is to print a suit that gets you into Lanti Lantia. Good luck with today's adventure. Oh gee, dude, thank you. Sorry it was such a short one yesterday, dude. I'm hoping we can get a better one next week. I've got a collab booked for next week, and I, can't, I, I think I said Wednesday to you, didn't I? Which I think works. I've got Muller on Tuesday next week. So I think Wednesday should be fine, dude. I kind of need another fish, really. I don't want to just stop with these. Mickey, thank you very much for the 18 months. Do you need worms for fishing? You can't get worms on the mouse, uh, so you have to fish this way. And on every map in the game, on even on vanilla like console, you can fish without a worm and you will catch fish. It just takes longer. So if you use a proper fishing rod with a proper fishing hook and a worm, you catch a fish in like seconds. And then everything you do differently than that gradually gives you less and less chance of catching a fish. So if you use a proper fishing rod with a proper fishing hook and no worm, you still catch quick fish quite quick. When you start using the improvised rod with a bone and such like, it starts slowing down your chances some. Hey done gamer, hope you're good dude, I'm pretty solid man. I wish you could whitelist, the only bait you can use in, in this map is uh, the only bait you can use is uh, is worms. If you can't get worms, you can't get bait. What doesn't make sense, Geronio? Geron, I know. I can't get Geron. I can't get your name. If you're talking about uh, fish, there it is actually possible to catch fish. This little hook that I'm using is it's a little bit like a very very basic lure. If you look at it. You can catch, I've caught fish in the UK in a pond that's got too many fish with just a shiny hook. I've caught fish with chewing gum, I've caught fish with a little bit of chewing gum wrapper on the end of a hook. 
fish are dumb. Not all of them. If you're trying to catch a great big fish that's been alive 40 years, or however long fish live, I don't know, 20 years, you know, they're going to be quite wily and quite hard to fish. But if you're in a place full of life, if you go to the Amazon and put a hook in the water, I'm pretty sure you'll probably catch a fish, you know. Fish are dumb as shit. When I was fishing uh, on, in Cornwall the other week, there was fish trying to eat my float. Like, it's made of plastic and they were biting it all fucking day. Fish are dumb. If I put a hook on my float, I would have caught fish. Uh, Mickey Finn, thank you very much for the tier 2 18 months. That's very kind. Thank you. It would be nice if you could use other bait. I really would like that. If you could use other bait, I think that would be epic. But you can't. Rating for the Running Man's Fish Review. I'm not happy about the amount of fish. I'm not sure if that, that thing being on will have reset my plus symbol. It may well have done. Uh, Mickey, OG, Optimore, thank you very much. Optiman's Twitch baby there as well, Optimore. Thank you. It's one of those Happy things that... Old. I'm hooked on your YouTube. Always great content. Oh, thank Sammy, you. thank you very much. Cheers for checking out the vids. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the kind words. Thank you for the resub as well. It's one of those things that it would be nice if the devs had time to improve down the line, but with everything else they're trying to do, it's like job number 1053, but they could make fishing so much more fun if they varied the amount of bait you could use, varied the fish, varied the species, varied these, the weight, you know, made some look bigger than others and stuff, but the reality is there's an awful lot of work going into that, you need an awful lot of art, animations and artwork and so on, you know, I guess they don't really have the time or the energy for that kind of stuff right now. But it, it would be epic if you could do that, you know, if you could use different types of bait and it led you to be more likely to catch different types of fish, you know, you could choose to use a bigger bait and maybe take longer to catch a fish, but when you do it's bigger, you know. The fishing mod's kind of fun for a laugh, but I think it is kind of fun. But it, like the doing it as a more compelling, like bait versus uh, like man versus fish, I think that would be fun. I remember on that that Zelda that was on the N64, me and a mate spent all day just fishing. I can't remember what what version of that it was, but you could see the fish swimming around, and there were different sizes. We spent a whole day trying to have a comp, well, not a whole day, but certainly like four hours like trying to catch the biggest one who could catch the biggest like we'd like alternating one each one each one each he was also we, we used to do a lot of gaming but we also used to go real world fishing as well so I guess it appealed it might have been our Karina of time I, I honestly can't remember it, I think it was he had an N64 we used to play Star Fox and Goldeneye as well See, I think that is actually resetting my plus symbol every time I turn it on. Which is kind of epic. It's about to run out. You can make a bottle trap, yeah. Frigga, dude, thank you very much for... Friggers, Friggers, thank you for the new sub. I appreciate it. Cheers for the support, dude.
hopefully, uh, ho hopeful, sorry, hopeful veteran, hopeful veteran, yeah, I've got your name right eventually, do, thank you. Your granddad used to use the foil wrapper to lure fish in, yeah, that kind of thing, that, that kind of shit used to happen. The bottle fish trap takes up to half an hour to work. You, it won't work on the mouse because you can't get an, you can't get any bait. You need to get a worm for the bottle fish trap, I think. I think you can use a piece of fruit as well in the bottle fish trap, and you catch slightly different fish, I think. But uh, you need to bait it, and you, it takes up to half an hour. So you need to leave it, leave it in the water, go away and do something else, and come back 25 minutes later. Well, half an hour. So this might seem... Please give me the fish, you cheeky fucking bastard. It's ruined my hook. That fish that wasn't a fish took my hook, it did. How do I like the new coat? It's cool, actually. I think these coats do look pretty badass. Five months now, love the latest video. Enjoy your stream today. Busking Gamer, thank you. I'll do my best. Thank you very much. I don't understand that bit. When a uh, when ass eleven thousand hours, I don't understand. I don't understand the bit that it should be. Come on. My en my hydration's still trickling up from just those two fish, because I've stayed static since we uh, we did it. A versus Anne. No, no, it should be Anne. So I don't know if I made it Anne. Do they call it Anne or Anne? I don't know. Yeah, it should be Anne. I can't remember back to my school, but it, it's to do with the vowel. It's to do with the. It's to do with eleven thousand, starting with an E. Eleven. So you'd say there's a dog. But you wouldn't say there's a elephant. That's bad, bad grammar. You know, you say there's an elephant. There's a dog. So no, it it should be an. Uh, I'm just minding my own beeswax here, fishing, fishing away. I don't have a gun of any sort. So yeah, it should be it should be Anne. Because I'm more like an elephant than I have a dog. I'm not gonna kill him with five shots. Right. That's a different gun. That was a shotgun. That's a big group. I do I don't really want to take him on with an MK2. We've just put so much effort into keeping my character alive. And now you're talking me into trying to kill someone with with a ten bullet mag in a in a shitty pistol. I don't think I'm going to do it because there's more than one. He's going to be there for a while. What we're going to do, hopefully, is run up here and try and get a gun. I think he might be in that building now, the way that the... Uh, the way that zombie's moving around. 
Distech, yeah, you can ruin the firefights being smart, you can. But you need to have some kind of match, you know, David versus Goliath, you know, like... I, 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 I'd rather, I'm invested, I'm invested. That was a zombie, Adeline. There was a zombie ringing around the fence. It was wearing red. God, I had a few people on the subject of people saying there was a player. Uh, you said it politely, Adeline, so I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about YouTube here, so this is not aimed your way, rest assured. But I had someone this morning on YouTube going, Are you blind? You clearly see the guy you were having a fight with at 40 minutes. And I went to 40 minutes, and I had a look. <laughs> and I've just thrown a grenade, and then I turn around and see a zombie running on the screen, and, say, and then I say the words, Oh, it's starting to acro zombies now. And then I carry on looking for the player. But this dude's getting right angry with me, like right eggy with me, going, Whoa, whoa, whoa you so blind! <laughs> and it happened to... Oh, oh, I don't think I've got bullets for that. Oh, I have, I have. And a scope. This is why we did what we did, right? This was the right choice. Yeah, he was like, you're so blind, you're so blind. To which, so I've replied to him this morning going, well, you're, you're blind and deaf. <laughs> because not only was it a zombie, I also said it was a fucking zombie in the video. He <laughs> uh, wasn't the only one, though. Quite a few people have been, uh, have been correcting me on that thing that they got wrong. That happened a lot in that last video. The one I think it's something to do with the title. The video I made that was like when an 11,000 hour Daisy player gets the best sniper rifle in the server. There was a load of people going, are you fucking blind? There's loads of people running around that, that building. They were all zombies. There were zombies aggroing around the building, like four of them running around because there was a player inside shooting. It was so obvious. Anyone that plays Days Evil would know they were zombies. Yet that they were like really adamantly telling me how much of a dick I was being, you know? Oh, I could do with some some visibility. I have got no ballistic protection. This is incredibly risky, but I'm inclined to just go in and give it a try. Yikes. They might be making a fire. If we get a stab vest out of here or a press vest, that'll be amazing. I'm really worried about frostbite at the moment, so I'm just trying to dry everything I can. R uh, ish, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about trying to get on the roof of somewhere. But not knowing where he is, this could go really badly wrong. I feel like he might be having a fire in there. I'm just doing anything I can to avoid frostbite right now. I was hoping we might find boots. That was open before. I think he's in there. Dry in his bag, he's not by the fire. Been away from Day Z for a while, but your videos seem to be dragging me back in, so thought I'd show some love. Do 
do I do here? And he, he might be leaving. He might be leaving at the other door. There's a load of drop loot. Got a yellow armband on. So he's had four bullets, but only in the leg. I think that's got to have killed him. I do feel like there might be another. I have a uh, it's time to start no. running. It's me, Robber Lady. I have gained sentience and I am here to tell you how much I hate all the dumb things chat makes me say. I'm with you, Robo Lady. <coughs> Why roll off the building? Because it, it hurts you less than than uh, than jumping off or running off or stepping off. You're lower. You, you seem to get lower fall damage. I feel like there's another one and he's hiding in the room. Hello? I hope this works. Should open, it's a sledgehammer, isn't it? But metal doors, you have to hit them a lot more. Holy shit. Fucking World War Three has gone on. Oh my god, right, come on. Where's I haven't got where's his lockpick? One of them must have one. Lockpick fishing rod. Blueprints are ruined. He's got the fucking blueprints. That sucks. Got a bear hood dress. Let's have that. Guys, I'm sure that. Oh, he's got an SVD and this is the geared guy. Plate carrier, that's a Lantia plate, isn't it? Has he got the. It, please tell me he's got the. Oh my god. I need to get this loot away from the open because he's just got killed there. We could get killed there too. I don't want that to happen.
Guys, I'm just seeing something that said you just killed or whatever. If it was another streamer or whatever, I don't want to know, okay? Don't... If you can avoid it, please don't cross tree meta. I don't want to know. Uh, cross tree meta is bad. Let's not do it. There's even a full NBC suit. What the hell is that one? That's cool. You can you can make a wolf head dress. Wow. Oh, baby, I didn't know you could make that. I think we'll keep the wolf one. Sorry, the bear one. Where's the lockpick gone? It must be in the vest that I've dropped, or a vest. I, I don't fucking know. This is going to take me a while. This is going to take me a while to sort out. <coughs> you know, that's still up. Right, first things first. I had a PSO scope before and I dropped it. I'm sure I did. It's time to start running! Keep on running. So Jimmy, we, we don't do cross stream meta, so that would be a no. Like like I'm saying, I, I, if that was another streamer, I don't want to know right now. You know, like I, he's still probably playing the game. I, I don't it, like. That's the point of not wanting meta, you know. So we don't want any clips. If I get killed or if I kill, it's the same difference, you know. I don't want that kind of cross stream meta. It's not like just my stream. Nearly everybody does the same thing, you know, for the exact same reason. Like it just. Like, if, if someone's then like, oh, so-and-so, I don't know, stream twat number one is in your server, and then forever and a day, like, people will be like, oh, stream twat number one is getting near you now, you should be careful, you know, it, it just encourages cross-stream meta. In this case, I'm stream twat, you know, I'm not saying whoever that was was stream twat, but you get the point, I don't want to use real people's names, right? We're going to have to do a little bit of uh, galing down this shit. I don't even know if we need the, uh, the NBC suit or not, but... What I can't understand is I had on me a... Uh, I had on me a, uh, oh, there, there's one. Let's just use that one. Just want to lock this door as well. Hmm. Drop the sticks for now. I can't believe between all of these people there's not a scope for that SVD. I had already had gloves. I tried to swap his gloves and I haven't got them. But yeah, we'll work it out. Gloves are not really my number one priority right now. But I do need some. I did try to take theirs, didn't I? But it didn't go in for whatever reason. 
I think we have enough epoxy, really. I probably don't need three. I think three epoxy is probably pushing it a touch. So apparently you need a full suit now. So let's let's start worrying about that. How many bandages have I got? One, two... I'm really annoyed that I don't have the... Uh What's epoxy used for? You can use it for fixing uh, vests and helmets, mainly. You can also use it for fixing parts of cars as well, like car doors. Oh, NBC boots and gloves. Alright, let's put those gloves on for now. Where's the bag with all the NBC loot in? Is that a dry bag? That dry bag's ruined, it's no good. That bag is ruined as well. I'm gonna have to try and find a bag that's not ruined. Right, so let's get That's a full suit, so we've got we don't need the trousers. So we've got jacket, trousers, boots, hat, gloves, mask. That's a full NBC suit, everything we need. We just need to find a bag that's not ruined so I can store it. We'll do that in a minute. I think I'm going to keep my blaze for now. The SVD is great and all, but without a scope. I think it's not really so easy. We could probably... Go like that. That that seems like a good idea. And let's uh, top up the bullets. Don't need that. Don't need that would quite like to take at least one little weapon cleaning kit. I do need to... Also, where's my... Where's my stuff? It's in this ruin bag. I'm going to use the little bits of duct tape to repair these. So yeah, when, when we're talking... When I'm talking about, like, if I... If another streamer kills me, or I kill another streamer... GG, you know, GG to whoever kills me or whatever, vice versa. I, and there's no drama between streamers and whatnot. It's all good. I get on really well with most streamers, you know. I've got a lot of time for people that put in a lot of effort into the game. There's no drama, but it creates drama later on. If you allow that kind of meta and then both of us stay in the same server, then if we happen to be meeting in an hour and a half's time, you've opened up Pandora's box, you know, you've opened up, he's just around the corner, don't go that way, you're going to bump into, he's got an SVD, the guy you just killed just had an amazing, it, it's just, it's meta, you know, it's, it's not what you're meant to know, you know, I want to play the game and only get the info I should get, like everybody else would get, you know, not be told because the other dude's streaming, that's, if I get information from another person's stream, it's like, not stream sniping, but it's as good as, you know, if you if you kill me and you say I'm not stream stream sniping because my mate in Teamspeak was telling me where you were and I wasn't actually watching your stream, it's still wrong, isn't it? You know, you're still, <laughs> you're still stream sniping. It's just you're getting the information via the back door rather than actually getting it yourself. You know, so yeah, pretty much every streamer will will have that. Like, and when it happens in the chat, and we're labouring on this too much, I know that. But when it happens in the chat, it starts to become a little bit like in the school playground. My mate fancies you. My mate fancies you. She says she will kiss you if you buy her a Snickers bar, you know? Like, it's it's just really, like, that kind of level. It, it's not... It's not... It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's kind of like, like everyone rushes in to be the one that gets to do the big reveal. Oh, you just killed Stream Twat B. Stream Twat A, you know? 
let, let we can do better. I would quite like the fishing rod. I actually quite ought to keep an eye out for a drink, really. We can take the cooking pot, actually. That would be pretty useful. So this wrench I actually need, which is really annoying because I'm struggling to carry all this bollocks. So that will allow us to make, make uh, easy enough uh, water. So annoying that he's got the blueprints and they're ruined. That really sucks. Strictly speaking, with a cooking pot on the thing, I don't really need chlorine, but I can take it. I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, I'm running out of space. I've got way too much shit. Way too much shit. What condition is that? Good. Please tell me there's a bag that's not ruined. I need to be able to carry this stuff and store it somewhere. I need to be able to stash it, basically, but I can't stash it in a bag that's that's ruined. It'll just despawn. There's some bottles. I don't think we're going to need those. Personal log, personal log. Is there anything else on this that... No. No. going to fit it all in here, am I? No way. No way. We're going to have to go with a damaged back ruined backpack and just work it out when we can. We'll find another bag. I think that's me done. I think we're just going to go. I'm sure I've missed some stuff, but I want to get the fuck away from here. Something yellow over there. What is that? I thought I saw something yellow by the base of that tree. If I get killed now, I'm going to cry. By the base of the tree. Thanks there, for look. keeping the humour high and my productivity low. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. So that I think is a bag that's not ruined. It's not the best colour in the world, but at least it won't despawn. We could actually bury it if we. Was there a shovel in amongst all of that stuff? I've seen a shovel recently. That was a pickaxe. Okay. Right, 
Right, I know I've been missing some alerts, guys, and I've missed all of the chat, but... We need to get a wriggle on for a sec. Right, where's this pickaxe? Nose in, bodies despawned. I'm wearing gloves. Sledgehammer. Alright. I don't remember seeing a pickaxe. You guys have seen it, which is cool. Alright, no pickaxe. We'll have to we'll have to work something out. Let's go. I need to get away from here, irrespective. rocks did I leave the fucking thing by? There. Sorry guys, I'm just going to hide this somewhere. I just want to do it with the changing server screen up. I think it kind of makes sense to uh, give myself a slightly better chance of uh, looting it back. I definitely shouldn't have muted the sound or anything. Nothing, Nothing's given the game away there whatsoever. It's all fine. That didn't work. That was utterly pointless, but anyway. Right, I do need to make another fire and dry out. Uh, Blakehawk, thank you for the five months. Yeah, I didn't really consider the sound effects there. But yeah, that'll work. Nobody will find it. not even bothered about it. I'm just going to throw it in the ocean. Fuck it. So, what have we got to find? <coughs> we've got to travel the... Uh, we've got to travel the coast looking for the, uh, the the paperwork that was ruined back there. We've got to find that. On top of that, we've also got to find two more filaments on top of what we've already got. Whitelist. The thing in the bag. I had one of them the other day. It looks like an exhaust or a, like a musical instrument. Like an Obama bow or something. Tuba bow. Saxoma phone. Uh, it was a bit that you can put into the uh, device, the, the desk. The When you go to Lantier, you have to put a key card and a, uh, another bit in, into the, the desk at inside Athena 3. If you put one of those in as well, it allows you to stay inside Athena 3 for longer. So it opens the doorway to Athena 3 for an extended period of time. Clayton, there's a printer on Namalsk. There's a 3D printer, which you need to find a load of bits for to print some stuff. Guys, I'm going to have to go AFK in a minute. I need to, I need to use the facilities. I might make a quick cup of tea as well. I'm gonna go now. Actually, I'm gonna go AFK now. I'll, I won't be a sec. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go. The code. The code situation is uh, upon me. You need the suit for Lantia, Willie. Uh, whoever's wearing this vest has been to Lantia. That vest that I've just got off the dead guy. Uh, that vest is a Lantia vest, I believe. It has more protection than a standard vest, so that's kind of cool. Uh, right. Let me catch up with the alerts before I go AFK. 
Blake Hawk, thank you for the five months. Uh, RDW Davy Boy, thank you for the new sub. Fiel, thank you for the 23. Ian Nash, thank you for the 29. Lucas, cheers for the 11, dude. Cold Light of Daisy, cheers for the eight months. Uh, Great Dominus, thanks for the prime. Amdrin, thank you for the 14. Katos, thank you for the two. <gasps> Lurking Scum, uh, Bam Skagen and Sunny, thank you for the support as well. Buskin Gamer, I'm up to date. Dude, thank you very much as well, all of you guys. Thanks a lot. I'll be back in... Uh
It wasn't just a code brown. I had to chat with the missus briefly about stuff. <coughs> Blake Hawk, dude, thank you for the five months once again. Sorry, sorry it took a while. Code red. No code red, no. <laughs> oh dear me. This is quite stressful trying to do this and find the stuff. I think I can upload a YouTube video whilst streaming. I wonder what will happen if I try to upload a YouTube video whilst streaming. It's only, t oh, it's 250 meg, it's fine. Right, we'll see how that goes. I'm only streaming in 8,000 kilobits per second, right? So there should be loads of space to upload. Because uh, I've got, like, my upload speed's about 110. I'm only using eight of that to stream, so it should work fine. Drop more frames than Trevor Sinclair on Twitter. I didn't drop a single frame. <laughs> it's already done it. It's already done the upload. There we go. I'm probably already in the game, though. On the way in. Anyone excited for Christmas? In fucking September? What are you, 12? <laughs> uh, I, I get excited for Christmas like the week before. God save the running mance and let's see you get to the end of this mission. We're told I do feel like doing mostly this for now, yeah, because it's uh, it's such a cool challenge. I really want to do the oil rig run, so I, I might, if I die and I've been streaming eight hours and I don't feel like having another crack tonight, we might switch to something else, but for now I really want to achieve it. Oh, look at that! The SVD was bugged, it had a scope. I'm glad we logged out. That kind of thing is really annoying, isn't it? You know, like, we'd have been running around with, like, even when I found, eventually found a, a scope, I wouldn't have been even able to put it on the fucking gun. I do need to go back though. Oh no, we, we need to check the red. We'll check along the coast for these red red boats. I, also, I really need to make a fire and dry my clothes out a bit though. I thought I saw a shed along here somewhere. I don't know. I don't really want to make a fire in the open. It seems kind of dangerous. That is cool, and that's that's kind of a, a nice scope for the SVD as well. Are there any grenades at the end of the mission? Liquid, hopefully. there's Hopefully there's loads of them, dude. I, I hope there's loads of grenades, because nothing bad can happen. It's time to start. So for now, we've got a few things to do. We've got to run up and down the coast, looking for the red lifeboat. Uh, which is what you need to find to... Uh, you need to find these like red lifeboat things and you need to then uh, loot those for the the plans for the fucking rebel alliance or whatever it is. I keep forgetting the name of the thing that we're looking for. They're not plans. What are they called? What are they called? They're not called plans. They're called... Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blueprints. That's what they are. Blueprints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Ow, I'm looking for the blueprints to not burn myself to death. So we're looking for blueprints. That's what we're after, blueprints. Prints that are blue. I remember it now, prints that are blue, blueprints. We're looking for the for the prints of blue in order to uh, travel to, to Takeshi's castle and not burn ourselves to death. Yeah, so along the coast, find the red boats, find the blueprints, and then we've got to find two more filaments. Then we've got to go to the submarine and get a key card. So all I've got right now is one filament. I need to get two filaments more of different colours, I believe. I think they're different colours, but I don't know. We've got a blue filament. I'm guessing there's like a red and a green or something like that. I don't know. And once we've done that, we need to also get the blueprints, and then we also need to get the key card. I just won $500 on a scratch-off ticket. 
him going to share the wealth. Dude, congratulations. Don't do scratch cards ever again and you'll always be a winner. That, that's, that's good. That's really good. Congratulations, dude. Uh, thank you for the gifted subs. I appreciate it. Cheers for the gifted sub and the bits. Thank you. Liquid, thank you for the bits. Cheers for the support, dude. Uh, God save the running mans. I'd love to do this mission. It would be cool. It would make a good video as well. You found an orange one. Hmm. How heavy is this? Under one kilo. Do you know what? Let's fuck it off. I don't really... I don't... The Mayan detector or whatever, it, it's, it's kind of cool, but you never really need it. Because, uh... I look like Chewbacca. Like, you're normally so close that you can hear it, or by the time you really need a Mayan detector, you're already, like, in the event chamber and you'll hear it straight away, or the desk will start glowing red or whatever, you know? The bare head pelt can only be made on some modded servers, Omer. It's not a feature that's on every map. Or every server. You can't do it in Chernerus at all. It's it's on a few... Well, maybe you can on the right modded server, by the way. But, yeah, it's a mod. Right. Everything's dry. We've got the plus. So, we're going to have to run along the coast this way, looking for these red boats. Keep and then, on running. if we don't find them, we've got to start running back the other way again. That'll be fun, won't it? I haven't sorted my loot out since I picked up all the junk at the, the last firefight as well. I did get the spare rounds for the uh, spare mags for the SVD, which is cool. See, I don't know. I, I don't know if the red boats can spawn on both sides of the island or if they only spawn on the west side. Sorry, the east side, as we are here. I, I feel like they, the red boats only spawn on the east side because they're people that are meant to have arrived on this island from the uh, oil rig, you know. The oil rig is out that way somewhere. So I feel like the boats are on this side because that's where they've come from. could be a red boat there. The thing you've got to be really careful with this is that we won't be the only ones on this island doing it. There's just been a huge firefight at that factory. Like everyone killing everyone, right? There will be others. There will there'll be more coming, you know. This island is it's used to be dead and this new update with the oil rig and what you've got to do, it's turned Tara Island into like you won't survive terror. Barjack, yeah, I found one quite southern, uh, like you say there, so that's what I thought. I thought it was more around the east side, but it makes sense that they can be all the way to the south and the north, you know, so. Yeah, Terror Island, exactly. I did call it that on the stream the other day, but people kept saying, what's Terror Island? <laughs> uh, Bobbins, dude, thank you very much for the 12 months. How heavy is this? 15 kilos. Hard, plate, reinforced, bulletproof vest, able to absorb various types of impact, can be expandable with holster and additional pouches. Okay. Very good. It's time to the dude we killed was... Like, he'd like clearly got the winnings of nice it all, week. you know. Watching from Nashville, Tennessee, smiley face. He'd won the day with regards to what loot he'd got, hadn't he? So frustrating that one of the others had got the fucking blueprints, but hadn't decided to keep the blueprint safe. So now we've got to search, search, search up and down the coast for these red boats trying to find blueprints when we've just seen some. <laughs> we've just seen some. Fucking ruined blueprints. Yeah, I think the red boat I found was around here somewhere.
Uncle Food, yeah, time has passed, dude. Uh, it's, the, it's rare that I would bump into him because we don't stream at the same time so much, you know, so that sucks. Well, Bob, the guy that had the ruined uh, the ruined blueprints was not one that I'd shot. I only shot... I, I shot... It sounds like it was Benfruit, uh, but obviously I'm guessing Benfruit's finished streaming now, so the meta kind of time has moved on. But yeah, uh, hey, Benfruit's a very cool streamer, by the way, guys, so if you get the chance, check him out. But, yeah, he killed some in there, and one of the ones he'd killed had uh, got the ruined shit. See, I don't really feel like the boat's likely to spawn any further south than here. So these red boats, they're not in static locations. They're a little bit like helicopter crash sites, or police cars is probably a better analogy, really, but... They, they kind of can be anywhere along this coastline and then we could run back along the same coastline and see one where we just were. <coughs> it's like Groundhog Day sometimes. Ghost, that's exactly what I just described. Dynamic spawn is like helicopter crash sites and police stations. They they spawn in, they stay there for a time, and then they move. So it's not the same boat, but the boat disappears and then it spawns somewhere else. They have like... There might be ten locations along this beach, across many kilometres where the, the boat could be. Do I think they'll ever add another map to consoles? I think there's a small chance. I, I think it's less than 50-50, but there is a chance. They do have a map designer now. They've got a full-time map designer on. Some rack obviously has been the map designer, but he's now the, like the project lead. But they've taken on a map designer, but I think he's currently working on improving Livonia. So right now they're working on Livonia, but it's possible, you never know, that they might move to trying something else. You, you never know. Some rack did not design Livonia. No, some rack made this map, Namaus, that we're playing right now. Livonia was made by a group of developers that were making it for a Bohemia, so it could be... I think it was Bohemia devs, but they weren't DayZ devs, so they were making a map that was going to be DLC for both Armour 3 and DayZ, so they made a map, and then we get to play it, but... If you're making a map for DayZ, you need to think a lot more about loot routes and endgame and having like a like a good area for r really good like military PvP, but you have to travel a long way to get to it. Several of them, you know. Uh, Livonia's not really got that just yet. It's not thought through brilliantly from, from a DayZ map's perspective. Still a lot of fun to play, but it plays like a very, very small map considering the size of it. I feel like we've near enough done. I don't think it's worth... We're all the way at that industrial now. I don't think we can go any further this way. We're at the bridge pretty much. I guess we might as well check that industrial over there. You never know, there might be players or something, but... Unfortunately, what we've got to do now is turn around and run back and go the other way, exactly the same. So, Jimmy, it doesn't have to feel like Chernerus, but it's kind of empty at the moment. There's just not enough in it, in my view, you know, like, you spawn where all the players are, and then as you travel away, there's no players anymore, you know, like, it... It, uh, it's a play. It's like if you spawned in Cherno and there was not much more reason to go past Mogilevka, you know, like, it, it's a bit too, uh, or like not even, maybe to Zelenogorsk and then that's it, you're kind of just stuck, you might as well go back where you came from, you know. It need, the, the, if you're going to have a map, you need to reason to carry on, you know, like, you need a journey, you know, you need to have a name. If your journey is, I've travelled a third of the map and now it's really not worth going any further, and you just start circling round. You get to so Thank what now? What's the, the point? Really, really quickly. With heart. Kind of a shame that those dudes didn't have MVGs, to be honest. So I think we're too far south right now. I don't think we're going to see any red boats around here. I 
I don't think the bear head gives you any ballistic protection at all. So now we've got to run all the way back, which kind of blows. But there we go. Hi, Tom. Hope you're good. Leave for 20 minutes. What did I miss? Mainly me going for a poo. <laughs> Mainly you missed a code brown. Not much else. <laughs> One sec, guys. That's when you left, okay. Well, yeah, that's about what you've missed then, really. That since then, I've uh, made a fire. I've got got the plus symbol. I've lost the plus symbol, and we're running along the beach. So there's not much to be done right now. You know, we're. Uh, we're having to run the beach. Look, oh, one thing, when I log back in from the Code Brown, there is a scope on my SVD, so I've dropped the blaze. So I'm now rocking an SVD and a, uh, a Lamas, a Fanas. And we're just, we've got to run the beach looking for the blueprints to, to go to the oil rig. So we've got to find these red boats. I've, I've gone all the way from the factory where we had the firefight to here, and now I've got to go all the way back. We've not seen one of the red boats. Give me all the guns. Great content is always, dude. Chronic, I, I don't dream... Of, I occasionally have dreams that are daisy like but they're real world. They're not video games. So I have, like, maybe twice ever, I've had dreams that, like, I'm in a, like, daisy thing, but it's me in the real world. It's not the video game, you know? I've had that happen, like, twice, but that's it. Uh, I don't really do daisy dreams, no, thankfully. You found one at that Digia Passable. Okay, well, I, t I tell you what, while we're here, we might as well go and have a look. We might as well go and have a look, Passable. That's a good shout. Thanks for the bits, by the way. Lycan, thank you very much as well. Because we're here, we might as well. And the longer we stay here as well, the more chance we've got of the uh, the boat spawning back in again, I suppose, as well, you know? So. Why the fuck is there not a player model of in the game of Paul? Smelly, I, I smell yadder. I, I think that would be an absolute massive can of worms if the devs started to do that. And I know lots of people watching right now are fans of me and they'd be like, oh, I'd love that, I'd love that, right? For one, nobody would want to play my character model because it would be so fucking fat that you'd get killed, like, too easy. Be, your hitbox would be massive. And, and for two, there's an awful lot of people that have put a lot of time into the game over the years, you know? A lot of time. Not just streamers and YouTubers, but... Uh, modders, people that are making maps, like people like uh, like John McLean making Deer Isle and C Cabello, uh, lots of others as well, like loads of modders, loads of server owners. I think it creates a have and have nots feeling if you start giving things to streamers in a way, you know. I, I, I'm, I, I'm kind of glad that Daisy are not going to go down that route because trust me, for everybody that loves it, there's somebody else that's bitching about it and it's just not worth it. I'd rather not hear the bitching. I mean, to give you an example of the level of bitching that can go on, in my view, some people might not see it, but somebody on Twitter, on their own Twitter account, nothing to do with the devs, just a, just another like player of the game, uh, who, who also, I think, streams a little bit, tweeted out saying, this new server is amazing, this map is so much fun, and then added like six streamers. And then another person was going, why aren't you adding... Why aren't you adding affiliates? Where's their affiliate love? Why aren't you adding affiliates? You should be adding them as well as partners. The dude had added three affiliates and three partners anyway, but that's by the way. <laughs> People get their nose put out of joint, you know, like, and that's someone's personal Twitter where they can tweet what the fuck they like and at who the fuck they like, you know, like, people like to get upset. And if there was, uh, if there was, like, things in game that were related to, uh, streamers, it would just cause more drama than it's worse. Two years of this shit. Mini KTRMZ love. Ish, that's right. I guess that's it. You know, you you got to be in the you got to be in the scheme. Speaking of which, you're way past you. I think you owe about four years. It's time to start rolling. We have an event Keep it rumbling. T R M Z love. You owe me four years. Woozle, there is, but. If you try to say to that person, it's their Twitter, 
let them let them tweet what they want. They'll just say something caustic back and say you're a twat or something. You know, they, nobody believes that they're the one that's in the wrong. We all do it. I do it too. But very rarely does somebody sit back and think, actually, really, I shouldn't really be caring about this. I, I, I probably should. If you try and reply to that person, they just go, fuck you, you're an insecure dick or whatever they say, you know. <laughs> and they just get caustic, you know, it, or caustic. It's just utterly stupid. To, to be honest-ish, hopefully things are, might, in the long run, calm down a touch, you know. I hope they do. Hmm. Run. Run with deer. Don't need those. Don't need a battery. Don't need that. I'll take those for sure. drink, you know. I was thinking about shooting that deer, but I kind of shot my load, didn't I, there? I, I lost my chances by aggroing the fucking things. See, Parsifal has promised me a filament. He said there would definitely be a filament here. If I loot here, there'll be a filament. An orange one there'll be on the scaffolding. Check check for Check for filaments. There'll be one. You'll get it. Don't worry. Check, check, check. That's what he said. He said I'll uh, tier three sub for the rest of my life if you don't find one. <laughs> Desson, thank you for the 31 months. Asteroids, dude, thank you. An average player, welcome along. You're in the right place. You'll learn from another average one. So let's be average together. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, Parsifal, thanks again. Where is this uh, scaffolding, anyway? I don't even see any scaffolding. There is some more industrial up the hill. It's time to start running. Twitch chat is built on a foundation of lies, is it? What is the lie? It's just a collective let's just talk bullshit. I think that's right. You found a filament in the Armour 2 bunker, did you? Well, bunker me backwards. Somebody the other day was saying they found one at Candy Cane as well, so they can probably spawn in lots of places, but they definitely do spawn in industrial because we just found one there. The only problem I foresee right now is Parsifal's five-year timeout for saying there was definitely going to be one. <laughs> Which he didn't say, but let's just pretend like he did. What's my favourite pistol? Probably the Glock, I'd say. I like the Glock. It should be the FNX because it staggers the zombies, but I just like the Glock. Woozle, I need to look for the blueprints, but we've just done a lot of looking for the blueprints. And now the alerts... Sorry, the not the alert. Now that 
event is kind of rumbling. I'm thinking we need to stay near buildings anyway, so... Uh, Parsifal actually did... This is not a troll. Suggest we look there for the, for the filaments, and I think that's not a bad plan. But now that we've got the event rumbling, I think we're going to carry on doing that. There's, there's some industrial up here somewhere that I've not been to in ages, like on the left side of this hill somewhere. Uh, we might as well go and check that. Maybe the one on the top of the mountain as well. But we might as well be looking for uh, for that kind of loops on the basis that at least we're near a building for when the event starts. Was I on semi-auto? Yeah, I need to be on full auto. Let's sort that out. Field beds. I step away for ten minutes. Paul, there's a bear on your head. Whoa. Where is the bear? Over there. Come on. Where are you? Uh, Parsifal, you can find me in the naughty corner from, from now on. <laughs> Thanks for the support, dude. Very kind. But I didn't get the orange filament, which is what I really wanted, okay? I'm like a spoiled kid at Christmas, okay? I wanted a train set, not a scale extra. Holy F, hope you're keeping well, Paul. Less than three. Ariana! 55 months. One of us is getting old. <laughs> I hope you're good. Thank you for the support. Very kind. Thank you. Davey, the the bear hood is a mod, but there is no vanilla Namask as such, dude. The map itself is a mod. The Gauss rifle that everyone ha every server has is a mod. You know, there isn't really van vanilla Namask as such. You know, this is as close to Sumrax vision as there kind of is. I'd say in most pretty much every way. So this is kind of like mostly how Sumrax sees the the map being, if you like. See how much I just flinched then. Holy shit, the flinch. The flinch. Jesus Christ. I wanted to go out the side door, but I was not ready. Why did he push so fast? He possibly thought I'd gone unconscious around the side. He probably hit me with a powerful gun, but this vest is OP, motherfucker. So that vest, he's probably hit me with something that would normally, even a plate carry, you'd probably go unconscious. This vest has come from Lantia, and it's really powerful. It's alien tech. It was a scout, do you think? Well, this, a scout wouldn't knock a plate carrier player then. no guarantee he doesn't have a mate. Looks like it was a savannah refired. Looks like 308.
this cookie pot it gives me warmth now. So this water's boiled. That water in there is safe to drink. What's going on? Why is that not warming up? Oh, it is. and rope flavoured. The, the vest spawns in, armor in A3 now, does it? Armour 3, fucking hell. <laughs> that, that's interesting then. Uh, Zombie Mudder, thank you for the bits. Ariana, thank you again. Phil Beds, Parsifal, thank you very much as well. Kizza D, thank you as well. That was scary. That that I I thought we were dead. I really thought we were dead. It's dark now, isn't it? So I know I'm uh, I know I'm still boiling that water and there's no need to boil that water anymore but there's a simple reason and that's that the 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 thing being on is actually going to give me the plus symbol so I might as well get the plus while we're next to it and I've just got the plus now so let's is now 90 degrees. We can't drink that till it's cool, but we'll be able to drink it soon. It's time to start running. I think that looks really cool. I need to I need to get rid of the uh, I need to get rid of the gun that's on him Guna uh, no I, I think I'm actually gonna go where that place is there are other cars I'm gonna go and test drive something else I'm, I, I'm like they've they've kind of said they can put it on hold now because they've made a mistake so I'm gonna go back and check with them but I'm also gonna go and check some other stuff too so it it's not set in stone yet, you know. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be signing up for a new car, though. I definitely am, but I might. I'm not paying more money to get the same thing. I, I may not need it, but yeah, I'm gonna go and I'll make my mind up. So I'm not doing that till Thursday or Friday. So I won't know till Sunday on stream. I don't think. Roger, I'm, I'm not going to get drawn on it for too long, but there's adverts for 90 seconds every half an hour, three minutes over a, over an hour. The stream is free, but this is my job. So, yeah, I watch if you enjoy the stream or don't if you don't. But that's unfortunately the way it is. And that <laughs> it, is, it is kind of needed because I do stream to pay bills, right? My backpack is ruined. Yeah, that's okay. Not no need to worry about it some so much. Uh, you could look at something like uh, Twitch Turbo, which means you see no adverts across the whole of the platform. 
which is similar kind of thing to YouTube Red or whatever it's called now. If you want to get rid of ads, you can do that. If not, part of Twitch. Censored. Well, thank you for offering another point of view. Uh... It's only for September for now, by the way, but yeah, there's ads for September. Uh, in October, there may or may not be ads. It depends on whether it's worth the, the listening to people either or not. We shall see. I think Twitch want you to use Twitch Turbo, though. I, don't, I think they want people to get it, you know? I, I don't think... I th are you right, though? They don't exactly push it. You are right, they don't. Maybe they don't want you to have Twitch Turbo, but I would imagine it's good for them. I think drinking 60 degree water should actually uh, help reset my plus symbol. Zeros, dude, honestly, I'm not going to start doing that, or would I like people to recommend it, right? Because I'm not here to do that and then tell people to use that. It, that, that would be really dumb, wouldn't it, you know? Like I say, it is... Like, it, it, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't possible, you know? If I couldn't do Twitch full-time, I'd be streaming two or three times a week in my spare time, you know? Like four hours twice a week or something, not five days, 40 hours plus a week. Exactly. Whether, whether it's five ads or whether it's two ads or one ad, it's 90 seconds. That's what it is. 90 seconds of ads. Anyway, I don't want to get drawn on the ads. I, I'm going to talk about it briefly, but it's very matter of fact, you know. Like, honestly, as much as it might sound callous, if you don't want to watch adverts for a stream that's free, and you, if you're not enjoying the stream enough to sit through a couple, don't watch. You know, I know that sounds really callous, but come back on October the first when there likely won't be any ads. Jason, it's exactly the same as YouTube Red or YouTube Premium. If, you, if you've if you got Twitch Turbo and you watch a streamer, then a tiny, tiny portion of your Twitch tur Turbo re revenue gets shared with the streamer. So, like, when you would have seen an ad while you're watching, a little tiny bit of your Twitch Turbo sub goes to the streamer. So it just gets split around the people that the, the person subscribing to Twitch Turbo watches, you know. Bottomless, like I say... I. It's for September. Like, I've chosen to play the ads for September only. So every every month Twitch offers me a deal and they say, we'll give you this much to stream uh, and play three minutes of ads every 60 minutes. We'll give you this much. Every month they do that. I've always ignored it. But September's one was so good, I can't afford to ignore it. It's too good to turn down. So I haven't. Uh, and so for September, I'm doing it. In October, unless they make another too good to be true offer, I won't do it probably, you know. And hopefully, the ad that just came on was after I'd killed the dude. It's really annoying. It's the reason I'm not personally that keen on ads. It's really annoying if you're searching for a boat for 45 minutes and then someone shoots you and you kill them while the ads are running, you know. It, it is frustrating, but. Honestly, the real quick answer Loving is do something to get rid Keep of the ads. <laughs> or, or, or accept it. <clears throat> anyway, nobody wants to hear me talk about ads because we talk about it far too much. So let's move on. I do have the delay ad thing set up-ish, but I'm not using the dashboard to tell me when the ads are due. So... I, I'm just, I've got enough spinning with the, the amount of re messages I'm reading in the chat and the alerts and whatnot to be seeing when they're alerting me that the ads are coming in one minute. I just don't have the eye for it. I can't keep an eye on that as well. Yeah, you, you won't get ads if you're using Prime, dude. You won't. That's That's one of the benefits if you're using your Prime. Ish, I, it would be really great if they reminder. I'm reading the chat, you know. I, I'm reading the chat. I'm keeping an eye on alerts. Twitch, give me a one minute heads up that there's ads coming. It would be really good if that one minute heads up was actually in the in the chat. 
I don't want it on the dashboard, I want it in the chat where I have to look because I'm a streamer that reads the chat, you know. Silent call, you can always go back and watch the last bit of the stream, yeah, if you if you if an advert starts, you can go back and watch from before. You can like you can always watch the VOD that I'm on now from the beginning or wherever you want by going back. If I join a streamer and I'm watching and it turns out they've just had a big firefight, I'll go back and watch the last five minutes to see what happened kind of thing. You know, you can do that, yeah. I've got a little bit sidetracked here. We're meant to be looking for the red boats, but now we're looking for... Uh, now we're looking for filaments again. But we need both, so it's not the end of the world. We need these things, so... Robot lady can't do it. No, unfortunately not, just Jay. I am cold here. We need to be... I'm not going to get frostbite, but we need to be a bit careful. It's looking for players. It looks like there's no zombies down there, which means there's no players. No zombies there either. It's time to start running. Well, Berlin, if the players took them out, you'd see zombies on the ground dead. And if they took them out longer than that, you'd probably see zombies respawning in. Uh, ish, I am too. I am. Uh, I, I, I do think it's uh, it's kind of inevitable that it's going to change, you know. Uh, Fo five C five seven three uh, Foster. That might be Foster. Thank you very much for the seven months. Very, very kind. Tough as Tree, thank you very much for the support as well. Uh, Kirin Shi, Alan, thank you for the subs as well. That's really, really kind. Cheers for subscribing, both of you guys. Thank you. Extreme Gunners. I, all I've got is one filament so far. So I have a filament. I don't really need two of these. I've got a filament. Uh, we need to find another two colours of the filament. We also need to find the blueprints. And then we'd need to go to the submarine to get a key card as well. So we're a long way off. I've just... I found some dead bodies down there. And one of the dead bodies had a filament, but it was... Sorry, had the blueprints, but they were ruined. So right now we're looking for filaments and blueprints on this island. And then... And also, yeah, the blueprints are going to be on the coast. So we're going to check this hospital area. And then after that, I think we're going to do another run along the coast looking for that. And we'll also check those docks again as well. Dunning, I think you can get it. Yeah, the actual original theme song is available on Argo Fox. So you could you could just record it, I guess. You could, you could get it easy. To be fair, I believe it can also be downloaded. There's links in my channel to the guy that created it. I think he has a SoundCloud. I'm pretty sure you'll be... His name is uh, something lavish. I forget. His, but anyway... You, you can download the track on SoundCloud, I believe. It's linked in all of my uh, YouTube videos. Tough as tree. Thank you again for the new sub, dude. Kind of hoping we might get a bit warmer coming down here. Seems not. Only, uh, only dupe. Well, it, it does get kind of fun when you, when you trust some players, but you try and use your instinct to decide which one seems worth it or not. You know, like it doesn't mean you always have to kill the ones you don't trust. Although you can, you know, you can make your own call. But I think it's really fun when you're trying to learn some intuition and make a call, and you turn out to be right, or when you turn out to be wrong and they kill you. It's like a real. It feels even more of a double cross. You know, if you trust everyone, you're going to come unstuck. That's pretty obvious. But if you trust no one, you're not going to have anywhere near as much fun in the game, you know. You've got to try and find a balance and do different plays. I don't have any food, so we could just quickly loot this shop. Holy fuck! 
I'm pretty sure I have missed some other alerts, guys. I will catch up in a sec. Snape, dude, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. That's really, really kind. Thank you. I do also need an IV start kit. I took my own blood ages ago and I've not... I've not fixed it. I've not put the thing on. Snape, thank you for the gifted sub. I haven't missed any alerts. Lab, lab back, thank you for the prime. And the most, thank you for the prime as well. Cheers for using your prime subs on my channel. That's very kind, guys. Thank you. God, that seemed so bright when I turned it on, didn't it? You do normally get food in here, but... Oh, there's, there's one. That's cool. There isn't a great deal of canned food on this island. This is kind of the only place to find canned food. Other than that, you're hunting. I've got desynced by crouching there. I'm, I'm all over the shot. There we go. Uh, Lord Axe, thanks for checking it out. I really enjoyed playing Official. I'd love to be able to play it more. Guys, I, I'm not going to name names or anything, by the way, but uh, this I think this is a really positive thing, right? I had a message last night on Twitter from uh, somebody that works for Bohemia on DayZ. Let's just put it that way to try and keep it as vague as possible. Uh, and they'd said, really enjoyed your, your vanilla video. Uh, Something to the tune of, thanks for, for putting it fairly balanced at the end, given what happened. Uh, I'm going to feed it back to different people, and also we're going to pick things up with Battle Eye as well. So, uh, they are aware there's issues already. They're, my video didn't tell them there was issues, but maybe, perhaps, they can share that along with maybe some other people's videos as well and try and be looking at Battle Eye and sort of challenge them a little bit, you know? So yeah, that's cool, and it, it it's kind of cool in a way, you know, that, that that people that are working on the game are watching videos as well, you know. Of course they should be, but bear in mind yesterday was a Sunday. There's nobody being paid to be a developer on a Sunday, you know. Like, that's somebody taking the time to watch a DayZ video in their spare time when they spend all week working on DayZ. I don't do that, you know. I play DayZ five days a week. I don't go and watch DayZ videos on my, my day off. Fuck that. No way. I think it'd be great for me to have better village. If, if you could realistically play official servers, it would make my life as a streamer so much easier. Like, if you watch yesterday's video, there's a firefight slap bang in the middle of it. I can't have firefights like that normally. The only reason that firefight played the way it did, and I don't just mean because I'm always being stream sniped, I mean because I have to change the way I play and be a bit random. I rush like a madman and I do things really weird and I play in a really aggressive way, but... I can't be like, flank this, flank that, go right, go left, wait in a hill, wait, wait, wait. I can't play the game the realistic way you should do, because if I'm on a community server, a, a one that I fairly often play, or a regular server, and I sit in a tree line for 20 minutes, I just get shot in the back. <laughs> I could be fucking invisible, I'd still get shot in the back, because people know where I am, you know. Unfortunately, like, when I'm, when I'm streaming, there's going to be a small portion of the server that are in it trying to kill me from the stream, you know. So it, it's kind of nice when you can feel like the, the the gloves are off and you can just play the regular game. That's that's quite rare. When I played third person official the other week, I played third person official for the whole day and stayed in first person mode. I had some of the best PvP I've had in ages because it felt legit. It felt like nobody knew where I was. Nobody could find me. And in my own mind, I had the confidence to just play it properly and it worked great, you know. It always used to amaze me watching uh, Shroud back in the day, you know, like on uh, on PUBG. He'd always land at the most busiest place, like he'd always land at the most busiest Happy place Monday smile. where there would be, like any server would have like 20 people going there, but he would land there and he'd get like 30, 40 people going there, all trying to kill him. And he'd just get any gun and go absolutely on the offensive, and if he made it out of the, the area where he started, he'd probably win the round. And he used to do that because what's the point in playing tactical and playing slow and really taking my time when there's 20 people trying to kill me anyway and I'm just going to get shot at some point. So I might as well try and kill them all, you know.
like that that's kind of like I know obviously he's a lot better at it than I am so <laughs> he had a lot much better chance of killing them all you know but that that's that's why you know at the time I was watching and I wasn't quite I was like I don't get it why does he always do this and it's blatantly obvious really but hmm. did I lock that door I did lock it yeah I don't know why I locked it Juito, it's the age. What can I say? I don't really want to loot here, but I do want to find a saline start kit. So we're going to quickly loot this until we do. Thought that was it. So I took that blood bag, sorry, the saline, my, sa my blood was full, but I just took it to give me a little bit more hydration, that's all. I, I don't need to carry a saline, I haven't really got the space, I didn't want to carry it, so I just thought I'd uh, take the saline and give myself the increase in hydration, like a little bit of free more hydration. Night is so long on this server, I don't think it is, to be honest, I don't think it's that bad. It was night when I joined, and that was not even four hours ago, so it definitely can't be one time. Uh, Cashpeer, thank you very much for the support, very kind. Diker, thank you for the six months. Space Shower, thank you for the five. There must be a start kit. I don't want to loot any more buildings, but usually here you find start kits fucking everywhere. I think I've got enough EpiPens. I've got enough bandages as well. There is some industrial here. You, there, there's the chance that we might get one of those filaments here as well. I could pop an epi and take one while looting, but if I'm looting and I'm travelling slow, I don't really need the epi. It's kind of just... probably wastes more time than it saves by the time I've stopped and done the animation to take it. Because I'm keeping stopping to loot, I'm probably not gaining enough to... it's just not worth it. I've not got that much distance to kind of cover. And I do like an epi pen, you know? I, I, I do like it. I'm sure it does wonders for the... Uh, for the, for the health, I'm sure. It must be very good for you, no doubt. <laughs> Take an AP pen just to give you a bit more stamina. All this medical and not one start kit. I mean, come on. screen servers recommend servers or just randomly choose liquid I play on uh, servers that I enjoy I sometimes randomly choose I'd get a lot of emails of people asking me to help promote their server either because they want me to promote their server or they want to pay me to do it you know I I get a lot of offers for promoting servers and to be honest I'm, I, I've stopped replying now because if they were regular viewers of my stream they would already know that I don't do it you know so I, I've replied to so many people doing that but I feel now it, it's not my job to keep telling people I don't do it anymore. I've done it so much on stream, right? So I, I don't promote DayZ servers for money or for free because I just find them and enjoy them. And I do, if I play on a server and I can, like I'll, I'll, uh, like I'll put it in the YouTube comments quite often what server I've been on, you know? Like I've been playing an awful lot on the Spaggy Namalsk servers, you know? Uh, like So for example, I've been playing on those. Certainly the first couple of days, every day I was on one of the Spaggy servers, for example, right? So... I quite like talking about what server I'm on, but I can't do it while I'm on it at the time, you know? Oh, 
I don't think it was passive aggressive zero you hear a lot I don't think that was that was passive aggressive I think that was like a mod talking to a regular viewer I don't think it was but like five minutes before you were recommending people get ad blocker which given you're a regular viewer you know I ain't that 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 pisses me off a lot more than your passive aggressive bollocks dude you know like like why don't you go around shops and start telling all of the all of the people in them to not buy the product but just to steal it instead you know I'm sure the shops will love that. I bet you won't be able to stay in the shop for very long. Ooh. Holy shit, somebody died. AKM. There was an AKM and a, and a SKS. I kind of like the AKM. I'd, I'd really love to use that. I don't have the ability to carry it right now. I'm going to leave it. I, I I don't need any more stamina. I really don't. Oh, sorry. Any less stamina. D-Bear, I would promote a server for a watch. Absolutely. Doesn't need to be anything too fancy either. I'm a sucker for a watch, dude. I'd promote a server for a... There's a Baltic coming out fairly soon. I'd promote a server for one of those. I don't know how much it is, I've no clue, but Baltic, uh, Baltic one that's coming out, a special edition, blue edition one that's coming out soon. I'll, I'll, I'll promote a server for that, no worries. <laughs> Can itchy nose. A cock watch, blimey. How would a cock watch work? You could have the minute hand would be the, the cock and then the two balls would have to be the hour hand somehow. I think I'm done here. I, I think we ain't finding what we want to find. A standing penis. I think it should be flaccid. Th there's no penis staying erect for 24 hours. Trust me. <laughs> 24 fucking seconds is a pretty good go. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. Right, I feel like I'm done here. I I've had enough of this place. A refurbished Karova. I don't know who Karova are, but I'm vaguely interested. Viagra sponsorship, you say? Hmm. Extreme Gunner. Yeah, if, if I found a... Uh, if I found a hacksaw, I would absolutely do it. I think the, the, the FAMAS is way better with the thing, the thing chopped off. It's a Soviet watch, is it? Okay. What part of the map are you on? I'm on Tara Island. Hey, Ken Fry, how are you doing? We're, we're searching for the bits that you need to do the... Uh, to do the oil rig. I have got a full NBC suit stashed, which apparently you need. Which Patek did you wear, pick to wear today? Redline, to be honest, I've got so many. I've got so many Pateks, right? I get a bit fed up Keep because up they, they all go flat because I've got sake. so many I can't wear them in time. They go flat after like, I don't know, 45 hours or something. So I wear one and then it gets to five days later or, or a week later when I'm meant to wear it again on rotation and it's not set. So I just wear my Digical. I just wear my Casio because it just it works and I leave the others in the box. <laughs> uh... Henke, thank you for the bits. Keep up the streams. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support, dude. I certainly intend to. Uh, Dunham, I kind of stopped looting for the red boat just for now. I, I went, I've been looting industrials for the filaments. And I got shot I got shot and hit in the chest by a dude with a savannah. And we've killed him. 
so I, I've had a little firefight, killed a dude, and now I'm still looking in industrial. And then we're going to start from the north and we're going to run along the coast looking for the boats again. Johnny Twitch, that's pretty much the size of it. You need to get the suit, then you need to go to A2, press the button, go to A3, jump in. Uh, go, get press the button at A2, go to the orb, jump into A3, and then survive A3, wait for the event to end. Then you can activate a new one, jump into land here wearing the suit, and it'll be amazing. Will my number plate say the running man's? It's going to say, fuck are you? That's what it's going to be. It goes filament, suit, then power, then woman. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm not going to try and do the accent, okay. Mrs. Diamond, uh, I actually, I didn't talk about it yesterday, but I did kind of reserve a, a Lexus, which is right fancy. But it turns out the dealer, the, the guy that served me, got it a little bit wrong. And he's kind of specced up the, the car and got something wrong about the spec, about the, the suspension and the dampers and whatnot. I actually think I might go back, and depending on how that goes, I think I might switch to something else, to be honest. Uh, I, think, I think it might not be that. I think we might go something else. Redline, to be honest, if I'm being completely honest, the honest truth is that the Toby Pictures thing has gone down because the level of stress we've been under with the dog has been so bad. Uh, like, he has been a nightmare and he's just turned a corner now. It's been so much better, but the idea of putting a picture onto Twitter and being all happy about the dog at the moment has been a challenge. It's been so hard. I, I don't want to go into loads of details because we covered it yesterday, but we believe that we've finally kind of fathomed out what's been causing him to incessantly itch since we got him. Uh, and he's been barely sleeping. It, like even When he was like nine weeks old and he's meant to sleep 18 to 20 hours a day, he would sleep barely longer than me and I sleep six hours a, a day, max. He was not sleeping enough. He was always awake. Itch, itching himself like to the point where his inside of his legs were going pink, sore, and uh, he was like up and like he'd be itching himself, biting himself and crying about it and whatnot. We've been to the vet several times, done everything they said, and we were like, you, could it be a food allergy? This is the short version, isn't it? It's not, is it? But uh, the vets had, like, were like, no, food allergies don't normally show in puppies. That's really rare. Uh, so they didn't think it was. Uh, however, we're absolutely sure that he's got a chicken allergy. Uh, and we've pieced it together with a number of things, like what he's been eating, what's caused him to have issues. But also, uh, his dad is from an American uh, breeder. Uh and we uh, we went to their breed website and had a read up, and their website actually talks about chicken uh, chicken allergies and the issues it can cause on the puppies and how they feed their dogs on something that's avoiding chicken specifically because they found that some of their dogs do have issues with it. So uh, if it's in their like bloodline, if you like, then there's absolutely possibility that yeah. If that's the same dude moaning, moaning about ads, just 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 ban him for 24 hours or something. Then you don't have to worry about telling us about the ads. It's just not worth the bother. I'm not interested in any drama with you, Roger. If you don't like the ads, I don't give a shit. Sorry. You've told me once and I kind of took it. I ain't take. I ain't, tell me once. Okay. Tell me twice. Fuck are you? <laughs> Oh my god! Ah, I've really fucked it up! Roger, I apologise. You're the last sub. <laughs> ah, no, I've got it wrong. Don't time him out. Let him back in. Oh, Roger, dude. Roger, I done goofed. I'm going to have to make that up to you now because I actually genuinely feel bad. I've gone on one of my rants and it was me that was wrong, not you. Uh, right, bear with, Roger, okay? Bear with. Is he still in the chat? <laughs> He's probably gone forever now. <laughs> I get things wrong from time to time, but when I do, I'll admit it, right? And that one I've got wrong, but I didn't see it. I saw his message before I saw the thing, so you can see why it happened. Roger, type in the chat a minute. I need your, I need your name, okay? I need your name. <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. 
Yeah, but I think the complaint again, Quantum, was because he'd subbed, so he was... It, he'd subbed to avoid the ads, right? I think that was like still seeing ads, so he's going to make a joke of it and then sub. That's what I mean, you know? So he subbed to avoid the ads, and then that was the joke, you know? His, that was clearly a joke. I need to click on his name in the chat. I can't... So he subbed and then wrote that, right? And I, I saw them the other way around. Roger, well, the ads were already on the way, so it wasn't a joke then. All right, fair enough. Well, anyway, you've subbed. You won't see ads now, dude, but those ads were probably already playing or already queued before your sub had polled, if you like. So now you've got the sub button and it's there. You won't see any more. So, all right, you were still moaning. <laughs> and that was me thinking it was a joke, but it's fine. You won't see ads now. Nonetheless, I still went on a rant and you'd literally just sub, so you won't see any more. So yeah, you, you need to you need to come away and go back. When you sub, it takes a little while to poll, like anything does. So, like the fact that you're not a sub is probably still cached in your browser, right? So, if you come away and come back, or if you press F5 while you're watching, whatever, you know. But then you're not going to be cached as unsubbed, and you won't see any ads anymore. But you did literally sub like one, well now four minutes ago, because I've been apologising in a backwards kind of way for three minutes. But if you literally sub and then the ads come, it won't have polled in time. Take it easy, Vipe. God, I'm really hungry. I should not be this hungry. Right, anyway, let's let's move on to positive things. I've just rinsed someone that's literally just subbed, so I'm feeling great. Let's carry on looking for filaments. You made cauliflower soup. It sounds horrendous. It sounds fucking yo, awful. Yo, yo, at the running man's 12 months enjoying your dulcet tones. I'd rather eat spunk sandwiches. It's time to start <laughs> Mind you, that, that, that's not true because they would probably be made of bread and I can't eat the bread, can I? The spunk is fine, I'm sure. I don't know, but <laughs> the bread's no bueno. TRM I don't think I have a spunk intolerance, but it's not it's not really very easy for me to find out. Uh, <laughs> why am I talking about spunk intolerance? Stream to a Chromecast. Never see ads anywhere as long as you're watching like that. To be honest, I oh. used my eight mo sub chat for the better rolling on the floor laughing. Dude, you just said what's that on the thing and I didn't see it and you're absolutely bang on. There's another one. Well spotted. Eight months of running man running Thank heart. you. Thank you to the person that said what's that on the thing because there was a filament there and I, I'd kind of forgotten. To be honest, I do feel a bit bad about digging Roger out even though he was still moaning. I thought he was joking. I'm I've not quite recovered from the someone's just subbed and now I'm tearing a new one. I, I feel a bit bad. <laughs> I've not... A little bit like, I don't know, like uh, that time when I was in middle school and I was in the showers after football and I was in the showers and somebody had left the door open and a few of the girls in my class saw my peen and it was small, you know. Now, it's not my fault they saw my peen and it was sore. It was the middle of fucking winter and I hadn't quite got in the shower yet and anybody, any boy would have had a small peen in the time but nonetheless, it didn't need to go around the school that I had a small peen, did it, you know. I wasn't as comfortable in my own skin as I am now. I'm, I'll go up to anyone I've never met and say, hello, I've got a small peen. I don't give a shit, <laughs> right? It's not, it's not, it's fine. But back then, Christ, I was crestfallen, you know? I was crestfallen. It was like, oh, damn it. The secret's out. What the hell? What the hell am I going to do now? I had so many girls lining up as well. I was so popular at middle school, you know? It didn't matter. My peen might as well have been a fucking, I don't know, a opal fruit or something. It wasn't, mind you, it might have got sucked. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too chewed. is everyone? Anyway, let's move on. Let's go. An opal fruit is a sweet. That they, they, they used to be called opal fruits when I was at school. They're called Starburst now. So I, I was trying to think in something random to that my peen could have been that would have been not interesting to ladies. 
but then it occurred to me that an opal fruit might be quite interesting to anyone, you know? They're quite quite flavoursome, you know? I think if, if my <laughs> flavour is like opal fruit, I'd get a lot more action, you know? I think that would be bad for, uh, that would be bad, like, for, like, uh, evolution. If they made, uh, like, peens and vagines taste of, like, ice cream or something, then you'd never have any babies, would you? That would be really bad. <laughs> so that, that's, that's completely the way that, anyway, let's shut up, right? We need to move on. Sorry. Roger, sorry about that. <laughs> uh... Liquid, thank you very much for the bits. Uh, just got back from the bathroom. How did we end up on peen? Uh, it could be anything that leads to it. <clears throat> Let's carry on, shall we? Eddie, uh, if you say so. Sick day Z with the man. Just got tested for both COVID and strep, so looking forward to the fine entertainment the next few days. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Philosophine. Uh, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. If, you, if you've if you got either one of those, you're going to be a bit laid up. Take it easy, dude. Thank you for the bits. Uh, eat plenty of opal fruits. <laughs> uh, Welsh, Welsh O'Grider. Thank you. O'Grider. Thank you. Welsh OG Rider, maybe. Thank you for the three months. Uh, I told you, mate, it's the scaffolding. You're right. We did find some on the scaffolding. Not where you said, though. <laughs> Thanks for the support, Jim Jams, as well. Jerry Durant, Dragon Drugs. Uh, Johnny Georgeopoulos, thank you very much. Uh, Ruder, Redline, uh, OG, thank you so much for the support as well. Johnny, it doesn't really matter, you know. It doesn't really matter if you have that small of a bean, you know. You, you can make up for it in other ways, you know. I know I don't do that, but you can. There's things you can do, you know, you just, you've got to work hard, you know. you got, you got to work smarter. Have money. Well, uh, me and my missus got together when I didn't have any money, so that didn't work for me. Holy fuck! Why is this turning fairly homoerotic? <laughs> It's not how deep you fish, it's how you look at your worm. I don't know about that. How you look after your worm, you make maybe. It's where you cast it. <laughs> uh, Quigo, thank you for the three months. Uh, the, thy man himself, thank you for the ten months. A. Ezos, thank you so much for the gifted subs. You're very, very kind. Cheers Let's for the support. Looting. I appreciate we'll it, thank you. Stuff. Did you know that the space, I say, is very limited with the spacesuit? Uh, no, I've not seen the spacesuit. I've not made the spacesuit. I just dream of doing it. That, that's that's the thing. I, I'm struggling a little bit. Like, if we now do need... I'm going to drop those. If we now do need a, uh, a full NBC suit to go it's to the, the oil rig, then it's really hard to carry that shit. It's really hard to carry enough stuff to do this journey. It's how you jiggle your worm. Uh, I can't really jiggle mine. I think there's exercises you can do to improve it. My, my jiggle is only fairly limited, you know. I have to be like messy in small areas, you know. Darting in and out. <laughs> Scoring a hat trick though, I don't know. Can I see mine? Yes I can, you cheeky so and so. There's a mirror in the bathroom. <laughs> How's Pooch doing? Love you, bye. Emily, uh, we were just talking about that before I got sidetracked by being horrible to a new subscriber. Unintentionally horrible, but still so. Anyway. Uh, ha better now. That's what I was just saying. So, what happened? About a week and a half ago, on Wednesday, my missus phoned the breeder and, and kind of said, look, he's itching a lot and we're having some troubles with him. And he, he's, he was diagnosed with mites and we've been treating him for that. But he's still itching. Have you had any issues with or any reports back from any of the other owners about the same kind of issue? And the, the breeder went off on one. He was like, like, kind of, I think he wasn't very happy, let's just say. 
My missus would also say that the dog was being quite aggressive, abnormally so, and something seems wrong with him and he doesn't seem quite right. And I think the breeder kind of thought that we were trying to get a refund on the dog or something and send him back. But we were just ringing to sort of say, have you heard anything from the other owners? of the? Because the, the, the litter was nine dogs, right? Uh, so And, and the, the breeder was not very happy and he was a bit of a shit, to be honest. More so, but a lot of dog breeders are like that. Dog breeders are great with dogs, but they're absolute C-words with people. That can be the case. And maybe this guy is one of those. You just don't know. But anyway, he wasn't very nice. Let's put it that way. But one thing he did say that was constructive on the phone was that you shouldn't feed your dog treats like shop-bought treats. If you need to give them treats for like training and stuff, try to give them a piece of chicken or something like that. And this was on the Wednesday. So my missus were like, fair enough, I'll cook up some chicken and we'll stop giving him treats. And then on the Friday, he got worse. Way worse. We'd been giving him chicken instead of treats from the shop for two days. And he got way, way fucking worse. Like, so the dog has like zoomies, like all dogs do. But when he has zoomies, he tends to get to the point where he's hanging off your arm, you know? It's not just puppy biting. He gets... He gets... He's like wagging his tail, but he's lost complete control of himself. He's like doing this aggressive play that's not right. It's not right. It's just not puppy behaviour. He's like hanging off your jeans, he's jumping on your arms and he's growling while he's doing it. All the while, while wagging his pet tail, but like, my missus's arms have been like covered in shit. It's been a nightmare, you know? Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, covered in shit. Uh, like, not, not literally dog shit, but like, like scratches and little bike marks and stuff. He was just playing in such an aggressive way and he completely lost his mind. If, he, if he's calm, and you're playing with a toy, and he goes to grab the toy, and he gets your hand. He lets go. He knows he's not meant to bite you, but he just couldn't control himself. And then this started happening on the Friday evening. It took us five minutes to calm him down. And then oh, from Friday evening until Wednesday, he was doing it more and more and more. And we hadn't worked out what it was. We went to see the trainer on Wednesday in the local area. We just took him to see a new trainer that's kind of knows a bit more about the type of dog we've got and it's a bit more specialist behavioral type trainer really anyway anyway we, we spoke to him and he said i wouldn't feed your dog chicken full stop if i were you from what you're saying i'd, I'd remove chicken from the diet and i'd also stop giving him treats for chicken now he didn't say that the dog had a chicken allergy but he said that from the scratching it could be an allergy to some kind of grain or whatever he didn't really know but if i were you i'd stop giving him chicken so we've heard one thing from one and one from another another and it was like okay then so on Wednesday last week, we stopped giving the dog chicken. We'd stopped giving him treats. We stopped giving him shop-bought treats as well, because they're mostly chicken derivatives as well. There's some that aren't, but mostly they've got some kind of chicken in as well. So we're now just giving him biscuits for, like he has for his dinner, you know, like his regular kibble. We're keeping them as like a treat, and he's fine with that. It's fine. We don't even need treats, right? So we stopped giving him chicken as a treat, raw, well, cooked chicken as a treat on Wednesday. And this behaviour that was getting worse and worse and worse stopped on Friday. So, two days after he started being given chicken, he went fucking mentally, got mad chicken's disease. And then two days after we stopped giving him chicken, he reversed the mad chicken's disease. Uh, which has been a bit of a relief for us. So, we, we didn't work this out straight away, because it's really hard. You're not keeping a food diet or anything, but on Saturday we just had an epiphany, you know. We were thinking about what was going on, and my missus was reading the, the website for the sire of the dog, the, the, the dad. She read about chicken allergies, and I was like, think back. We started giving the dog chicken on Wednesday. Two days later, he went to shit. We stopped giving it him on Wednesday. Two days later, he's getting better, you know? It's the chickens. <laughs> on Saturday, I've ordered some new kibble that doesn't have any chicken in it, so it's hypoallergenic. There's nothing in it, and there's no grains, there's no chicken. All of the protein comes from salmon, and, th and that's it. And that's due to be coming tomorrow, so even today, he's still being fed on food that we think he's allergic to, <laughs> which is really frustrating, but we've ordered some hypoallergenic food and it's coming tomorrow, and then we're going to start transitioning him to that food, take him off chicken, and then hopefully we'll actually get a dog. <laughs> because at the moment, what we've got is a dog that plays with teeth, and it's like, it's a bit like the gremlins, you know, like my missus has used that analogy, but... Uh, we, we just we now have to make sure we don't feed him after midnight or give him chicken otherwise he'll fucking bite your bollocks off it's never been really aggressive like he doesn't like he's not like bowing down with his hair sticking up and his heckles up and his teeth showing he's not aggressive if you like if you're with him and you put his food down he'll sit and he'll shake shake a paw and he only eats his food when he's told he'll do what he's told we've been training him for like things like wait so you can drop a treat on the floor or a dog biscuit on the floor if you tell him to wait, he'll sit there and he'll wait until you tell him he can eat it. 
He's really good. Except for when he loses his fucking mind with this mad chicken's disease that he's been getting, you know? Uh, so it's been, it's been really hard. Especially for my missus. The, the amount of stress we've been under just from a puppy in the last month has been off the fucking scale. Like, like every time you take him out for a walk, it feels like it's 50-50 whether he's going to start biting you or not, you know? However, as soon as we stop giving him chicken, that's gone away, you know? It's not perfect yet. He's still learning. He spent several months with this behaviour, like, bubbling underneath. So we're still having to try and train him, and we're still doing all the things we should, but they're, not, they're now actually working, you know, whereas before they weren't. It's been so hard. It's been really fucking hard. seen a few people advise uh, buy it buy it get a mongrel or do this or that and that's great you know we did want to adopt we actually looked but my missus particularly wanted a welsh springer spaniel so and and i hope she had a welsh springer when she was a kid she loved that dog when she was a kid it's been her dream to have a welsh springer spaniel as an adult there's only about 200 to 300 born every year in the uk there wasn't any to adopt there was and that she wanted that dog and everyone gets on their high horse about adopting or doing this or that or the other the reality is, whether you buy your dog from a breeder or whether you adopt, the most important thing is that you keep your dog and you look after your dog. There are people out there that would have gone through the last two months with this dog and given him up. I'm telling you now, it's been a nightmare. You know, it, it's, I'm not really talked about it in the, the real truth of it because we've never seen light at the end of the tunnel and I didn't really want to... It's been a fucking nightmare. And there are definitely people out here that would have given this, this dog up, for sure, you know. And so... That's the thing. What's important when you get a dog, whether you buy a dog from a breeder or whether you get a rescue dog from Greece or something, or whether you get a dog from a dog's home, they're all still dogs. They're all still alive and they've all got a heartbeat and they all need to be looked after. So I think it's absolute bullshit to say that you must do this or the other. The most important thing is whatever dog you get, you look after and you do right by it and it has a happy life, right? Because every dog is still a dog, you know? If we'd have managed to find a dog at a rescue centre, that's great. But the dog that we've got would still have gone somewhere, you know? It doesn't just get deleted, you know? So, yeah, we, you've got to be uh, really mindful of that. I think you have, anyways. In an ideal world, we would have liked to get a, a rescue dog. One thing we hadn't really thought about, you know, this... <laughs> on the same website, this uh, the, the, the dog's breeder has come from America. His, his dad come from America. Their website is a lot more modern, let's say. The guy that we've got the dog from, he's a breeder and he does it been doing it 40 years but he doesn't even have a website you know he just breeds the dogs and sells them on on, on the kennel club and he, he does a lot of showing he's won a lot of awards he's a very good breeder and he's very good with dogs but he doesn't have a website he's not running it like a business or anything he just has a litter every now and then and sells the dogs by word of mouth you know that that or via the kennel club but yeah we were on the, the statesman's website where the dog our, our dog's dad came from and on there, it talks at length about how Welsh Springer Spaniels are not so easy to get as your first time puppy. They're very high maintenance. They're very hard. They're a lot harder than your average Springer Spaniel and this kind of thing, you know. They... <laughs> and my missus sat there reading it going, oh, for fuck's sake, I wish I'd read this beforehand. <laughs> I wish I'd read this three or four months ago. <laughs> it basically says if you've not had a puppy from eight weeks old before, maybe start with a different type of puppy and don't start with a Welsh Springer. Exactly, bub. I agree, you know. The problem is the dogs that end up in the shelter in the first place. It's not... It's not. I think it's important that you get a dog... That's exactly what I said in a roundabout kind of way, but there's definitely people that would have given this dog up, you know. The only reason we've been able to give it so much focus is that I'm streaming for a living, so I'm always at home, and my missus is at home for a living, so she's always at home, you know. She's doing a lot around the house. She's helping me out, you know. There's, she's, she's busy enough, but she's in the house, so she's able to give the dog... Like, like we're here, you know. Like, if if we were both working full time, going out, I think we'd be fucked, you know. Yeah, you're saying the same thing, Bob. I agree with you. 
but we've done so much with it, you know. The dog was in the vets, like, three days after we got him, you know. Like, we were like, he's itching, this isn't normal. So we shampooed him, like, not shampoo. We washed him with, wait, well, baby shampoo we used. We washed him the day we got him because he was itching like fuck. He was in the vets, actually, not even... We took him to an out-of-hours vets on the Saturday night when we'd only got him on the Friday, you know. We, we've been overly, like, careful to try and help the fucking dog out, the poor little thing, right? But he's not had the best of starts. He really hasn't. It's been hard for him. I think he's trying to be friendly. A lot of those shots were so close. I couldn't actually see his gun. I I I thought I did I couldn't see his melee weapon in his hands. I thought he had a gun in his hands, but he's carrying a sledgehammer by the look of it. I think after he peeked out, I think he tried to peek out to real. I, I was thinking I'd shoot him anyway, but he might still be behind the fence. I think we've got to go up this way. It's been really hard. I, I can't get over how hard it's been with the dog, and and it's not actually anything to do with the breed either. You know, I don't think it's anything to do with the fact that it's been a difficult breed. My mace has had a Welsh Springer Spaniel in the past. I've had two dogs when I was a kid. All right, I was a kid, but I. I was there with a puppy, and the first one, I did, I was with the dog all the time, you know, like, it was me that kind of did a lot of stuff with him, you know, so we've both got experience with dogs, we're both patient, and you can also go to YouTube and learn pretty much anything you want in, like, ten fucking seconds, right, so, we've been really patient, and we've done all the right things, it's not that his breed that's been the problem, it's been the fact that he's been itching like, like crazy, like, He'll be playing with a toy, and then it'll, it'll all of a sudden, it'll go, like, really crazy, like, like, straight round to his bum area, and, like, be, like, really uncomfortable, like, incredibly quickly, like, he's really jumpy. Okay, so there's other people. So I popped an EpiPen to try and get over. I don't know if that's the same guy or not. I doubt he's got that far, that quick. Twitchy noob, he's had that done several times. One of the one of the other uh, one of the other things that's quite common with a with an allergy is that it can be linked to exactly what you've just said there. I don't really want to say the words anal glands on stream, <laughs> but yeah, he's had he's he's had that done several times, but. Uh, I think that's uh, that's possibly related to it as well. He hasn't got worms, so at least he's been on meds. The meds he's had for the uh, the mites that he was diagnosed with covered covers worms and tick. Uh, sorry, worms and mites and all sorts. Please. Yeah. Silent call it. We're just feeling really relieved that we maybe have an answer. Anyway, I need to f I need to get away from the dog talk and try not to die for a minute. I I'm trying to get round on top of them rather than go straight at them if I can. I should have took more EpiPens and dropped, like, exchanged a few EpiPens for uh, morphines. Those shots were kind of on the beach. And I'm trying to get round past them and overwatch back, because they'll still be looting, they'll still be around. Love the content and I'm always happy when I catch a stream, keep it up. That is of course unless they're here. There's a dead guy. It could be around those rocks.
really don't want to go into those trees up ahead. He could be in one of those trees there. I feel like these trees are going to be bad. The guy that's dead on the ground, it's hard to see for sure, but he doesn't look very geared. He doesn't look very geared at all. So I feel like waiting for him to be looted is going to be waiting for something that might not happen. If I get the weapon raised bug here, I'm definitely going to die. If there's someone around, of course. Just, I'm really struggling. We got here really quick. I don't think that's anything to do with the guy we shot at. He's still at the factory somewhere. Let's get the range back down because I left it at 100. It's possible he's killed him and just carried on looking for the boat. It's possible. But they're not coming back. Uh, drummer, thank you very much for the four months. That's very kind. Thank you. I feel like he's going to still be down there somewhere. He might have gone back to the industrial because let's say he's, he's got a bleed or he's partially damaged and he needs to uh, and he needs to go and lick his wound somewhere. He might he might need to make a fire. He might be in that same building where all the shots were. A lot of the guns from that firefight could still be there. Well, he ain't coming back to loot now, is he? That tree was cut down ages away. Go, go, Kalel. Jebib, uh, I, I'm not going to do anything like that for now, but if you're here in three weeks, remind me. <laughs> but right now, my only concern is taking him off the chicken for now. You know, we, like he's having really good food. It's, it's not a well-known food, but he's having decent kibble from a brand called Barking Heads in the UK, which is really good. It's good stuff. It, like You can go on websites that review all of the food. Uh, 
it review it like it gives you a score out of a hundred for the for the dog kibble, you know. And it's fine. It's a good score. It's a good thing. He was on Royal Canin Puppy Food before, which is actually kind of shit, you know. Has a really well good, really good name, and it's really well renowned. But the first ingredient is something like meat, meat, whatever. It's like pulverized meat. It, it doesn't tell you that it's got beef or chicken in it. It's just meat. It just means that they get whatever they get that's nearly out of date and shred it, you know. Uh, how do they get the dogs to mark it out of 100? I guess they do a, like an 8 out of 10 cats test, don't they? <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, so he's on good stuff, but it's got it's it's got the protein in it comes from uh, salmon and chicken. And he's been great. His coat is looking so amazing. It, it's all oily and lovely, like it should be, just healthy dog, you know. And we kind of don't want to take him off the food, but we've realised what's causing it. We need to get him off it. He's still itching. He's still not happy. But he's getting nowhere near the level of chicken he was getting now because he's just getting the bit in his dry dog food only. Uh, so he's he's kind of really reining it back. I just really want to get him off that food as quick as we can. And then I'm hoping we'll see some real change. Optima, the only reason I'm not saying it exactly like that, Royal Cannon is dog food is absolute garbage, is that there'll be people out there, it's massively popular, there'll be people in this stream that have fed their dog Royal Cannon for eight years and are happy with it, you know. So I'm not really looking to piss people off, but... Royal Cannon is pretty much absolute garbage, it, unfortunately. I, I, if you check what's in it, the ingredients are not good. They just do something kind of clever to, to make it a bit a bit better. they like... <coughs> Royal Cannons. Well, that sucks. I guess we'll keep it like that for now, because it just gives us a bit more space. Uh, Jebib, will do, do. I think you, I think I understand what you're saying, and you're right. I think we just well, rather than trying to artificially adjust anything, we just want to get the thing that's causing the problem out of your system. If your dog has an allergy, it can take 10 to 11 weeks to food. That is, it can take 10 to 11 weeks of not giving him that food for it to or her to, to kind of go away. This is really very specific talk, just like everything else in this stream. So apologies if you hate dogs. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's been. It, I've not really fully talked about it because I didn't really want to hear a load of answers as to why I was going to have to try and help the dog you know like it's been really fucking hard with this dog so far he's lovely for a lot of the day but and certainly now he's sleeping better now he's not an absolute itchy like mess he's sleeping a lot more and his overall demeanor is so much better it's a bit chilly B <clears throat> But yeah, it's it's been hard, you know. And my missus has had we've both we've had both had quite a lot going on this year, you know. We we got this dog without really looking to go like full bore, like poor me or anything. But when we went to get this dog, uh, we've only had him like I don't know. Well, he's he's twenty weeks. We've had him twelve weeks. So we got him. When we got back, we found out my missus was pregnant. Not long after that, unfortunately, she miscarried. And, and then now we're here, you know, <laughs> and, in, and, and and the whole while we've gone through that, the dog has been an absolute fucking nightmare, you know, like it's been really, really hard. Like you, you, we got the dog obviously for an amazing experience and bringing up a dog and all that that would mean and so on. And it's been it's actually made things so much harder, not easier so far, but it will it will get better. You can see how good of a dog he is. But unfortunately, he has these like. 10 minute spells like three times a day however that that like i say those are kind of like slow they're kind of gone now he's still getting the zoomies like all dogs do but he's not getting the zoomies with his team's teeth aimed our way and he's not growling madly and such like i 
I think that that guy that we saw is still here. How old is he? 20 weeks. But I'm not worried about puppy zoomies, that's fine. Like, you know, like dogs going like mindlessly running around the back garden getting all excited, that's fine. But every time he got excited not so long ago, he would be hanging off your arm and you'd be like bleeding, you know, it was not good. And it wasn't just like standard puppy biting that every puppy has. It is worth soaring off the FAMAS. The sights are way, way better. If you can do it, do it. I don't really want to start shooting, to be honest, but... I feel that the guy I shot at is probably still in that very first factory building. I don't know about the guy that over there, that whoever was doing that shooting, they may have carried on along the coast, they might be gone. Yeah, he's in that room cleaning out his pants. All of my shots were close. It's, it isn't easy to hit a running target, you know. There's a little bit of skill and a little bit of uh, luck, whether they land or not. Definitely a lot of skill, but when you're shooting a moving target, if you miss the first one, your first one's your best hope, and after that, you're kind of like hoping they'll juke into your bullet, because if you shoot dead on them, they'll move. If you shoot just next to them, they could go any which way, you know, so you're, you're kind of hoping they'll jink into your bullet. The first shot, maybe I could have done slightly better with, but... It ain't easy. However, we're making progress. We've got two filaments. We've got... What have we got? We've got red and blue. So we need one more filament that's not not red or blue. I think this might be a huge mistake, but anyway... Zoom rounds there. I never come onto this roof, and I should by the look of it. I don't need that gas thing. I kind of need a piss, to be honest. When the server went down, I should have gone then. Reston, I've not seen a lifeboat today. I've seen some blueprints that were ruined, which absolutely sucks ass. One of those annoying things, that. that we knew, I knew where the shots were. I could tell from the sounds, and the dead body was about where I thought the dead body would be, but... When I run straight at shots like that, I feel really dumb when I get killed, you know, like, I, I ran straight at the shots and sure enough I died, why would I do that? So I ran around the shots and went to the far side to get an overwatch, and then I don't see the fucking shooter, it's so frustrating, you know, like... I'm really expecting to see see movement. Uh, maybe he's still cowering in there. I don't think so. There is a chance that he's not made it back in yet. The server just went down, you know, that he might be still in queue.
Guys, I'm going to have to go AFK. Uh, apologies, I know the server just restarted. Oh, no, not that one. I'm not ending. I'm only going AFK. But I'm going to have to go AFK because I'm, I'm going to piss myself. Uh, clearly the T has gone right through. Uh, Bourbon Badger, thank you for the 12 months. Hickers, thank you for the 12. Bruiser, thank you for the 30. Whirling Tomcat, thank you for the 17. <gasps> Drummer Eric, thank you for the 4. Uh, Glove, thank you for the Prime. Kempus, thank you for the gifted sub. Royal Pancake, thank you for the new sub. Emily Jane, thank you as well. Right, sorry, uh, sorry, it got got me uh, a while. It took me a while to get to some of those guys. I'll be.
It was a bit longer guys, it wasn't a coke round, but I, I made another cup of tea so I need another piss in an hour. Yeah, no, I made a cup of tea while I was down there so I had to wait for the kettle to boil. I think we've killed somebody else since that rooftop sniper, haven't we? I don't know if we've got a clip for the last kill. That that last kill with the rooftop thing is kind of cool, but there was another kill after that. Doesn't really matter. I think that one's probably better. It was in the dark, Uncle Food, yeah. Thank you, Pancake Dude. So it probably didn't look great. That makes sense. Yeah, that that's a good point. Yeah, leave, leave that one. Yeah, that does make sense. Right. Maybe he did just run straight through. Maybe that was him. Maybe he ran straight into someone and got killed. can't believe he's still here. If that dude was still here, there'd be dead zombies, wouldn't there? They'd, <coughs> there'd be dead zombies and, and not nothing like what there is. There's not nothing right now. I don't think he ran through and was... Well, he might have been shooting zombies, but he, somebody died at the end, right? So... We saw the dead body. That... that oh, that could have gone bad, couldn't it? So we have a red one. Kind of want to keep the red one anyway, but I don't, I don't know what the other colour is. It must be yellow, red, green, and sorry, red, green. It must be green. So we've got red and blue. There'll be a green one we need to find. Red, green, and orange, is it? Okay. I think I can hear an alert rumbling now. Sorry, not an alert, an event. D. Smith, dude, thank you for the support, man. Thank you. I don't really want to go up there unless I need to. Oh God, I thought I was going to fall off the ledge for a minute. a little bit of a double negative though I think if you say something's a butt ass game you're actually liking it you know like I maybe you like double butts as well but butt ass is a bit like calling something a cock peen isn't it you know oh you absolute you absolute cock peen
I think Piss Kidney's a little bit too, uh, that's given a bit too much credit. That's a bit too clever. To Here comes the death. God. Just told my wife about your dog and his allergy. She loves dogs, whereas I prefer cats. Thanks for the entertainment. Edify, dude, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Yeah, it, I think I think we're getting there, you know. I, I don't think we're completely out of the woods with the dog, but I think what we've what we're doing is really helping now. We've also got weekly training sessions with this trainer now as well. So we we got weekly sessions with the trainer every well, funnily enough, they're weekly, so they're every week. But we've booked ten one to one training sessions with someone, so we're we're gonna be getting uh, all the helps. Should be good. I need to find that double kill from yesterday with the noob tube. If anyone's, if anyone's helpfully got the link for that, that can send it to me on Discord or via Twitch Whisper. I got a double kill with the noob tube the other day. I need to make a highlight of that for another Daisy Short. That's got Daisy Short, insane M79 double kill, <laughs> something like that. You know, like something that will really annoy people and go, "Why is that insane? It wasn't very hard, man." <laughs> Sorry, but it was a double kill, and it was insane for me, so fuck off! Have a good run, Paul. Cheers. To Merkel! Right, come on then, Parsifal. Let's check the, the scaffolding. I'm reliably informed they're all on scaffolds. Nah. Uh. I think whoever killed that dude on the coast has gone running off looking for boats. I still haven't added that audio to the, the changing server screen, but I need to do that. It was a tomato pancho. I called it tomaco. It was a kitchen timer in the shape of a tomato. Keep looking. There's another blue one, look. So here we would have found a red one and a blue one. But I've got a red one and a blue one. I need an orange. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. What was the gun leak? Uh, Marks from uh, from Twitter and YouTube and Twitch and wherever else, but Marks posted something on his Twitter about thinking it was an SS something or other. So, spoiler guys, but the devs tweeted a, uh, a picture of a gun the other day. This is a spoiler, if you don't want to know, close your ears for 30 seconds. Uh, the prediction would be that it's a 545 firing sniper rifle. Which is not actually going to be that exciting, but it could be good to make use of the calibre a bit more. But by the looks of it, it's going to be a, a sniper rifle with a scope that fires the same bullets as the AK-74. SSG-82, that's exactly what it is. SS, SSG, I couldn't remember the, the prefix for the number, but... I thought I'd missed that first shot, but anyway... <laughs> they're not in, they're not indestructible, are they? Bastards. Lies. A three fifty seven sniper. A three fifty seven is very weak. I don't know. I think, to be honest, the 357, they could. it'd be nice if the bullets were a bit more common. And the guns, the repeater and the magnum, were a bit more commonly spawned on the coast and whatnot, you know, but...
Oh, maybe it was 39. You might be right. I read it as being five. I read it as being the the bullets for the. Uh, you may be right, by the way. It might be. It might be. Uh, yeah, five for five. So yeah, sorry, I was reading it as being the same bullets the M4 when I read your thing there, but it'd be the same as the 74. I'd be absolutely staggered if they put in any other caliber. I think it'll be the 545 we've got. I think it could be interesting. Like you say, it's it's going to be a bit like a pioneer, but like the pioneer spawns at police stations. This one will perhaps spawn somewhere else. But it's another, it's another tier. It's an, it, it's. It'll be a bit like a Pioneer. You use it until you find something that takes the same bullets but is an assault rifle, you know? Like, you'll probably use this new one until you find a, uh... Until you find an AK-74 or similar, you know? But I think it'll kind of have its place. We definitely need more guns for 545. I agree. I, I actually said exactly that a while ago, you know? They've kind of done a good job of fleshing out the 556, but we do need more for other guns, and that was one that I, I kind of thought. I don't know anything about actual guns, so I didn't know what guns w it would be, but... It actually sucks to drop the bear ghillie, but I think a helmet is more useful. We've got to carry on looking. I'm going to go up to that other bit of industrial up the hill there in a sec. We've got to carry on looking for this last filter and then also we've got to carry on going that way and look for the... Uh, look for the red boats as well. Maybe with 119 there might be more than one gun, but it'd be interesting, you know. I, 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 I agree. Someone just said there's, there's any new gun is kind of positive. I think it does change the flavour of the game a little bit. I do feel like we've got to the point now where I think the diversity in vanilla is actually really pretty strong, and I'm kind of happy with it, you know. I think, I, I, but a new gun and a new, a new option is good, but it really needs to add something, you know. It, like another gun that fires 545, I think that makes complete sense. I can kind of see it, you know, but. New guns for new guns' sake, you know. Another SMG that takes 9mm, just for the sake of it kind of thing, you know. Like, I don't think it really changes the game very much, you know. Like, if they added a Uzi or something, you know. Like, like not that big of a deal. I think it would be cool if they added an incredibly rare sniper rifle. Helicopter crash sites only. It only spawns with three bullets and that's all you get, you know. Like, it would. I think that would be cool. So you really have to think about whether it's worth carrying it or not. Oh, it can go on there. What an idiot. I'd forgotten I got that vest. Someone's probably been telling me that for like half an hour. So we're looking for filaments here as well. So far I've found two red and two blue and we're needing an, the only... Oh god. What we need is an... Oh god. Oh god. Fucking hell. What we need is an orange. Filament orange. What's that? I've got some food. I don't need to think about it. I've got, not loads, but I've got some.
what I need to do is make a fire and defrost the food that I've got. Hi Sip, how you doing? I hope you have decent enough leisure time as well, dude. Thanks for coming in. Alright, let's go you there, you there, you there, you there. <coughs> Whitelist, while I've been a streamer, I think I've not survived much more than about 30 to 35 hours. I've done like six or seven streams on the bounce once or twice. Uh, but I, I don't often survive an entire stream very often. Watchful, it's been good so far. I've enjoyed the, I've enjoyed this run in particular. You know, I'm glad. Way back when, when I I'd like was getting salty about that character I was on because I'd felt robbed of a few bits of gear. I'm glad we had a fresh start and started again, and then we ran south and it was a real challenge. You know that was kind of fun. I'm glad we've we've gone this way this time. Five four five by thirty nine was made exclusively for the yeah, but this is a game psycho, you know. A game that has that round in it needs to make use of that round, so it's not going for an absolute perfect simulation. It's going for authenticity, but also balance, you know. They, they can't have rounds all over the shop that's only for one gun, you know. It don't make any, ch it don't make any sense. I, I don't fully understand where those bullets went, to be honest. Fucking hell. Boing. <laughs> I hope it's not 556. Five, I really hope it's not 556 five, because that would be utterly pointless. We need another 556 five, uh, gun with a scope. Like, we need a hole in the head. Apparently it's 545 by 39 in Vigor. <laughs> LG. What? By Gore. This does not feel safe. Fucking desync. It, 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 my stamina went down. It vaulted me, but then didn't put me in the. There we go. It didn't put me on the on the top. struggling. I feel like we're better off staying on this island to try and find the filaments. I think we are. <gasps> oh. It's almost orgasmic. It's almost orgasmic. Oh, so now we've got all three. We've just got to find the fucking boats, but the fucking boats. So we're going to go north. Now we already checked the north side, but uh, maybe we could avoid it and go south. I don't know. 
This is the best I've done so far. We've got all three filaments as a lone wolf. The only thing we need left that you find on this island now is a uh, set of blueprints. And then after that, we've got to go to the submarine to try and get a key card. So we've got a lot ahead of us, but we've done three-fifths of it. We've got two-fifths to go. However, I feel like the bit we've got to go is possibly the hardest. So I'm going to go all the way back up here. I'm going to start at the north side of the map, and we're going to run all the way down this map looking for... The, the blueprints spawn on a red life raft that can randomly spawn along the coast. It can be in, in a few different places. So we're going to start on the north side, travel to the south side, and hopefully we'll find uh, we'll find the thing that we need. There possibly is the thing that we need. Holy shit, I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, well, the only thing we need from this island, I just did say I needed a, a keycard green thumb, but from here, this is the only thing we can find. So, th the only trouble we've got is that we shot at that dude, and then, uh, it was a while ago, but it's possible the dude we shot at had the, had the thing from here already. Maybe he's already taken it. Please have the car. Have the blueprints, please. Come on. <gasps> they. Oh no, that's not blueprints. I don't think. Phoenix crew log. We'll take that. That might come in handy. Whoa! It looks like a mini disc. Dudes, holy shit! Now we need to really drop a load of. Oh god! I know. I've got to go back. It does look like a mini disc. I've got to go and see if I can find my uh, my dry bag. I've stashed a dry bag with all the stuff in it that I need. We are never going to have stamina again. This is going to be hard. Wellies for the swim. I can't face the wellies for the swim kind kind of thing right now. I uh, maybe I can actually. And the reason for that is purely that I, I don't have the space to carry anything more. We've got to drop some stuff anyway, so... I'm going to drop the knife. That one's... That's worn. What one's this one? Pristine, okay. So I've got a yellow dry bag hidden, which has hopefully not been found. We'll wait and see, but... Uh, I've got a full NBC suit and three filters in it. Now we've got that. I really want a protector case. I'm a bit worried it's going to get ruined. But anyway. We've got to go and get the yellow dry bag. And then get uh, get all the way up. We've got to go back to try and get... To, we've now got to go to the submarine. And then we've got... To <laughs> After we've gone to the submarine and hopefully got a key card, we've then got to go to the oil rig. My stamina is sorted now, I dropped the knife, you're telling me. It's, oh, everything's fine, isn't it? And the only thing, I, I'm just thinking about space, right? I've got to carry sticks to get to the... I've not got to get just to the submarine. I've got to get to the submarine, and then I've got to get to the uh, the oil rig afterwards. It's going to be it's going to be hard. But I, I can do it. One thing I can do as well is... Uh, Hopefully the, the bag is, is going to have some space. It's a dry bag. Hopefully the dry bag will have enough space for me to uh, store the sticks in that I need to, to make the journey. That needs to go in there because that will stop it from getting ruined. Same with that. Pouches don't get ruined because they are effectively a container. The same, like, you can keep pouches in your inventory like you can, uh, 
a sewing kit, it's not a sewing kit, like you can a uh, cooking pot or whatever, so yeah, we'll see. I'm not making torches, torches kind of suck, I'm not doing that. Equally, I won't be able to make torches because I'm going to have to take the, the yellow dry bag in my hands full of sticks and an NBC suit. Apparently it's now been fixed so that you do need a, a proper NBC suit to go to uh, Yeah, apparently you do need proper sticks and an NBC suit. I'll start again. A, f a full NBC suit and gas mask to go to the uh, oil rig. Apparently it's fixed. Jay Moore, I think the, the torch is kind of an unintended thing for Namask. I've heard some wreck talk about how he intended to fix it. He hasn't done, so maybe he didn't change his mind. But making a torch and keeping the plus symbol for ages, I don't think he's kind of intended. Is that 8892? Is that what I just got? Didn't know that. There's a little... Oh shit, there's a fire. Looks like he's dug my dry bag out. No, maybe not. Possibly he's got a buddy. He must be really hungry or really cold to be doing that. Pioneer and a VSD. I'm not checking anything right now. I'm starving. I'm coming up this way. He might have a key card, he might do. We do need to read these things as well. So that could be the guy that uh, did the killing before. He might have logged in, he might have had to fish. It's so dangerous this island. If you're having to fish on the coast, you're in deep, deep shit. Best insulation is the coat. Oh, and I've got, I've got kind of everything I need, nearly. This is really fucking annoying. I, I've got to sort my inventory out. I'm struggling like hell. I'm starting to get a little bit edgy now. Like I'm not I've not got gear fear. I've got adventure fear, you know. We've we've this is the closest I've got for ages. We've got three filaments, we've got the the uh key card. Sorry, not the key card, the the blueprints. This we only need to we only need to go to the sub and get the key card and we are done. So I am getting a little bit edgy.
If the gas stove heats you, no need for sticks. You, you might be right. It's not perfect, but... It's got a pioneer with that scope on it. Holy shit. He's, he's certainly giving himself some frostbite, this dude, isn't he? I oh, know, that's wet. I'm not wearing that. I just don't have any space. It's this that's the problem. This fucking thing. He's got so many bullets for the 556. Yeah, that bag's ruined. I can't use the bag. I think someone's taken my, my yellow dry bag. I hid it just on the edge of the water. I think it's gone. I don't, I don't think it's still here. I think it's gone. My inflatable house got a puncture. Now I live in a flat. Holy fuck! The yellow dry bag is not next to the body. No, unfortunately, that's just an item of NBC clothes that the dude had left. I didn't bury it. No, I couldn't bury it. I just left it in the water. Oh, this sucks. I don't know for sure if I need it or not, but I think we need a full NBC suit. Which we don't have. It's kind of crazy that, like, having to take a full NBC suit Enjoy and the, the filaments, dream. it's almost impossible to do. Like, the, the, the loot management required is really hard. Oh, no, I don't want that there. We're doing well, though. We're doing well. We, we're getting there, but... New spawns end up down here. I'm not leaving a good gun here. I'm going to be here for a while. I am not getting killed. Unless I can help it. <sighs> I just, I just going to struggle. Like, he, he's got, he's doing the, that, and I kind of get it, but. So what do we need? We've got the hood, we've got the boots, we've got the mask, we just need the jacket. We only need an NBC jacket. Anyone remember where we last saw an NBC jacket? Oh, I need the NBC gloves as well, which I've also seen and not taken, but I can't remember where I saw them. I do have two leather kits. We could probably drop both of those. I just changed my boots. It's time to 
My belt's ruined, unfortunately, so no point. Eh? Not enough ammo for head. I like ammo. Gloves were down here somewhere, were they? I've got to find a bag that's not ruined. Yeah, the the rags the rags I can drop some of, but. The bandages are for bandaging, obviously, and it's quite handy to have a few. The rags are more for lighting fires. I just realised that the robot woman sounds like my sat now. At the roundabout, take the third exit to Broken Legville. Yeah, see, I don't understand why I need the pipe wrench, to be honest. You're just saying there, I think you can drop the pipe wrench if you've got a full NBC suit. So, the pipe wrench must do something to stop the gas, I guess. But, I don't really need that, because I've been up there and explored around anyway. I had a full NBC. Guys, I know I've missed alerts. Pipe wrench is for temperature, is it? Okay. Oh, I see. So you need an NBC suit, then you use the wrench, then everybody else can follow along afterwards. Hope you're having a great Monday eight. Right. We're gonna drop it for now. I have got too many bullets. I know I've got too many bullets. This is just fucking impossible. It's time to start running! Hi. And I am carrying too many bullets, right? But look at me carrying more anyway. I, I can't help it. I have, an, I have an issue, and I know I have an issue, but I'm not stopping. I dropped the leather zone kits already, so yeah, I've dropped them. So, we need to make a trip to the oil rig. Sorry, not the oil rig. We need to make a trip to the submarine. But before we do that, we've got to find NBC gloves. That's the only... And an NBC jacket as well. And ideally, a slightly bigger bag. Two lock picks. Always have enough gear to last three apocalypses. Yep, scouts on a dib dib dob dob be prepared. So I'm sure there was gloves down here somewhere, but in the chat I've heard someone saying it's in the sheds by the containers, it's in a red container. It's in what I, 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 it's down here somewhere. I picked the pouches up, Ranker, and put them in my hands and then looked at what was in them. Bear, I don't know what that means, but I've been to the oil rig and I didn't need to stop the gas. The shed box is in the corner. I 
I don't know what shed box is in the corner. The gloves were in the garage building. Okay. <laughs> it's time to start running. I feel it was over this side somewhere. I'm just going to go over this way. I don't. I don't remember where I saw it. I nearly put them on. I think when I got shot at by that dude ages ago, there was NBC gloves around there. <laughs> Maters, everybody sees things they don't need and then realises later they need them and struggles to remember where it was, dude. Trust me. I'm not alone in that fact. <laughs> I may need to stop the gas to leave as I won't be wearing an NBC suit. So you can't carry the thing, you have to wear it. Can you not just carry the, the suit that you make? Dinner time shenanigans. How the fuck? Oh. oh, this is gonna suck. Just jump off into the water, knee and eel. That isn't gonna work. I, I don't know where this thing is. If it's completely cold proof and gas proof, then I ain't got any worries. I can't remember where this thing is. <gasps> where the hell do you loot a battery and an oxygen tank from? Athena 3, fuck off! I've got to go to Athena 3 to get the battery and the oxygen tank beforehand. Right, guys, before we go any further, someone, like, I, I'm not getting the information from Shed to help me where it is. Let's say that's north and that's south. Anyone know where it is? See, I don't think they're even here. I thought they were somewhere... We saw them not long after I killed the dude with the SVD up the hill. Not the last guy, another guy. Yeah, I've seen the codes on the ward, Adeline. We've looked at where they are on the... Their coordinates for mostly things we've already found, I think. <clears throat> Train yard in the garage. Now that sounds more plausible. Let's go and have a look. Been following you a while and watching in the shadows. Your YouTube is boom and man loving it is always smiley face. I was just thinking we should be getting uh, frost resistance up a little bit. It's still quite a ways down. All right, where's the? Got run out of the way. 
Irish guys, dude, thank you very much for the support. Guys, I know I've missed other alerts, but I will get to them. Thank you. So I think it's probably this shed here where there was... I, I actually went to put them on and then changed my mind. This could be where they were. So I've got to go to Athena 3. I've got to try and find a battery. And an oxygen tank. Oh, God. Is it a Gauss battery? I've, I've seen Gauss batteries. Oh my god, okay, I'm just gonna play the game, I think. We're gonna, it, like, it's just, like, all, like, random. I guess if you've got the suit, you can then go to Athena 3 and find the oxygen mask and the battery in there. But if you've got to wear the suit and you can't, I think that's incredibly harsh, that you can't carry the suit in your hands. I guess it's too big to go in your backpack. So then you end up forced to wear it. A3 might be secondary, but not if you've got to carry the stuff. I just don't know. I don't know. It's going to be hard. No matter what, it's going to be hard. That much is a fact. So we've got to we've got to look for it doesn't matter anyway. I can't I can't go to the oil rig without an NBC a pair of NBC gloves. So Oh yeah, I can easily wear I can easily go to Athena 3 now, but I think it kind of does make sense to just, like, go a little bit lighter, take the suit, and then just fuck it off, you know? I just I just think it's going to be hard. If I'm wearing the suit, I presume I can't wear my NBC clothes. I'm also guessing I might not have a backpack. I think I'm going to end up really struggling for space. The suit only has 35 inch entry and one spot for a rifle. Can't wear a backpack or other guns on your back. Oh my fucking god. So it's really not meant for people to do on their own then, is it? You know, I'm still going to do it. I'm going to try, but that is insane. The suit does the suit does act as NBC gear, man, glorious. But the main NBC gear has NBC gear has space in it, right? NBC suit that you're wearing has clothes in it, like it has slots for for bandages and food and knives and so on. Like if you have to wear the space suit because you can't put it in your bag or carry it, and you can't wear a backpack and you can't wear clothes, how the fuck are you going? You're going there with like two guns and all this stuff, and then you're coming back with nothing. I'm annoyed about this yellow dry bag. I'm, I'm kind of smarting about it. I had that other device as well, the thing that looks like a... like an exhaust port or whatever, you know? I, I missed that as well, you know? I had... <laughs> I still... I, I think... I really, from memory, I feel feel like I found NBC gloves around where I killed that dude. 
at the industrial that's just down the way there. I think we're going to go there after and see if it's around there. I found... There's NBC boots. I'm sure we found NBC gloves. Around the same time as I killed the guy in the night time with the SVD. There was a pair of black NBC gloves. Where? I do need the NBC jacket as well. Let's go and have a look down here on it. This is just getting harder by the second, you know, like you can't carry the suit. You can't leave the you, you've got to really go quick. When you eventually put the suit on, like in the in the zone, right? <laughs> it's just like it's a twi it's a mindfuck. You've got to take your NBC loot off to put the suit on. And then also all of the loot that's in your NBC loot, you've got to somehow put in a bag that you can only carry in your hands. And then jump. The sauna famas is amazing. That is kind of the point, but I think a lot of people will do this in a group. So whoever wears the suit won't have the loot, but they have protectors and stuff, you know. I, I gather Sour Sweet did it yesterday, and he may well have done it with people he met in game, you know. I'm not like. And whether he did it or he did it with some other streamers, it doesn't make any odds. It's still great, you know, but. I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to go to the oil rig and print one suit and one person in your group goes through, but a whole group does it, you know. So I did it with three others, one being a mule. I think that's the, that's kind of the point. You're going to need... Uh, but likewise, if you do that by making friends in game and saying, do you want to help us? We're trying to do this, then that's cool. Or if you log into like, do it all with Discord, who cares? You know, it's, it's still an achievement, but... Trying to do it as a lone wolf and working out how to... The, the logistics of the loot is tricky, tricky. Jay Black, I don't really want to stash anything. That's the thing. I just stashed a full NBC suit, including gloves. And I put the changing server up, but I didn't do a very good job of hiding where I was stashing it. And someone's taken it all, you know? So, I, I, I don't really want to start stashing stuff while streaming. I don't think it will work. I know that, D-Bear. I know I don't need the, 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 the suit. I'm thinking more about loot. If it's only got 35 slots, I'm going to have to be really, really ready to drop everything. You know, just keep one gun, maybe just the SVD. And then I have to drop the FAMAS, drop all the bullets, drop everything else, you know, because I... I've got the filaments whirling, Tomcat. I lock this. This fucking sucks. I thought I had everything, right? I thought we were ready for the submarine. I really thought we were ready for the submarine, but now my, my stash is gone and we're now looking for NBC gear again. Gloves and jacket. It sucks.
Just when I thought I was kind of done. Hi, Funky. Hope you're good. Uh, Jody Town. Glad it's old guys. As I was, as I was going, I can't even read it. Glad it's old guys can keep keeping on. Uh, you can do it. Love you. Bye, dude. Thank you for the support. That's top notch reading. NBC stands for Nuclear Biological Chemical. Uh, Jody Town, thank you very much. Irish guys, uh, cheers for the continued support, dude. Uh, Metal uh, and Silas, thanks for the support as well. MK2 is in a holster still. Yeah, where is it? Oh, it's, yeah, it's okay though. It's on the vest, so it's fine. Am I going to install iOS 16 tonight? Uh, no. Or yes. Whether my phone does it or not is the thing. I, I don't really give a shit what... As long as the phone's working, I never know what software it's on. I, it just updates when it updates. And then I go, what the fuck is this for? Why is it changed? Like that. That's what happens. Right, so we're going to have to loot this again. Love you, hi. Do you have any plans to take part in any Battle Royale-style event soon? Uh, I'll try and go in any event I can, but there needs to be an event that I can go in, you know? That's the thing, like... The events are great, but they're not on every day. Uh, so when there is an event, I'll try and get in it if I can, but... Uh, they're not, they're not like coming along like all the time. The next one, the next one is meant to be a teams of two PV, PVP event that uh, Happy Bombs is going to be hosting. So if I can get in it, I'll go in it. Uh, and I'd love to go in it as well. That'd be cool. But we'll see, you know, like I don't even know when it is. It might be a month. It might be three months. I don't need a canteen. I've got a cooking pot full of water, so I'm okay. I've got lots of water. I'm not particularly worried about hydration right now. I need the NBC stuff. I need that. frustrating unless I'm I, I can't remember I know I know I dropped it in the sea maybe it was a bit further along than that I, I, I it's possible I dropped my uh, it's possible I dropped my uh, yellow dry bag with the NBC suit at the next broken down boat and it wasn't actually that one hey Ranger dude hope you're good Streamers eliminate the keyboard clips and mouse clips, mouse clips from their stream. Uh, noise gates and noise uh, noise suppression is the quick answer, goalie guy. Uh, in OBS, there are noise gate filters and things, so you can do it in the stream software, potentially. You don't need anything really clever. I have a noise gate set up. I don't know why I'm trying to kill this, to be honest. Hit it three times. Four. 
yeah i have a noise gate set up with my virtual audio cables that works for it but so the mic kicks in when you're talking because it's loud enough but an audio click sorry a keyboard click is not loud enough to make the microphone work that's kind of one of the most common things that people do you can also do it you can minimize it without doing anything clever by just making sure your mic's not on the keyboard you know like like making sure you're not using a set top mic like a desktop mic a standing mic or something like that that can help too but noise gates is the way Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to have to drop some serious amount of shit. Uh, a lot of people use a Go XLR and it has gate suppression. I, XLR mics are great. You normally need a mixer as well, but I think like studio level microphones for people starting streaming are not smart myself. If you get to like, I don't know, like my level I guess or like if you get really big you might want to change to an XLR mic and spend a lot of money on it or, or some decent money on a good quality mic and a, a mixer and whatnot but I'm using a 90 pound USB mic I sound completely fine there's a few issues with the sound quality at the moment like I get a bit digitized from time to time but that's to do with my uh, my it's not the mic that does that it's the dual PC rig and the virtual audio cables I do sound a bit digital from time to time it gets a bit corrupted and annoying but yeah anyway I, I personally think that spending money on an XLR mic unless you're at like 1500 views or something is kind of a waste of money I don't think you need to you can use any microphone and use use OBS uh, Gail Level who I talk about quite a lot has a really cool video on his YouTube channel that talks about how to uh, make a cheap mic sound good and you can do all sorts with a cheap mic maybe not like your headset mic from like a gaming headset but you can do it from uh, you can do it from lots you can uh, you could get a fairly cheap 10 or 20 pound mic that's separate from your headset and make it good you know I have a Yeti and set it up with voice detection, but I still capture keyboard mouse noise in the background while, while I'm talking. Goalie, well, you you can do it in a... If you look... Again, Gale Level's got a video about that kind of thing. Using noise suppression rather than noise gates was his suggestion, but you can do it. You can make it so that OBS cuts that out and so that the recording won't have it. So that the microphone is set up in such a way as that it will only work for your voice, but it... Like if you, I don't know, if your missus stubs a toe downstairs and she shouts, but that's not as loud as you talking right next to the microphone, it won't cut in. I'm right fucked off with this. I'm really annoyed that I've, I've not got the NBC suit. I already had the NBC suit. I'm taking that. I need all the space I can get. How much? That's 80. Extra 17 slots. That I need that. works I hid an NBC suit on on the coast and it looks like it's been taken I am half wondering if I'm not looking in the right place though so I'm gonna go back excuse me I do also want to uh, read those as well So funky, you asked how far am I along with the with the getting of the stuff for the the trip? I have got 
the orange filament, I've got the red filament and the blue filament. So I've got all three filaments. I've also got the, uh, the, the blueprint. So in order to go to the oil rig and get the suit that you need to print... I was just going to say I didn't kill that, but I did, didn't I? I shot it from up there. The only thing I le I've left yet to find is the key card that you get from the submarine. However, in order to go to the oil rig, I also need now a full NBC suit. That's been fixed. I need a proper full NBC suit, which I had stashed, but it seems to have vanished off the face of the earth. So thankfully the guy I just shot in the back had a lot of it. So I'm, I'm now looking for an NBC jacket and NBC gloves. And then I've got a full suit again and we can go to the submarine, try to go to the oil rig. Away we go. Uh, Rhubarb, my views are higher than they have been for, for anything else since the last time I put how many hours I have in the game. Or ever, since I said I had 11,000 hours in the game when I actually have more. But yeah, that title works. It's just It just works in the algorithm. It's really frustrating, but it works amazingly well. So yeah, that, that video is doing well above average at the moment. Uh, I haven't checked the views, and it came out 26 hours ago, but I'm guessing on my dashboard it's probably over 100,000 now. Or oh, they're pretty close to it. YouTube. Studio. So it's on 106,000 views, which for me in that amount of time is insane. It's the best performing video I've got in the last 10. I have 20k hours on days, 11k was in days launcher kappa. So to give you an idea, my second best performing video in the last 10 has 87,000 views. About now, having been released yesterday, and this one's got 106 and a bit. So it's nearly 20,000 more views than any other video I've done in the last 10. I don't see any problem with the clickbait title, to be honest, Yakumo. I like, I like people to watch my videos, you know. The last time I used it for that 11,000 hour player gets the best sniper rifle in the server, I got into the algorithm and I got shared with a load of people and I got about 800,000 new eyes on the video that I would not have got any other way, you know. That's 800,000 people that have never seen my YouTube channel before, you know. That, that's 800,000 people that can decide to sub or not, you know. I had the best subs per day ratio I've had in a long time on that video, you know, so uh, it's really important to, to get, to try, if you're a YouTuber, you need to try and hit the algorithm and you've got to do whatever you can, you know. It's not even baiting though, it's true, you know, I, I do have, I, it's not even baiting, I, I have more than 11,000 hours, you know, like, it's just an, a title that makes people want to click it. it it's, it's not really bait as such, because what what's in the title is true, it's... As Veratison would say, it's legit bait, you know. It's it's not like I'm saying, Daisy Player has great big boobs, and then there's no boobs in the video, you know. It's true. <clears throat> I'm sure you do have those, Tungus. There's no, there's no video on my channel that is the title that doesn't reflect what's in the content. I am prepared to clickbait, but only with things that are actually true. <coughs> I want boobs in the next video, don't we all? It's time to start Newbie, well clickbait is trying to bait people to click. It doesn't imply that you have to lie. That's the misconception with everybody, right? Head, like newspapers have been clickbaiting effectively. Uh, newspapers put the stories on the front page of the paper and a headline that make you want to buy the paper, you know. That's what headlines are for, you know. It's not a lie. When they don't put on the front of the local like newspaper, I don't know, like uh, local mayor in threesome shocker caught with pants down. And then when you get inside the paper, it's not true, you know. They, 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 unless maybe it's the Sunday Sport, perhaps. But uh, that's the point of it, isn't it? You know, that, that's the point of these... The headline is to make you want to buy the paper to read the paper.
that's the same as a YouTube thumbnail and a YouTube title, isn't it? <coughs> but clickbait is not necessarily a lie. That's the thing that's a bit of a misnomer. People get annoyed about clickbait when actually it's just a catchy title trying to, or a, maybe even an annoying title, but it's just true and it's trying to attract people to watch. See, I'm kind of hoping that it's a bit of a red balloon type moment, but I'm kind of hoping that we'll find my yellow dry bag because I was actually checking the wrong place. There's another red boat. So we've already got the key card, but you never know, there might be another. Eight nine one two. What's that one? Okay. See, I'm, I'm only running along here in the vain hope that I might have mistakenly missed my yellow dry bag. But we're going to have to loot around all the places we've already been, again, trying to find NBC loot. There might have been some up on that construction site as well. I'm sure I saw some NBC loot there. I think there might have been boots, though. There was possibly boots on the scaffolding where I found the red filament, maybe, but... See, I, I, I went... When I put it in the water, I put it in the water just about at the point where you start swimming. Uh, just past, about 20, 30 metres past, the uh, the shipwreck that's kind of half in the water. And that shipwreck's there, and I'm sure it was that one, so I think it's gone. I don't know. Newbie, well, uh, how are you doing, by the way? Thank you for subscribing for six months. No, if you've had it back that you've confirmed the payment and everything, it's fine. But when it says it expires next month, what it means, I think, is that it's going to roll over you know you'll 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 get the next you'll you no longer be a i don't know a 16 month sub you'll roll over to 17 months you know as long as it's gone through it should be fine i, I don't think i've ever heard of a problem before but don't gamer i do want to read those files but chilling on this island doesn't seem very feasible I see what you're saying, by the way, Holiday, uh, but it, it's not quite... The, the algorithm just doesn't promote videos that say 11,000 hours in it. It's not, I wish it were that simple, otherwise everyone could go viral, couldn't they, you know? Uh, it's not quite as simple as... The, the title isn't for YouTube, the title is to generate clicks. So it, it needs people to generate clicks, and then the YouTube algorithm notices, so... If you get a much higher click-through rate, a really good click-through rate for YouTube or for DayZ videos... So if, if you, your video is shared with all of your viewers and you normally get, I don't know, 9% of people that are shared that video, click it, right? That's what you normally get. And then if you make a video with an amazing thumbnail and an amazing title, and that video gets 14% of people clicking it instead of 9, and it's also getting a good deal of watch time as well, then YouTube uses that data and says, this video is getting more click-through rate, it's getting higher views. It's people are watching for longer. We'll share that with more people. It's a good video to share, you know. 
it's not really the algorithm's doing nothing with the title. The algorithm doesn't even know what the title is really, unless it's got a swear word in it or something. The algorithm is just looking at your your watch time, your like the number of likes, the number of comments, and so on. Nobody knows truly what the algorithm is, the algorithm is, but pretty much it's based around clickbait and what sorry clickbait click through and watch time. So if more people are see it being shared your video and click it, and they also stay to watch for a reasonably long amount of time. YouTube shares it with more people and if they kill, still click it and they still watch it for a fairly long time they share it with more people and so on 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 so uh, it's not really the title isn't really for YouTube's algorithm it's to improve the click-through rate on the audience you've already built and then YouTube thinks hang on a minute this one's a better video than normal it seems to be going really well let's share it with more and then it snowballs and snowballs and snowballs So that's the last boat before the one that we'd already uh, that's the last boat before the one that we've already checked around where I killed that guy before. I wouldn't rule out me playing Escape from Tarkov again on stream, but I, I right now off the top of my head I'd really don't want to. I'm not really feeling it. I kind of put it about there. I didn't put it very far in, so if somebody else was running the coast like I'm doing they could uh, they could easily have found it uh, Jamie Cook thank you for the 15 months you're very kind Nick Cole thank you for the two months that's very kind as well The outpost is clean on the... I'm on the southeast. The outpost is on the northwest. I think that would be a bad plan. See, I think I put it, like, quite close to these rocks, like somebody was just saying. Basically, I think we're shit out of luck. Someone's stolen my yellow dry bag of destiny. Content. Viewing from California. Cheers and keep running. I'm going to need more food. One of the, uh, this red box that's on the ground here somewhere in this grass. I think that's one of the, uh, over there. It was around here. I can't remember where we, we found it around here. I think that red box was one of the... There it is. That Phoenix box thing there. That One of those uh, longitude-latitude numbers on the map there. That's what it was. It was for there. It was right by the docks. And it looked on the map like it was just north of the docks. That's where it was. What's that for? It's got some paperwork in it that I've not even read yet. We're going to try and read it in a minute. See, I told you I made a cup of tea, so I'd need a piss again in an hour. I need a fucking piss. I really don't want to die doing this. Hi, Dazed. How you doing? Or Dazed? Ed. It's, I'm doing all right. We're doing really well on an attempt to get to the oil rig and get the spacesuit, but it's it's proving difficult. Love how genuine you are. Twitchy noob, thank you for the bits, dude. Very kind. Cheers for the bits, thanks for the kind words as well. Medpack, thank you for the seven months. Jamie Cook, thank you for the fifteen months.
this isn't even for loot. This isn't even for loot what we're doing today. This is for uh, this is for getting to Lantia and hopefully we can stay there for longer. I knew I had a picture saved from an old Sunday Sport front page. I bought Pound, Poundland's £9 Gucci trainers and now I'm drowning in piss. <laughs> oh, now I'm drowning in... Oh, it's not another way. It's not piss. It's drowning in and it's a uh, five-letter word. Beginning with P and ending with... Uh, rhymes with... Uh, uh, putty. I am going to fucking piss myself. Right, so... Mrs. just bought me a pizza, pepperoni, gluten-free, uh, which is great. I'm going to eat that, but I'm also going to have to quickly go for a slash as well. I'm going to piss my pants. I want to get the plus symbol before I go and then hopefully this will defrost and we'll be good I can't manually play the ads guys they're set up to be automatic so I can't do it when I go I don't think it overrides the ones that are due so if I play them manually say I play two minutes of ads while I go when I get back I still think the next advert break is still coming Hopefully this smoke is just low enough that it's not poking above the wall. Uh, uh, Charlie, thank you for the follow. Just got out of yeah. Well, it would have been yeah. You're right. 14 minutes ago, roughly. my fucking self. Right, okay, that's that. Guys, I'll be back in a sec, okay? Go for a piss before I die. Taking a slice of pizza with me.
haven't pissed. Like fucking aim, Nick's Neville pissing him. I uh, I also had a uh, a quick chat with the missus as well. Mostly while I was having the piss, to be fair though. When you're saying, guys, that was one hell of a tinkle, I've been gone a long while, you've got to remember that I have to go all the way over to the south wing. <clears throat> Using my electric golf cart, exactly. We've got one of those like travelators, like they have in airports. You know, that like the the you stand on them and the floor moves for you. You know, a bit like an escalator, but they don't go up. Num num num. Am I living in a mansion? No, I'm joking. I I live in a. Uh, a terraced former council house which is small it's nice i like it it's got four bedrooms but the fourth bedroom is the one i'm streaming and it used to be the bathroom so it's a very very small it's uh it's a three bedroom terrace house where there's only one toilet downstairs Adam, the plus symbol allows you to get wet here. That sucks. The plus symbol allows you to uh, keep warm for an extended period of time. So you see that little plus symbol next to my temperature? It's like a heat buffer. I can't get cold while I maintain that heat buffer. Oh god, there's three pages. I'm not reading this out guys, I'm eating. There we go, I've absorbed that information in a similar way to Keanu Reeves does in The Matrix. Where did I... I changed it for a helmet on, so I could uh, maybe tank a bullet.
Right, now we've got to go back to our quest for NBC loot, which is dull as shit. I, I really just want to be done. I want to be done and get going. I really want to just go to the sub and do the do the run. It would be so cool to be able to do this. Well, he's damaged quite, don't they? Fuck. I feel like there's a good chance there's players here. NBC gloves, now we just need the jacket. I've seen jackets as well. In this book in this room there was a jacket. How do you switch between sites of scope? So you mouse wheel up and down. Can't do it with that one, but yeah, you mouse wheel up and down, so mouse wheel mouse wheel up, mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down, so on. Yeah. So yeah, mouse wheel. Someone's taken the NBC bag or it despawned, but I think it got taken. Hospital is the place for the NBC. I didn't find a lot there when I was there earlier, and I'm finding it here, so I think we've got to loot this. Then we'll go up that way, I guess, you know. We only need an NBC jacket now. We've got we've got everything else. I think we'll find it if we keep looking here. Oh, Paul, it's a former council house. It's not, it's not, it's one that, my, it was my missus's house before I moved in with her, but she bought it and was, she, she own, we own the house with a mortgage, obviously, but yeah, it's not a council, former council house. It's not a council house. So a previous owner must have bought it and then sold it, you know. I'd never get a council house. No chance. I, I just wouldn't get one. But, nor should I, by the way, you know, council houses are not for me. I'm, I think if I, if right now, if I could get a council house, there'd be something wrong, you know, like, uh, like, for those that don't know, council houses are like houses that are owned by the local council, the local government, if you like, and they're provided sociable housing, so they're quite cheap, you don't have to pay too much for them. Uh, but then, like, and there's a lady opposite that's living in one of the to say it's one of the council houses that's still on the street and she's got she's a single mum she's got three kids and one of her kids is disabled it's for people like her you know she's the kind of person that should be in you know very hard to be a mum to three here, kids on your own and work enough to support three kids in a house you know I think you can only buy a council house if you've been living in it as a tenant though, can't you? Nowadays, I don't think you can just buy a council house because it's for sale. You have to be living in it and then you can buy it, I think. I don't think you can just buy any old council house, you know. You, you can obviously buy, like this house is one that we own. If we sell it, anyone can buy it and then they can rent it out if they want. But they're buying a house that's theirs in their own right. It's theirs to do with what they like, you know. I don't know what the average mortgage payment is, to be honest. I have no idea. Same as everyone else, it's high. The outfit is pretty good, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Have I ever broken 5k subs on Twitch? Yes, last September I hit 5,600 and odd. Uh, I actually am I'm, I'm close to 5,000 now, which is stunning. But I had 12 days off in, in August, so I'm actually uh, 
This is crazy to say, but my sub count is artificially low right now. You know, it's possible. Time so far, and I loved every single second of your videos and your streams. It's possible I might hit an all-time record this month, maybe. Uh, purely on the basis that Daisy's having a little bit of a resurgence, views-wise, because of Namalsk. Uh and there's obviously September as well. You know, you can get a little bit of money off if you like subscribe, or like if you're a new subscriber paying, you get a little bit of money off. You know. <clears throat> so it, it encourages a few people to sub, I suppose. Uh, and last month, I like, I, I think in three more streams time or three more days time, I'll be up against 12 days last month where I didn't stream. So that gives me a window to massively get the sub count up compared to where it is now. Chev, we've we've killed three players today, but it's been tough because we're trying to do a particular challenge. Uh, and I've got to find the right loot. I need to find an NBC suit. I've, I don't have any food either. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up fishing for 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 food. Maybe I should go back to where I killed that guy and take his rod. Hi waffle, how are you doing? Kill me for loot. Well, thanks for coming in, dude. I think I saw some NBC loot up there. You know, I think we're gonna. It, I think it was a gas filter, but I think we're gonna go and have a look. another wrench. I partly do wonder if I should take the wrench still. The wrench is for the oil rig, it's not for now. Can you see yourself wearing this wool coat in real life? No. It's more of a Liam Gallagher type coat, it's not for me. sliding down with these gloves. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, I agree. I do still need to take some more shit as well though, I've also got to take uh, I've also got to find an NBC jacket and carry that. I think I can hear a deer to the right. We might go and kill that. NBC pants. I don't have any duct tape. I'd quite like the green ones, but not, not at the expense of the condition. Liam may be a knob, but his, jack his jackets are top-notch, I agree. I just don't want to look like Liam Gallagher because all. I know, like a lot of the music that him and his brother did over the years, you know. What do you use to fix wellies? It's time to start running. Hello, Mr. Strimmer. Good work. That tape might work, but I think it's probably uh, nothing. I think I prefer Noel Gallagher myself. Oh, Noel Gallagher seems a little bit more down to earth than Liam. But that might not be true, it just, but he certainly seems that way. I've always kind of felt that Liam, that Liam Gallagher was really hot-headed, maybe in the past. Perhaps he's calmed down, but it was always Liam Gallagher that was getting into scraps or arguments or verbal shit with uh, other artists and stuff. He was always falling out with people. It was never... Uh, it was never Noel, was it? It was always Liam. Tire repair kit would make sense.
Well, they supported him beforehand, though, so you, you can't hold that against them. They've been supporting City for since before they got... To, it's not like they suddenly supported them when, after they got all the money. My subscription to you is like the National Trust. I wish I could use it more, <laughs> but I at least I have the comfort of knowing that is supporting UK heritage. Smiley face. Uh, Enibagus, thank you for the kind words. And, and yeah, all right, thank you. I've got the gloves, now I'm looking for the NBC jacket. We just need a mouldy old NBC jacket and we're set. Do you know what? I don't think I can take the deer yet. I can't handle the stress of trying to carry it. Yep, Vite, my stash got taken, so I'm having to find it again. Thankfully, I callously shot some dude, some fisher dude at a fire, and he had the suit, and he had a lot of the suit and a gas mask, so... I've got to loot all of this again and try... I think there might have been a drag in one of the train cabs or something like that, but... I've got to, I've got to find it. Yeah, the nice thing about shooting the fisher dude near the fire was he'd got two fish. Teach a man to fish. And he'll have fish forever until he gets shot in the back and then he's his killer will eat it. That's slightly better. I can hear an event rumbling. If I was closer, I might jump to Athena 3. Just so we could try and find the bits we needed for the suit of doom. So little stamina now. Uh, Pyronim, thank you very much for the three months chat with Charles. Thank you for the support. Very kind. I'm going to have a chat with Charles when I get my uh, knighthood for services to respawns. It's going to be great. you for the last month of streaming. You carried me through the toughest time of my life. It was like having a friend without conwing him in person and it helped me to recover a lot faster. Sure, but dude, I hope you're doing okay, man. Hope you're on the mend. Ah! Your friend that you could you didn't call has, has got a very manly voice when he sees Seven a zombie, that much I know. You talk about watches, whiskey, your peen and gluten. Dude, there ain't much else, is there? Sometimes lately we've been talking about ads, but I don't really like that one. <laughs> uh, Fury, Furry Farmer, thank you very much for the seven months. Norbert, thank you very much. Chat with Charles, dude, thank you very, very much as well. Cheers for the support. Thank you for the gifted sub bomb. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Why would you have a gold-plated Lambo? you just get a gold one, wouldn't you? Never mind gold-plated. Gold. I like gold. A gold member doesn't like gold plated, he likes gold. <laughs> like Goldfinger as well, he's, he's got a gold Rolls Royce, it's not gold plated. Gold! There's a load more loot in here than the last time I came in. The dog doesn't sound very happy, the moaning old bastard. He's trapped in and he doesn't want to be... Oh! 
He's in his little room and he don't want to be. Pistol's just got damaged and we need to fix it up a little bit. Fix up, look sharp. But, why use our own weapon cleaning kit when we can use this freebie one? Which I think is actually my weapon cleaning kit, but I dropped it before. Teapot, I'm feeling absolutely okay. Don't you worry about me. Plonker, if you've got a solid gold car, you ain't going quick, dude. Because uh, all gold will be weighty as fuck and it would only travel 10 miles per hour. If you've got a gold car, you ain't you ain't going anywhere quick. You're rolling down the high street at about 4 miles an hour going, All right, I've got a gold car, me. <laughs> Until somebody like starts like chipping away with a pickaxe or something. And not because they're trying to put speed holes in. Right, let's, uh... You need to chip bits off to pay for the fuel. I didn't know that uh, Esso, Esso took... I know they take Tiger tokens, but I didn't think Esso garages take, like, just gold. Excuse me, mate. How many ounces of gold for one tank of petrol? That, that'll, be, uh, that'll be a kilo, please, mate. Kilo of gold these days, you know. Prices are going up and up. Guys, I know we're re-looting areas we were looting before, but before I was looking for filaments, and now I'm looking for fucking NBC loot, because someone's took me NBC loot. Arr! But this island is popping. There's a lot of people around, you know. We've killed some people here. There was a massive firefight and like three or four dead dudes. With your change of schedule. And then we killed the last Earth one. Is well. Shadowbat. Well, uh, I've only changed the schedule slightly. Last week I just streamed Friday instead of... Uh, Friday instead of Tuesday, but I've been doing five streams a week. I won't be streaming next Monday because it's the day of the Queen's funeral, so I won't. It's a bank holiday in the UK, and I'm not going to stream on that day. So, other than that, this month I'm streaming five days a week every week. Right, come on. Give, give me the NBC. Is there actually a reason for three sewing kits? Yes. There you go, I dropped half of one. Just Jay, uh, no. I, I'm not bound to, to committing to 12-hour streams like that. Although I, I am probably going to do a 12-hour on the Sunday, but if I decide against it, then so, so be it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm probably going to do a 12-hour on the Sunday, but we shall see. Oh no, actually, maybe I can't. I, I, I said earlier I was going to do a 12 hour on the Sunday, but I just realised my kids are here until 2pm, which is going to make it somewhat difficult, so we'll see. But a 12 hour on a Tuesday doesn't work very well. It's not as good of a viewing day for me as Monday and Sunday, so if I'm going to do it, I'd rather do it on the days where I... For whatever reason on Twitch, like my views are best on Sunday and Monday, and then they're slightly lower on Tuesday, slightly lower again on Wednesday, slightly lower on Thursday, and then you get back to Sunday again. I had, I've always had better views on a Monday than I have on a Saturday, but that might be because I don't normally stream on a Saturday. I don't have any food. I'm really starting to get frustrated by, by the difficulty of this fucking challenge. And we've done so much of it as well. Ooh. Never hacksaw a gun with mags or bullets in it. It's not worth the risk. We've got to go and try and get some food. We have got some sticks, yep. Hacksaw takes off the carry handle. So 
so it makes the it makes the iron sights much much nicer that the iron sights are so obscure they're so blocked now with the carry handle off it's much nicer What's the risk? Well, back in the day, killer, if you had a Mosin and you sawed it off, or if you had any gun and you sawed it off, like, whatever guns you could do it to, if you had bullets in it, the bullets would disappear. If you had a scope on it, the scope would disappear. Now, it probably doesn't do that anymore, but whenever you hacksaw a gun, I always take everything off it except the bit that you're going to saw. So, if there's anything you can remove before you do it, do it, and then put it back on afterwards. I don't think it changes the damage of the gun, it shouldn't do. Right, so we need to come down here, there's there's the hospital down here where we may get the bet the last of the NBC suit we need. On top of that, we need to find some food as well. Uh cheers watchful, we'll take it easy, dude. Thanks for coming in. Does hacking it off affect range? I don't think so. No, you can still range it. It still works the same. We've got to really be careful here. I, I, I need... I've just heard animals behind. I maybe should go and kill one of those. I don't really want to get into some kind of protracted firefight while I'm starving to death because if you get shot if you get shot to red health or even worse, worse red flashing health while you're hungry and then you're hobbling around traveling like no speed at all desperately trying to find food you're in a whole world of hurt aren't you? I fucked up I thought it was miles away George, thank you for the eight months. That's very kind. Shadowbat, thank you again. The, uh, yeah, the, the, the event with the lightning now striking as well is so much more scary. It's really kind of like, it's so much worse. I don't have any food. No, I'm going to have to find some while I'm here. I know that's now, and I've been playing it loads, but I, I was still a little bit worried. About half of your health, Peach, if you were outside in it. The lightning strike stuff does not happen on normal days, you know, it's, it's specific to Namalsk. You normally get food here. We found some food here before.
We haven't even looked to see if there's anybody here. There could be players here. That's kind of like almost utterly pointless. Right, now we need to find NBC clothes. We need an NBC jacket. going to be yellow here I think so like like I say we need an NBC jacket probably yellow I don't need the salines but if I find any more salines we did this earlier but it just gives me extra hydration that I don't have to work for so I'm going to I'm going to keep picking up the start kits when I find a saline I'll uh, I'll use it and just give myself a bit more hydration Pants, we need the jacket. That's a hood. We need the jacket. You were right though, dude. We are finding a lot of the NBC stuff here. It's possible it had been looted not long before I got here when I looted it before. Which containers open, they have a door that will open. Like the containers that don't have like little struts over the door, so you can a bit like that, you know, that kind of thing. You, that door doesn't open, you can see why, you know. Like if there's uh, struts over the door, play can't commence. They're like chastity belts, but for doorways. Do I have the blueprint, but Banshee? No, I don't have the blueprint. I've got fucking two. <laughs> She'll release once more. So we always close the doors behind me. Not always, but the server restarted not long ago. The server restarted not long ago and all of these doors are closed because the server just restarted so the reason I'm shutting them all is that anyone else that comes along like the server restarted I don't know 25 minutes ago but anyone else comes along and finds all the doors open knows that someone's been you know whereas if they don't they're gonna wait and loot it all you know that animal sound is a deer we may go and get it later but for now my, my priority is trying to find the NBC stuff need an NBC jacket and I cannot lie. Getting swifter, you be quiet, okay? And the only reason I'm carrying this stuff is because I need it, okay? I need every single thing that I'm carrying and don't you forget it. We're getting dark again. We've been alive. This is like the third night time that we're going to see on this character, I think. Fucking hell, I'm still on Tower Island. Come on, give a guy a break.
Let's hear your best impression of the Daisy Deer. No! I haven't got space for any more filters, Devil Reaper. I, d I just don't have the... I can't, like, comprehend the sum required to work out how to carry that. <gasps> Said I shut all the doors. I left that door open, but never mind. And obviously, as I'm looting around like this... There is a chance that uh, me leaving a load of dead zombies is going to get me found out. You know, that's not so clever, but dead, bond de dead zombies despawn relatively quick. So, six minutes, as long as we get out of the area. At least it's NBC clothes we're looking for. It's quite easy to find. NBC clothes are not that rare. And so... I'm sorry, at least they're bright yellow, you know. So, it's not like if I was looking for... A filter or the gloves. Back. They can be hard to find. We just got to look for a great big bright ball of yellow like that, but not a hood. Lick Rob, dude. Well, thank you for the support. I hope you're well. Thank you for coming in. I'm sure I reckon you know your name for a bit longer than six years ago. I do remember your name. That can't be from six years ago. It, it just can't be. Mercury, that's how it is on, on vanilla as well, yeah. So zombies despawn in six minutes, but only if there's players, like, if there's players within about 120 metres, they won't despawn. So while I'm here, they'll stay. When I leave, they'll go really quick. Lick Rob, dude, I do remember your name, I do. It, it feels like five Two minutes ago, and you're, and you're saying it was that six years ago, nearly. Three. Fucking hell, dude. Well, I hope you're good, man. Hope all is well. Uh, Zevo, thank you for the 24 months. That's actually correct, what Uncle Foods just said there. Server owners may well change the despawn timer of zombies, so it could be different from server to server. Did I just hear someone open something? I thought I had a door opening, like a metal door. Kenny, thank you for the 20 months. Tier 3 as well, dude. Thank you so much for the support. Angelus, thank you for the 29. Zevo, thank you as well. Another filter, another EpiPen, new pair of gloves, we'll have those. got the game. Oh no, I haven't done the game. I thought I'd done it. Yeah, I'm going to start charging for it, Adeline. Now there's an idea. Hello? I heard you shut the door. Let's be friends. It's time to start running! I'm not going to that roof. I'm just a bit worried about this one. Schizophrenic. No, I've only turned the gamma up for you guys. It doesn't turn it up for me.
What's that? Please don't be pants. Fuck you! Fuck's sake. We found nearly every type of NBC clothing while we were here, except the jacket. Why not loot cycle? Loot cycling is an exploit, dude, and if you get caught loot cycling, you can get banned from community servers for sure, so... It's not really in the spirit of things, dude. I, I don't think, really, if I'm honest, I don't think most f viewers of you my YouTube videos would like to... Uh, taking aside the ethics of it, I don't think most people that watch my YouTube videos would really enjoy... So, uh, I did this really hard thing by like gaming the loot until I got the stuff I needed then I just went and did it you know that that's not really an adventure is it and that's just the YouTube side of things but the reality is there's not really an adventure for the player as well so even before YouTube I wouldn't have done that because uh, when I very very first started playing the game I used to gear up yes I used to gear up on an empty server too look at that I'd gear up on an empty server and then switch right I think a lot of people do that when they first start playing but once you sort really getting into the game and you really realise that Daisy's about the story and the adventure and so on, you know, like, if you're playing for the story and the adventure, there is absolutely no story in. So I server hopped servers until I got an M4 and then I killed some people and died, you know. Same goes for loot, loot cycling, you know. You, it's much more fun to be travelling looking for the things you want. Because while you're travelling looking for the things you want, the game happens as well, you know. Like, like, rather than loot cycling here to get it, I've had to search this island several times. While we've been on this island, I've been shot by a savannah and nearly died, killed the guy, I've killed a couple of other players, you know, it's... We've finally worked hard and got the things we've need, but there's been some daisy adventure along the way, you know, like... It's not just been as simple as... Uh... Shoot and... shoot and move. Like, just loot and move kind of thing, you know? I wish I, uh... <gasps> I'm going to quickly check in here again. Look at my stamina. And I'm not averse to re-looting the same place I've already been. I'm really not, but what I don't like doing is forcing loot to spawn. That's a different thing. It's time to start running! It's time to start I just swapped our bed for a trampoline. My wife hit the roof. <laughs> uh, Dr. Fat, thank you for the support. 1-0, thank you for the resub as well. Crazy Critter, thank you too. Memes up, Scotty, thank you for the prime. Always happy to send you my prime. Back to lurking. Uh, oh, Dr. Fat, thank you very much as well. Uh, Schnorbert, take it easy, dude. I hope you feel better real soon, man. There's deer near to where I am now, but I need to find them. I can also hear some in the distance, but there's some near me. Hey Bishop dude, hope you're good. Why are the deer that are near me not making any noise anymore? <sighs> I'm going to have to get them. I'm going to have to go and get these deer. They're over this way somewhere. Is there a reason for the pipe wrench? Yes. In a nutshell, yes is the answer. 
Thanks for the streams is always from Canada. I need it for the oil rig. It's time to start rolling. Yep, thank you for Did the two months. Womb Doom, thank you very much for the support too. Have prime. Rattle business. Dude, thank you for the support. At rattle business or rat rattle business, which must be a streamer's alert. Sorry, streamer's emote. It reminded me of the dude from Creme Brulee in uh, in uh, who 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 lives in Royston Vasey. <laughs> it's a shit business. <laughs> League of Gentlemen is what I was trying to think of. am I getting so close to these deer but they're nowhere? I can hear them. They seem like they're getting further away. <laughs> Mel, you should have a prime sub, yeah. If you've used it somewhere else and forgotten about it or it's not quite... Sometimes you can lose the sub, uh, sub button but you don't have the ability to use prime for a little while later, I believe, but... I wish I had a suppressed gun. This is going to be annoying. Something in the background kind of made me interested in them for a sec. This is so dangerous. Time to start rolling. I, don't, I really don't want to do this, but we've got to do it. I shot it in the head, so at least we'll get a reasonably large amount of meat from it if we don't get killed. How are you today? Master of all dad jokes and tier one Star Wars Marvel trivia Noah. Cam girl, I'm great. I hope you're good. Thank you for the support. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Which tree line did I hide it in? That tree line there, I think, wasn't it? Four isn't too bad, actually. It could have been much worse. It was that tree line there, wasn't it? Fucking idiot. Right, let's just cook this. Got very good quality bits of meat from it, though. Look at that. That's really good. Converted my sub. Now those sweet child support payments are due. Happy nine months.
fixed entropy, dude. Thank you very much for the support. How cool does that look with the glow there? That looks really cool. I don't think it will defrost them, but... space here. I'm so struggling for space. It's time to start running! I can't lie in that, can I? I'm losing temperature to heat, but I won't be in a second. I'm out to have a lot of uh, meats on me. Blueprints. I'm up. Actually, nearly ready to eat. Oh, this one is. Uh. This should start warming me up because of how uh, how fucking hot we are. So, because of, we're light blue, but as we eat this, I believe it should actually give me the plus symbol if I eat enough of it while it's 60 degrees. So now we've got to start trying to plan for a trip to the submarine. I need sticks. I'm probably going to need a spare bag with some sticks in. I'm going to need to be able to fish possibly as well. I don't know. I like we could be out on the ice for ages. We're either going to need to take a lot of food with us somehow or we're going to need to fish. This is such a hard thing to do as a lone wolf. It's so hard. And one thing that's cool though is that once we've done the the printer thing, if we get to the oil rig and we do the printer, at least after that, we won't need to carry all of this crap like the filament stuff. That's taking up 18 spaces just for the filaments, you know. That that's quite a lot of space. I don't need two blueprints, no. I, well, I don't think I do, but yeah. I found two, and they're so rare, I thought I'd carry them both, you know? I always inject my morphine instead of dropping it. I can see the sense in that. If you like morphine, have it. Uh, Cornelius, we've done a few, uh, we've done a few of the, uh, well, the mods have done a few, to be honest, but yeah, we've done a few challenge things, like uh, for channel points, but it can get a bit much if we do too many. We haven't done any for a little while, and I feel like uh, it's good to mix it up a bit, but we have done some, yeah. We are going to have to drop so much stuff to take this suit, if we can make it. Marcellus, I know there are three filament colours you need. That's why I've got an orange one, a blue one, and a red one. We got them. We got them. We got the Jolson lot. Now we've got to try and make our way back to safety, which I don't know where that is, but 
we've got to go back up against the players going north, against the flow of players coming south, and try and make our way to the submarine. We've also got to try and find a new bag. Not for my back, I'm carrying this one, but I need another bag to carry sticks in. And also food, so maybe a dry bag on the coast might work. It's really risky though, because we're going to have to go everywhere carrying a bloody bag. Uh, I've got everything I need to do the printing, Jim, other than a key card from the submarine. So that's the last thing we're trying to go and get now, but I've got a journey to do to go there. What are the sticks for? I've got to make fires out on the ice sheet to survive. You can swim with a torch. I'm not doing it with a torch, guys. I'm not doing it. It's it's bollocks. I, I know I did that in the Deer Isle video. I, I swam with a torch, but it was a 26 minute swim. It's so arduous. It's kind of crazy, but... You can make fires out on the ice sheet, and that seems legit, so I'll do that. Big Kev, nothing that I needed. The Alice bag, the, the last Alice bag I had was ruined. I, dr I dropped a yellow dry bag, but uh, it's been looted. I left it on just inside the, the ocean, and someone took it. So I had a full NBC loot dropped and stashed. But I didn't stash it in a very smart place. Why am I not hiding the NBC stuff? Because I need to take it with me. I, ne I need it now. I can't leave it. If I hide it here, I've got to go to where I need to... I I've, I've got to go there now. I, I need to go to the submarine and then I'll be out on the ice and I'll go to the oil rig where I need the suit. Uh, Wonderboot, thank you for the Prime, that's very kind. I'm Fixed Entropy, thank you again. Cam Girl and C. Kobe, thank you for the new sub. Sorry, it might have took me a little minute to split see that one, dude, but... Cheers for the support, man. Which mission is harder, th this one on Deer Isle with the hammer? I'll let you know. My gut makes me think it's probably Deer Isle, but I don't think I can really say that's true yet. I think this is going to be really hard. I think what makes this harder, though, is just the sheer number of players you're going to encounter along the way. It's a small map. You're going to have to get quite a lot of kills, whereas on Deer Isle, it's more just the, the sheer challenge of it. You might not have to do quite so much PvP, maybe. I feel like if you're on an empty server, the Deer Isle challenge is harder. If you're on a full server, then it's really close. I don't really know. And I've not done it yet, so it's really hard to know. So from a PvE perspective, I feel like the... the uh, the Deer Isle, Deer Isle one, like I say, is more of a challenge. Germani, I've not done this well before. I've, I've not even found a filter before today, so we've got we've got everything we need to be making it to the sub. Can't believe there's another event already. Makes you wonder if the event that's going now is one that's been triggered by someone inside Athena 3. Calcifier, the filaments spawn, well I've found them all in industrial areas on Tara Island, and the filaments spawn along the east coast of Tara Island at lifeboats. The lifeboats don't spawn in the same place every time though, they move like police cars do. Bastard moved as well. Stamina's so low now, I can barely fucking move. I heard the zombie behind. I, I don't care about zombies. We're just going to keep going. I want to. I want to get going. I need a dry bag from one of these boats, but the least distance I can carry this dry bag, the better, because I'm going to really struggle. I, I'm good. I get it. Yes, now I do. Kale, Kale I've, I've not done it yet. No, we've made a lot of progress, though. We're on our way to the uh, submarine now, if we can get there. 
It's very hard though, it, it's going to be hard to survive the trip to the submarine. And then after that we've got to survive the trip to the oil rig, and then survive the oil rig, and then get back to the mainland. And then get to Athena 2 and wait for an event, and then get to Athena 3 and then try and get to Lantia. It's going to be really tricky. I'd say we're about halfway there though, what we've already done has been pretty good. Uh, Daphron, thank you for the nine months. That's really kind. Thank you. Uh, I probably don't need a compass. I'll be alright on the ice sheet without a compass. I know we, you can tell which way south is when you're on the ice sheet easy enough. And I need to go to the... You all I need to do is go friend. to the uh, sub and then head straight south. And if we keep going south long enough, we'll see the oil rig. Getting back might be tricky, but yeah, I can probably do it without a compass. I've been to the oil rig once, and it's in the middle of a barren wilderness, so... Well, a barren ice sheet, so I'm, I've been there once. I'm sure I can find it again without a map and a compass. No worries. Oh my god, I need to start paying more attention. This is so... it's scary. I also need to be looting the boats for a dry bag. So Jimmy, uh, apparently Sail Suite did it yesterday. I don't think anyone's done it as a lone wolf yet. I could be wrong. I, I think this. Is, I don't think we'll do it today, by the way. We might. I really hope we do. But I don't think anyone's done it as a lone wolf on stream, at least. Anyway, it's incredibly hard. Honestly, I almost don't want to carry a bag. We might try and get one a bit nearer to where we're going because if I did find a dry bag now, I've got to carry the bastard and, and it's really dangerous. We're about to go past the swamp. If we go past the swamp with a bag in our hands, especially if it's like bright yellow or blue or something, you know, we're just asking for trouble, aren't we? Ange Nova, Ang Nova, thank you very much. Ange Nova, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the new sub. Jones, uh, Jonans, Jonans, I think Jonans, thank you for the new sub as well. Cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel. Cheers for subscribing, dude, thank you. Killing, that's what I just said, dude, yeah. And he will have gone, but I think he had a group with him. Uh, that doesn't make it, it's still really hard, but trying to do this on your own and carry all the stuff. Even the thought of trying to wear this suit with 35 slots is twisting my fucking melon. It, it's going to be something that people do as a team a lot more than do on their own. How many hours, Anton, have I got in DayZ? Uh, more than 14,000, despite what YouTube videos say. Where, Oh, that's actually good. I'd like that. How the fuck am I going to carry that? If we're on the ice sheet and we need to eat, that's one way we can eat, right? Me and dropping loot. And I'm going to have to start dropping bullets. Just don't want to, you know. That's the trouble. I just don't want to. I'll never use them bullets. Do you want a better bomb, Sneeze? I might do. I might do. You don't know. I doubt I'll use I doubt I'll use them. You're obviously right, but I like bullets. I like the f I like the safety you feel when you've got a big bag of bullets. Killing, can you not get that from Ath Athena 3? I'll get them and put them on the suit that I'm wearing, I think is what I'll have to do. Dave, well, I've got to put the suit on, so when I'm at the, the oil rig in the gas, I then have to wear the suit. I don't think you can carry it. So, whilst we're in the gas, I've... Hello? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. All right. Don't shoot, don't shoot. No, I'm not looking for a fight, dude. Do you know if there's many people go the way I'm going? 
dude, by the way. Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm, too sure, man. I'm, I'm putting my gun away. I'm going to give you something amazing that you may or may not want, okay? It's it's, it's not a, a joke. On the ground there, look. What was that? You need that to go to the oil rig. There's other things you need, but it's very, very rare. People will want it. But I've got two. Good oh, luck. Oh, sick, dude. Thanks, man. See ya. Love you, bye. God, I fucking, he doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he might not have seen one before. I should have just said it's a mini disc, shouldn't I? Hmm. Is that OG? No. No, no, no. So, I've got two of those. That's the blueprint that you have to find on Tara Island. We've got two, so I gave him one. There's no way my blueprint can get ruined because it's in a, it's in, although it's in pouches, it looks like it's in the inventory. That, the pouches act like a protector case. So even if my vest gets ruined, the pouches will not. So my uh, keycard is safe. That's why the, uh, the filament or whatever it's called, yeah, the filament, that's there, and the other two filaments are in the cooking pot. So we're keeping them as uh, away from a, a possibility of getting ruined. There's no way the stuff I need to get to the. Uh, the oil rig and print the uh, suit can get damaged. It's going to stay good no matter how dead I get. So when they kill me, they'll they'll be able to use it themselves, you know. I didn't want to kill him. He didn't have a gun out, and he's been, he's gone a fair way through the map, and he's not got a gun out. It didn't. It, I've got the stuff I need. I d I'm going to need more food, I guess, but. I don't need to kill him, you know. I, c I tried to shoot someone earlier when I was on near the factory. There was things I still needed that it felt like I had a reason to kill him. Now I don't feel like I had any strong reason to bother with that guy, so we didn't. I know people are saying you're not going to use all those bullets, you're not going to use all those bullets, and that's probably true. However, I'm certainly getting through the MK2 rounds, you know, we're getting through those. I was going to drop them to save space, but they're only 0.25 of a kilo, it's fucking pointless. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, Pancho. They'd all be in road signs. That's that's right, isn't it? That's what you do. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the 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 hook can get ruined. We probably don't need two, but yeah, we might as well take two for now. If we got lost on the ice sheet, I might be grateful of having two. Not so, not so, so pick. I was, but I'm going north now. I'm kind of coming back into the middle of the map, heading into the north side of the map. We've got to go to the submarine, so I'm prepping for that. I need a bag, and I need some food. At least we've got the fishing rod now, which helps. But I've got to carry a bag in my hands in order to get to the submarine and the oil rig. I think. Been a while. Good to be back. Ario uh, from the. Uh, from the red uh, dynamic boats on the east side of Tower Island. Bloosh, dude, thank you very much for coming back in. Hope you're good. Cheers for the resub. Uh, you've been gone more than 10 minutes, Bronco. <laughs> uh, Village Idiot, thank you very much. Should have just said that that was my pawn collection. It's just got lots of animals and feet in it. <laughs> All right, I'll remember that for next time. It's my pawn collection. It's got pictures of your mum in it. <laughs> Uh, Arch, dude, thank you very much for the seven months. Holy shit, am I tense. I'm, I'm getting tense now. And we've still got miles to go. We've still got so much more to do. We're nowhere near accomplished it, but I'm starting to get tense because we've actually made progress. I'll end up coming up to the town up ahead, and Nemsk, I think it's called, and we'll get killed by a dude with a double barrel or something. Right? Mel, dude, thank you for resubscribing. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
I think there are some, just as a heads up, there are some adverts about to come up for, for those that like to know. So, uh, I shouldn't be saying this, but if you need to go for a piss or something, go now. Right. <laughs> it might They might just be done by the time you get back. I mean, watch the ads. I think they'll be coming up 7 hours 35 minutes into the stream, which is soon. All I'm doing is running in a field, and I'm properly kind of, like, scared. Not scared. Tensed. Stressed. Worried. Thinking I'm not going to do it. <sighs> I, I really would quite like to be able to go to through this town and get to the sub without seeing another player, but I, I think that's unlikely. hearing that many shots are we which is kind of surprising I think we'll hear some soon but look at that you can tell I've been alive a while and we're, we're starting to push towards half uh, half frost resistance resistance which is about as good as I ever do so if we can live another three or four hours I'll be I'll be as good a frost resistance as I've ever done Blackjack, uh, you've got the sub button. Subs don't get ads. Adios, thank you for the bits. Uh, if you die now, we'll have to find a new streamer. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, in game I might be able to carry on, hopefully, but yeah. Past frost resistance and 1 16th stamina. Well, yeah, that's normal, though. 1 16th stamina is just me and my... Uh, like, best operation setting, you know. Right, we're getting close to where we need to make the trip. I, I just need to find a bag and avoid all the players. To be honest, now I've found the... Uh, now I've found the... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It is a word I'm looking for. Now I've found the fishing rod. I'm thinking I don't even need to go to the town to find food. We've got the fishing rod. I just need to find a bag. And then in the bag I'm going to fill it full of like long sticks for cooking and short sticks for firing. And then we, j we can just go, you know. We can just go and have at it and it'll be fine. I'd rather just get out on the ice and we can catch fish for food if we need, you know. My way, well, you've got a sub button next to your name, so somebody's gifted it to you, dude. I still am not quite in World Cup mode yet, and it's not very far away. I'm really excited for that. Those that, that hate football talk are going to have a really good time in November, aren't they? It's going to be great. Oh, I, I am excited for it. England, at this stage, I'm still thinking I've got no chance, but by the time it's the week before the tournament, England are going to win the, win, the, win the whole thing. Harry Kane hat-trick in every game. Uh, wanna wanna be? Uh, thank you very much for the nine months. That's very kind. One one man's wan man's, wan man's Twitch baby. Thank you. Oh, I wish it was in the summer as well. But uh, to be honest, if it had been in the summer, I'd just be disappointed that England went out on penalties or something. You know. Now it's now. At least I've got it to look forward to instead, rather than looking back and commiserating with myself. Hazardorn, I, I know uh, 
has Odin. I know uh, Croatia. Like in the last World Cup, they beat England, and they 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 were. Uh, They've always been close, a little bit like England in a way. You know, England on paper arguably have probably had better teams at times, but England have always had about no better chance than Croatia of winning it most times, you know. It, I think I always pretendingly talk their chances up, but I think... I, I don't know the ins and outs of the team very well anymore, but to me, Luka Modric, Modric is the most important player. And he's still amazing, but he's not as good now as he was. He can't be. He just can't be. It's not possible. Do you know what I mean? So, I feel like... Their best chance was when they got to the final after beating England, you know, in the semis last time. I think it's one, two further along, it may be. I really don't... I've never really fancied England's chances for this World Cup. And the reason for that is, is fairly simple, and that's because it's in Qatar, and they never do well when it's too hot. I think a few of you in the chat are talking about it now, but I'm going to get those wellies because we're about to go over the, the swimming and stuff, so wellies don't last very long, but they do stay warm, which is going to be quite useful. If he's got a bag, I'm afraid he might be getting executed. I didn't Andy Jester, no. behind the fire and I can't see him. I know he's there but I want to headshot him. I don't want to hit him. I want to hit him anywhere else. I've just seen the bag. He's got the most pathetic bag. That sucks. I, I, if I'd realised what bag he has before he fell, I wouldn't have shot him. Scout the fire before shooting. That's all well and good, but the, the worry is that by the time you've scouted the fire before shooting, he's got up and ran away, you know, like, I, it, it seemed like a sensible enough thing. It's it's not me that's the problem here, you know, like, like well, it, I am the problem, but it's the problem is his, not mine, you know, he's dead, you know, it doesn't, it's no skin off my nose, I'm alive, right? So, scouting the fire just takes more risk for me, you know, it, I'm taking more risks to protect that guy, well, fuck him. <laughs> I know it's harsh, but I'm on a seriously hard challenge right now, I don't want to make it any harder. To save dudes with school bags. Didn't actually hit him in. Oh, my God. back. I'm going to get killed. Hopefully that doesn't despawn too quick. For fuck's sake. Oh no.
If someone finds that food and takes it, well, so be it. But I need that fire to get to 500 degrees. Sorry, 300 degrees, and then defrost that food. And so, uh, I kind of need to... I kind of need to leave that fire burning. I might eat all of this mackerel if we just cook it somewhere. I might just cook it and then eat it, if I can. Super ketchup. I, I know for sure that smoke was getting more last night, and I only know that because I drifted to chit Twitch this morning, actually. So, uh, smoke was on something like 5,600 or so, maybe more, maybe 6,000 this morning, you know. But I'm incredibly proud to have that kind of level of views on this game. It is insane. So, thank you for coming in, people. It's insane. <laughs> and we are, like, properly, like, in the middle of a big tense moment as well. And I remember, like, when I would watch PUBG going back. I know Twitch has grown a bit since then, but I'd be watching somebody on PUBG that had, like, four or five thousand, five, five thousand viewers. And I would be, like, so, like, holy shit, I can't believe, like... That wouldn't even be one of the very biggest streamers, but quite a lot of them. Like, even some of the ones up to, like, seven or eight thousand, you know, you like... It still seemed, like, madness. And to be anywhere near that level now is kind of insane, really. I don't think the bag will disappear out of my hand, and if it does, the contents will be on the floor. I wouldn't lose the contents, you know, I'd, I'd just lose the... Uh... And also, I know the server restart was fairly recent, so... Why am I struggling with this? Is it just the salty sticks that are on there that are doing it? Why can I not put that on there? It's not locked. It's bugged. I don't think you can lock it. Oh, no, you can. All right. Never done that before. I've never seen that before. That's a new one on me. It may have been possible forever. I've just never even thought to do it. trifle dude thank you very much for the support cheers for the gifted sub bomb you're incredibly kind shadow esbrith thank you for the 12 months spasmo thank you for the bits and memphis rage tales thank you for the bits as well very very kind guys thank you reload cheers for the resub blazed prodigy thank you as well monobex thank you very much too and reload dude yours was 63 months thank you i hate this house i hate this house it's not a good house to have a fire in. It's just not. Anybody could be coming. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. It, it doesn't help that I'm so stressed right now. Yeah, we're up near the fresh area now, boom. We're kind of running through where we sh you could expect to see fresh spawns and whatnot. There is a chance that the guy I just killed might run back and get his food because he could easily spawn back there, you know. The food cools down quicker if we keep it in the bag, I'm pretty sure, so we need to do that. Mm. 
I'm really starting to get fucking annoyed about. I've got to drop some stuff. I've got to. just don't want to. Just don't want to drop it. I think there's little point trying to bury stuff because I think some fucker's going to come along and ruin it for me, you know? I, I just don't see me hiding a stash and getting away with it, you know? I, I don't see that working. Oh, that's cooling down quick. No country of your kids, you can, but it, it's still not perfect. You know, it doesn't work amazingly well there. I don't think ruined bags despawn. It, if I put them on the ground, they will. But I don't think a ruined bag will despawn unless it's on the ground. Like, if it's in my hand and the server restarts, it will still be in my hand when I get back in. Drop weapon cleaning kit, you'll find another. And then the only gun I've got, because I'll have to drop guns fairly soon. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll drop it. I'll have to drop it when I get the suit. Maybe. Rass, put it in the fire, then it's gone. Well... I could drop the I could drop the FAMAS. I could drop the FAMAS and then it would allow me to drop all the five five six. So dodgy. <clears throat> yeah, I need... Well, I don't... Maybe I need the wrench, but yeah, I'm keeping it for now. I'd, I'd, this bag is not big enough. I need to find a dry bag. I need to get more sticks. I just... I don't want to do any more looting. I want to stay away from players. I want to get away from it all. I want to be basking under the Maui sun like Whitman, Price and Haddad. I sure hope that guy learns he doesn't learn that he died for his ruined school bag. <laughs> Do I really need sticks when I have the gas stove? Um, I don't know. Maybe I could use the gas stove. That's a good point. I think relying on the gas stove only would be a bit of a gamble. But I can, like, boil water and then drink the water, you know? That would work, wouldn't it? You can get the... Pl Do you know what? How much, how much have we got in this? Quite a lot. The gas does go quite quick, though, but... If I just put the gas stove on, boil the water, drink it, because I can fill it up with snow, right? I can drink the water, that should give me the plus symbol, and then I can carry on, can't I?
I am a little bit unsure about relying entirely on uh, relying entirely on uh, like the gas stove only. I think I need to take sticks in here until it's full. I'll fill my bag up with sticks and then we'll go. I'm not going to the next town. Killing that guy has given me some food. As harsh as it is. could prove useful, you know. <sighs> so if the server restarted now with that bag on the ground, I'd lose everything in it and that would suck balls. So I really need to try my best to find a bag that's not ruined, if I can. Guys, I can see a lot of people saying stuff like make a fireplace to carry sticks or make a, like, use a torch. They're very, very mild, but they're not intended. The, carrying a bag full of loot is absolutely an intended feature of the game, and I, I, I'm happy to do that. But making a fireplace and then carrying it full of everything is a little bit more borderline. It's not the end of the world, and if you do it, fine. I, it, but using a fireplace to carry, like, five logs and ten sticks or whatever it is, and then filling up the inventory full of stuff is kind of a little bit mild exploity, you know? I just... I, if I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it as a lone wolf and put it to YouTube, I want it to be as pure as I can. I'm happy to kill people, you know? I'll kill a dude just to take his food and his bag, because that's all absolutely what you're meant to do in the game. You're meant to do what you like, but... When it comes to, like, using the, the torch and swimming indefinitely with some kind of magical torch that keeps you warm. Or, like, exploiting, like, all the loot you're carrying with fires and whatnot. I'm not so keen to do that. It's nothing that bad. Like you just said there, Slugs. It's a little bit cheese in it, you know, like... I, I'm not judging. Like, if you're carrying a fireplace full of sticks, you're not hurting anyone, you know? You're not getting a, any massive benefit in PvP or anything, you know? There's certainly worse things you could do in the game, right? So, but... To be honest, I think I got this from Smack in the very early days of when Smack was a streamer on DayZ. He always said the same thing, you know? I don't want to do anything in the game that's unintended. It's an unintended feature of the game. And I don't believe that you're meant to be able to swim with a torch and get a benefit for a plus symbol in the water and stuff, you know. I don't think the idea of the fireplace is you use it like a backpack in your hands, you know. Because it feels an unintended thing, I, I don't really want to do it. I just think it's... It's not... It won't feel the same. I don't know for a fact that Sumrag... Uh, Sumrag, sorry. Did speak about how he wanted to take the flare thing out for Namalski. He hasn't done it, though, but I, I know he did say he did. Vegemite on toast, thank you for the bits. I think Smack still streams, in fact I'm sure he does, but he moved on to other games, you know, he did PUBG. He was a PUBG pro for TSM, wasn't he, for a while? At the same time as Break was, and one or two others. This as well, I think. And I, But he also did, uh, what's that 5 versus 5, like, Breach game, that's name I can't remember. He's been streaming that a lot for a long time, I think. Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know what he streams now, but I know he, he was doing PUBG and Rainbow Six, yeah. Where do I cross? I, I cross from uh, just up on the right, nearly where... We're nearly at where I cross. We're getting there. Uh, I'll show you where I cross in about 30 seconds. Well, maybe maybe 60. How cool would it be to find a hunting bag? I am really worried about dying with this bag in the, on the floor and then losing the contents.
just eating a bit of this now. I'm about to get cold. Come on. I'm just going to eat that and that. I'm not eating the rest, but we'll eat those. It's an SKS. I don't normally find bags in these hunting stands, so I don't know if I'm going to bother. I'm just still concerned. If I could, find, even I could find one of those bum bag ones, the smirch bag, whatever it's called now, like at the car, that would be amazing. I really am a bit concerned about the. Battery, no bird. New knife, that could be kind of useful. Look at my stamina. Well, I always go from here. Vegemite on toast. Thank you for the bits. That's really kind. Cool. Thank you for the support. I don't really have a choice. The ball's on you going this way with all that loot. I don't really feel like I have a great deal of choice. I think it's this way or no way. I, I, the only way I know the sub by heart is this way. So if I'm going to go to the sub from scratch with no compass or map, I'm going to go the way I know. To be fair, we've managed to, so unless we get shot now, we've avoided players around that area, which is kind of lucky, I think. I didn't have to go to the town because we callously shot that guy by the fire. We've managed to get lots of mackerel, four mackerel from him. And also, uh, like honey, tuna, sardines as well. You know, that's really helped us no end. We could probably survive without fishing any more now, potentially. You know, that that's a big, big deal. Got to say, you've outdone yourself with the stamina. We've actually got to the point now with the stamina where we can move quicker than if we had higher stamina. Dark blue, hopefully, will be okay when we get out the other side. So, I'm dropping the helmet. The helmet can, can do one. I'm dark blue and I'm risking frostbite, but the second I dry out my coat and my, uh, my back, balaclava, We'll be fine. An exclusive. I, I don't know. But if you're putting them in your bag, yes. You know, if you're putting them in a dry bag or something, it makes sense, doesn't it? You know, if you've got a container that stops the things getting wet, it makes sense, yeah. Ray, ray, ragged flag. We need to find a key card, and the only place that can spawn is the submarine. Hand of well, there is no choice with it, dude. It, there is no choice with it as far as the it goes. It, it's it's it's. I don't know if it's intended or not, but what you can't not do it. I need to carry this stuff to achieve this event, this thing I'm trying to do. But the way the stamina regens, you can sprint as soon as your stamina bar is full. But if your stamina bar is this low, you can sprint and then walk and then sprint and then walk, and that's just the nature of the way it works, you know. I I I, I don't feel it's an exploit. It's it's still a problem for me, you know. Would like if I get in a firefight, have I got an advantage over somebody with three quarters stamina, or have they got an advantage over me? I'd say I've got the disadvantage, you know. So I don't think it is really no. Why are your pants not wet? Because these sumrac pants are like waterproof. They're like a raincoat. Same with the wellies. Uh, the wellies are waterproof, obviously, as well. So. If your clothes only go to damp, then you are not going to get very wet, you know, you're, you're going to be okay. Still, we're doing pretty well here. 
Where's he? We're on the same life. We're trying to go to the submarine. I've got everything except the key card ready to go to the ice sheet. I need to get the key card from the sub and then head south to the oil rig. Boom, it's gonna it depends. If it's if the visit visibility gets worse, like it seems to be, it could be really hard to find the sub. This visibility makes it really hard. If the visibility gets better, then we'll be okay. But right now I'm worried a bit because we could literally run eighty meters past the submarine potentially, or maybe hundred and fifty, but when it gets really foggy, you, we've we've been in the past, like waiting for a snow sport storm to finish, making fires to keep warm or trying our best not to get frostbite only for us to be like 50 meters from where we wanted to be it was like like on the way back from the outpost once i made a fire and i was lost i had no clue what to do and when the fog cleared i was like 20 meters from the boat but i couldn't tell <laughs> i couldn't tell i had had us how you doing thanks for coming in f4 mouse thank you for the prime you're very very kind I think I could probably do with a fire. Now, I'm, I'm not getting frostbite and I'm not that bad, but if I make a fire, I can dry my clothes and I'm going to have to swim again, but as long as I'm light blue, I'm burning energy way, way quicker and I can't really afford to burn too much energy because if I do, I've got to fish, I've got to, I've got to fuck around quite a lot and I, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to keep going around to the left and then cross over there. Oh, I've done it by the outpost as well. You're right, Uncle Food. Yeah, I, I got I got lost on the way to the outpost and it was right fucking next to me as well. I've done it that way as well, haven't I? So now, I think we're mostly past the water. We've got to start heading east. Sorry, west. So these wisps of snow always head north. We've got this bit of water to cross as well by the look of it somehow. I don't know. Can I go around it? No, I've got. I've got to start going. Uh, I've got to start going east from here, and we should be about in line with the submarine as long as we. Sorry, west, straight west. I uh, can't quite tell if the visibility is getting better or worse, but we'll see. So they're going right to left, which means we're going the correct way. We've just got to go this way. I'm going to travel until I get to the next hump in the ground, like that one to the right, but more in line with the way I'm going. Oh, you can hear the wind blowing. We are going to be in trouble. Alright, I'm going to this hump. The wind making that noise makes me worried. We are going to be in trouble. I don't have a compass, but I don't need one, yes, no, because of the way that you can always tell the direction you're going because of the uh, the wisps of snow. So I don't really need this, honey, but I'm trying to eat it to make space. going out. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad.
keep on oh. running TRMZ running. I think that's a glitch as well, Sniper. I'm not doing it. I know you can do that. I, I'll, if I have to do that, I'll, I'll think about it. But right now, I don't have to do it. I can dry my clothes out by hand, so I'm not going to do it. The nice thing about my loadout is that it uh, it can be dried by hand, so I can avoid frostbite. I can I can wring out everything that I've got that gets wet. I'm wearing wellies that won't get worse than damp, gloves that won't get worse than damp. NBC hood saying I only have to dry out the balaclava and the and the jacket. So if I just dry out the balaclava and the jacket every now and then, I can carry on running. Which is why I dropped the helmet just before. I dropped the helmet because this one doesn't need to be uh, looked after in the same way. This is going to be hard. I could use the gas mask, but it would mean my stamina, mind you, it doesn't really matter looking at my stamina, does it? Look at it. Why is my stamina seemingly a lot higher now? What has come out of the... I've lost two sticks. Two sticks and some of that honey I've eaten and one bit of bark, so... I don't see really how I've lost... I seem to have lost... gained quite a bit of stamina somehow. Oh, I dropped the helmet. Yeah, that will that'll have made a small difference as well. I'm not going to see the submarine until this storm has passed. I think we're kind of fucked on that front. Do I really need the wrench? Yes. Yes, I do. People have been saying that all day, unfortunately. I, I've never done it yet, but at the oil rig, that you need, there's a reason you need a wrench, so I'm carrying it for that. I can see the balaclava sweat. I'm just trying to uh, gain some distance. Then we'll wring it out one at a time. It can stop, watch. The storm event still knocks well, you out. If there was one now, I'd get knocked out. Gloves yeah. and trench coat. You are absolutely dressed for a top night out in Burnley, for sure. Back to your roots, young fella, my lad. <laughs> Eki thought what? <laughs> uh, head T ball, thank you for the bits. That's very kind, dude. Thank you. Buckshot, I, I fell asleep and woke up to you, th to you thriving. Did you find that yellow bag? I didn't, Buckshot. No, it, somebody had taken it or it had despawned. I suspect somebody had taken it. I could put the NBC suit, NBC suit jacket on. That that might work, but I think the inventory space that I'm going to lose is going to be prohibitive, let's say. actually losing health because of the cold now. I'm dark blue, so whilst I can keep, keep drying this out to avoid frostbite, I'm going to be losing health until the storm passes, which is really, really frustrating too. How far do I need to go? It's about 10 minutes from when we started going this way, I'd say. Uh, when you when you like, I don't know, four-fifths of the way there, you have to cross over a bit of water that's about the size of a river, you know. It's about 20, 30 metres across, something like that. So when we get to that, you're, you're within, I don't know, sort of seven, eight hundred metres of the submarine. So if we get to a body of water we've got to cross, we're near it. But the trouble is, when I cross the water, I won't know if it's straight in front or any degree left or right. So I don't really want to go too far. Once across the body of water, I might have to wait it out until uh, 
until the storm passes. I don't want to wear the gas mask. I, I just don't want to do it. I will do it if I have to, I guess, but I just don't want to do it. It's, it's going to be a ball ache. The, the real reason as well is that, y yes, I can travel without ringing out the gas mask, but, sorry, without ringing out the gas mask, or, or without ringing out the balaclava, but I don't really need to travel that quick right now. I can't really find the submarine, I don't think, until this storm passes, so as long as I keep ringing the stuff out and I keep travelling slowly, that's fine. If this weather was clear, we'd be able to see the submarine from here, I'm certain of it, you know, so... Like I say, with it being this bad weather, I think the safest thing for me to do is keep travelling slowly and not worry about it. Thanks for the great content, Paul. Been watching a while and finally decided to sub. Oh, keep it up, brother. Thank you very much for the resub. That's really, really kind, man. Thank you very much. this water no. pick daddy I need uh, I need a key card from the submarine The boss, thank you for the two months once again buckshot dude thank you for the new sub cheers for subscribing Is this, is this the water? Is this the river? Here's the thing, if, if I don't see the other side, I won't even know if we're in the... Oh, there, that looks like the other side. I don't know if I should cross over to that other side there or not. This looks too wide, but it's hard to tell. I think we're going to have to go for the narrow side. I don't really have any choice. We'll just go to that bit we could see. can't make a fire to warm up because the snow will put the fire out. Am I lost? Kind of, but no. I can't find where I'm going until the storm clears, but I know I'm getting nearer to it. I, I can get myself within a kilometre or so of the submarine, probably, but then I've got to wait for the storm clear because it's just in a big open ice sheet. There's no... There's no easy way to find this one without uh, doing it. I'm only going to use the gas stove in an absolute last resort. If I start getting like yellow health or something, I'll use the gas stove. But right now, I'm not going to do it. Because I'm also going to need to use that gas stove for fishing. You know, I'm going to need to use it for cooking fish. I might. Use, we've also, after the submarine, we've got to go to the oil rig. And I don't know that route so well. I know what I'm doing here. When we go to the oil rig, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm not convinced we should... Uh, this water is worrying me. It's not really going the way I think it should. I got turned north, south. I think I've been saying we're going west. We need to go east. We're going the right way. I might be a little bit south or north or wrong. <laughs> I've either gone too far south or north or east or west. Yeah, if I find the submarine, then I know it's kind of straight south. So if I get to the sub, it's straight south, and then we're where we need to be. I don't want to travel too much further. See, I've lost a segment of health.
Wizzy, it's not trolling when I get east and west the wrong way round. I get it wrong all the time. Last week I went to London and I was getting on one of the tube lines, uh, I think it was the district, and a, and a nice lady stopped me and said, excuse me, is, is this, 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 uh, this line that you're heading to there, is that the eastbound or is it the westbound? And I had to do spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go, no, uh, no, this is westbound. If you want east, you need the other one. <laughs> I, I'm sure it inspired confidence in her when I started going up, down, right, up, down, left, right, or up, down, right, left in, to t try and work it out for her. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we're going to stop here. I think we're quite close to the submarine. I don't want to go any further. This is, if I go any further, we're going to get lost. I'm going to wait now for the uh, the event. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll boil some water and we'll see if we can get the plus while we wait. I know I said I didn't want to do it, but I think I want to do it now. Oh my god, imagine if I'd ruined that. Holy shit. Mario, my editor doesn't watch very much. He's too busy editing, hopefully. So that's one of the things that's a bit of a challenge when, when I send him footage for something like this. He can edit it in two times speed, which helps, but I try to send him some markers as well as to, like, I get a kill here, I move to there, and so on. But it's becoming hard for these really long, sprawling adventures. It's really hard to send him the info. Yeah, the, the, the stove heating you is OG, but the gas canister running out is also part of it. So I'm trying to use the, uh, the I'm trying to use this gas canister sparingly because I want it to last. You know, the reason I'm not wanting to do it right now is not for any ethical reason. I'm wanting to do it, not wanting to do it because I don't want it to run out, and then I need to cook fish with it or something later. Buckshot, thank you for the bits. Do you think the devs are going to do some big, something big things on console? Some big things on console. Buckshot, I don't know. I don't think there's anything new map, coming map-wise. I think 119 is going to be a big patch for PC and console. I hope there's lots and lots more changes to come to Lantia, but I think I don't think there's going to be anything dramatic anytime soon, like a new map or something like that. Unfortunately, not. I'd love to be wrong, but I don't think I am. I'm going to eat this just for the warmth. Fuck it. If I eat 60 degree uh, food, it should probably give me the plus symbol. Why do I need all the 556? Five, because five, I'm a terrible shot. Ajax tomorrow. Uh, hopefully Liverpool win. They really need a win. Ajax are a decent team, though. It's not an easy. It's not an easy win, for sure. Is it at Anfield? I haven't even looked. But hopefully it's at Anfield, and if so, I think Liverpool will win. Do some fishing while we. Are. I've actually got a few things to focus on just for now before I worry about fishing. I don't want to go. I don't. I want to stay near where I am because I feel like we're fairly close to the submarine. But I could be wrong about that. But I need the visibility to improve. I don't want to travel like a crazy distance and and, and then miss out on where the sub is because I think we must be fairly close, fifteen hundred meters away somewhere. Like not not that far, maybe nearer than that. So I don't want to travel too far. 
what I'm trying to do is just maintain my plus symbol without making this gas canister go on anymore. It runs out really quick. Look at that, you know. We're nearly halfway through that gas cylinder. It runs out quick. The storm is going, though. The storm is going, which is good. I don't know when the next restart is. I don't know when the re next restart is due, but unless we're unlucky, it won't be now. Oh, it's five, five to nine. It could be at nine. A restart would be cool if it improved the weather. No, well, our luck. If there is a restart, we'll end up. Uh, we'll get a restart, and then the fucking snowstorm will start again. I haven't again. played a lot of DayZ, so I am not sure about the physics of the pot being able to hold water and items at the same time. Kappa. Nappy, yeah. Uh, it, 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 but the physics of the pot, I, I agree. But I can also put that that phys the physics of that pot. I can put it. I can put it in my trousers. You know, like. I can put it in, if I'm wearing a pair of jeans, I can keep it in my trousers, you know. The physics kind of thing, I, I kind of see your point, but if you actually really did think that way through, uh, I don't know how you'd carry the loot you need to kill the zombies, you know, which doesn't make a lot of sense really either. <laughs> but yeah, it, it has to be able to contain loot so that you can cook things in it, and so it's designed to work as a protector case, but maybe they could make it so you could only keep food inside it and stop it being used for other things, but... I don't know, maybe only keep food in it when it's got water in it, but I don't think they have the ability to do that yet. I think we're close to the submarine. I don't think it's very far away. Hopefully the visibility improves. Then we'll know. My gut is that it's kind of this way. Like up somewhere the other side of that. Re in fact, I'm even going to go that way. My gut feeling is that it's the other side of that and a little bit further. That was it for a minute. Well, my gut feeling may have been wrong. I really need this visibility to clear up. Is that still 90 degrees? Holy shit. Hello from Greece, smiley face. I don't know if I should be moving here yet. I think I should be waiting for... Oh, look, look, we're right there! I can see it. We were really close. I was right to be holding fire. Look, we were close. We were on that ridge there. That's the submarine. Just through that... Through, you can see it in the distance there. Oh, God, that's good. So we've managed to make it. We've only wasted a, a couple of sticks. Uh... We've not got frostbite anywhere. We're looking pretty good. Let's hope there's no players here. Now, there are zombies, and they're spread out, but I've been fairly close for quite a while, so... Uh, Jimis, thank you very much for the support. Thank you. Mark Mark Nad 7 thank you for the prime. Nappy, thank you as well. I really hope there's nobody here. a fair amount of zombies. I might be okay if the bag goes, but I'd, I'd certainly rather I don't lose the bag than do, that's that's for sure. Right, 
there's nobody here. It's time to start running. I might take the compass. That could come in handy for now. It might. I probably don't need it, but I'd rather have it than not. You know, like it could come in handy. The biggest problem we could have here is that there might not be a key card. We could struggle. It. They don't always spawn. They're not guaranteed. You're unlucky if you don't get one, but they're, they're not guaranteed. Like it's I say. Time to start running. Watching you all the way from East Coast US. Love the content. Dude, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Solo Sparky, cheers for the support, man. I definitely need some more loot. I'm really worried there ain't going to be a key card. God, there's one. Okay, we've got the key card. The gold top. I don't. Need, I fucked that. Right. I'm not going to make a fire here. I'm going to leave and get away if I can. going to use my copious amounts of stamina to run. I need the wisps. Oh. Okay, it was already ruined. I forgot that it did that. This feels so stressful. It feels so stressful. Now we've got to travel an absolute age. The distance we've got to travel from the submarine south <coughs> is much further than the distance we just covered from the coast to the sub. So the journey's only just begun. Air is an FYI. I got blown up when some lucky beep shot the explosive nade on my vest a while back. All right, that's fine. So the sun's just east of south. So if we keep the sun to our left for now, we should be good. Why didn't I take the butt pack? I just didn't think about it. I should have done, but I didn't. So, yeah, that's why. Yeah, I got the card. So now we've got that. We've got all three filaments of all three colours. We've got the card and we've got the blueprint. And now we're on the way to the oil rig, which is this way. I feel like it's going to take about 15 minutes travelling this way. And then the nice thing with the oil rig is that it's big. So, with any luck, we'll see it. You know, we'll see it from a distance. And before you need NBC gear, I've got I've got a full NBC sea suit, MB, senpai. I'm wearing the gloves and the hat, and I've got trousers, gas mask, excuse me, boots, and jacket. I've got the full suit. I'll hear it before I see it. Yeah, that's a good shout. You'd forgotten it made noise. Rastus, that is the sub count, yes. Uh, as an FYI, I got blown up by some lucky beep shot the explosive nade on my vest a while back. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I am a little... I am chancing it a little bit. The grenades would be quite handy with regards to jumping into Athena 3. Here's the thing. Like, what we're trying to do, all of this that's leading up to it is so hard. But even once we've got to the submarine and we've got this suit, I've still got to somehow... I, somehow as well, fuck knows how. Somehow I've got to then, after that, go to Athena 2, wait for an event, kill everyone that tries to kill me, press the button, run to Athena 3, and then go jump in Athena, tr run to Athena 1, jump through. It's Even if you try to just go to Athena 3 with a gas mask, 
you could try it five times and die before you get there, you know? You get near the thing and you know there's smoke and then, then you get killed when you try and make the jump or something, you know? Like, it's it's probably a one in three thing that you're successful. Even if you're at Athena 2 and the, and the, the event starts, that doesn't mean you're definitely going to jump into Athena 3. Do you have the Lantia module from research? I don't either. I've still got to get the Lantia module from research as well. We've got to do that. I don't know how we're going to carry it. It's just... And we're only going to have 35 slots as well. It's it's just... I presume I'll have to carry this bag on my in my hands for a while, you know? But this is kind of crazily hard for a lone wolf. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't need to carry the NBC suit once I've been to the oil rig. I need to carry the... Uh, I need to carry the gas mask, though. If we've got 35 slots, the gas mask takes nine, you know? That's just... It's next level insanity, isn't it? Killing, but if I get the O2... If I get the battery... I've got to go to Athena 3 to get the battery, right? Can I not just put it on the suit? I don't really get it, like... If I was trying to do it the other way around, I'd have to carry the, the oxygen mask and the battery right now, and I'm already struggling. So I am, I am worried about, the, like, the reason I'm doing it this way is that I can go to the oil rig, then I can drop most of my NBC stuff, I can drop the wrench, I can drop a load of junk, just wear the suit, and then I'd, no, I'm not having to carry the... Uh, like, I can go to Athena 3 and find the oxygen and find the, uh, loot the stuff I need at Athena 3, you know. The nice thing as well, I, I've got night vision goggles. I really would like to find some a helmet for that. If we can get the night vision goggles going, that will be a big deal for us because it will make it a lot easier to survive inside Athena 2 and 3. It will give us a better chance of surviving. Dalmore, that's why I'm saying it's incredibly hard to do as a, as a lone wolf, you know. I... When, when I try and do this, like, if you look at that video series I did not so long ago, the four-parter, the, the hardest lone wolf adventure in Daisy, or the hardest lone wolf quest, whatever I called it, this is really giving that a run for its money. Maybe it's harder, maybe it's not, I don't know. But it's, it's going to be tricky. The suit has got an inventory with battery installed, is it? Okay, bullet, that's interesting. The suit has got better than Lantia plate protection. Well, that's good. Noll, I think you can wear a helmet with night vision goggles whilst you're wearing a gas mask, dude. You can do that, unless you can't wear a helmet because you got the suit on. I guess you can't. I don't know. I've no idea, dude. I've never seen the suit before, so I don't know what the issues are. So if the suit has MVGs, I'm not going to need them, I suppose, am I? Right, guys, while the server's restarting, I am going to go and uh, I'm going to go and make a drink. I'll be back in uh, however long it takes to boil the kettle, I'll imagine.
It's time to start running! It's time to start running! Hey Paul and chat, how is everyone? We bought new tea bags and the last little ones have run out in the pot. First world problems, I couldn't find my tea bags.
I hope we can do this. I hope this works. <laughs> I really hope it fucking works. Good evening, young man. Hope you're well and good luck in your quest. From watching others, you're better off looking for the Holy Grail. It's a tough one. Blue boy, thank you. I think we've already got further than I thought we would, to be honest. The fact that we're heading to the oil rig with everything we need is a shocker. Uh, Chris G, thank you for the 25 months. Mr. Brett and uh, Fat Yeet Goblin, thank you for the primes. Etmust, Etmuster, thank you for the prime as well. Weld, thank you for the resub. Uh, cheers for the support, all of you guys. Thank you. I don't think my bag will be gone. I don't think it despawns. I don't think a ruined bag despawns if it's in your hands. Just like a ruined bag doesn't if it's on your back. I think we'll still have it. Uh, Texas native. Dude, thank you for checking out the YouTube vids. Uh, Linny boy, thank you again. Very, very kind. Luke, thank you for the follow as well. I want to have a quick look while we're getting in the server. I want to have a quick look at uh, these videos doing. It started off doing amazingly well, so I wanted to just see how it's doing now. Uh, it's doing all right. It's doing well. It's doing crazily well, but uh, I don't think it's going to do as well as the the last one with the eleven thousand hour thing in the title did. But it's it's doing very very well. Best performing video in the last uh, the last ten. Tea, my tea, it's it's hot. Uh, hi, gentleman bastard. You're right, dude. Rastus, if there's anything to do with an orb there at the moment, it's not there. I think it's intended, but it's not there yet. So I think this, the uh, the idea is that there's going to be an orb there, a little bit like Namask, but there isn't yet. At the moment, the crater island, Beringer Island, is there. Just you lo you use it to get bears if you need them. If you might want to make a bear ghillie suit, then there's always bears there. There's a lot of helicopter crash sites. There's a couple of military bases, and it's a good way to bridge yourself to Alcatraz if you want to go there to try and find something loot-wise, you know. But Beringer Island, there's nothing unique there. You you can't do anywhere else, really. A hot toddy, eh? Or a haughty torty? It's time to start running! How many players in the service? A little How many something slots? to say, keep up the great work. Love the Sunday YouTube videos and the streams when I can catch them. I think you probably mean server. I, I, Ezos, Bezos, or I, I don't really want to say A3 Ezos, I think that is Bezos, I can't remember dude, but I, I don't want to say how many people in the server and all of that stuff because uh, it's going to help people unscrupulously find my server, you know. Thank you Bartman, it's do it is doing well, it's on 112,000 views according to my dashboard, which is so much for a day for me. It's just, the, the way it works with this, right, I'm a little bit on, not, not on edge, but on YouTube, if you get a hundred thousand views in a day, it starts share. Well, that's like a. It, it might not be a hundred thousand, whatever it might need to be, but it's more likely to share it, and then it's more likely to go viral, and then get five hundred thousand views in a week. You know, and I've only ever had that happen once before ever, and it was the last video that's called "When an Eleven Thousand Hour Player." So, I've only ever had one video that felt like it can kind of went kind of viral. Uh, so, it would be great to get another one. You know. And so soon after the last as well. That's how I found you, Snape. There you are. Well, I hope you're good. I've still done it. I've done one unedited. It was on. Uh, it was on Dear Art, not Dear Art. Sorry, it was on Iztech with Doc Dries. To, I only put it out about two or three weeks ago. But the unedited ones are not meant to be like the mainstay of the channel. They're meant to be like once a month kind of things. They started to creep in more and more. Because uh, I was unable to edit like I needed to, you know, I just didn't have the time available to edit as many videos as I wanted. So, whilst we whilst I've got on Cooper and I'm paying edited for edited videos, I want an edited one out every Sunday if we can. I really do. And there'll be the odd unedited one here and there as a throw in, like a bonus and whatnot. That's the that's what they really need to be, you know. For my YouTube channel to keep growing, 
I can make good money from doing unedited. Like the best profit I've made on YouTube is from unedited videos because there's a lot of adverts in them. You know, <laughs> if some if it's eight hours long, and people watch it, you know, like the average watch time of some of those are at least an hour, and people will watch them and maybe they'll come back later and watch some more. You know, so the the average watch time might be an hour, but many people watch the whole thing. And there's quite a lot of adverts in eight hours worth of footage, so the revenue is off the scale, you know. Like, I've got two videos on my entire channel that have got a million views ever, and they're both unedited videos, you know. So they're <laughs> not only are they my most viewed, but they're my most profitable because there's more adverts because they're so long, you know. Have I ever considered the subscriber-only streaming services? No, I haven't, Nick Rob. No, I, I really like Twitch. I like that. I I have got adverts running just for this month. <laughs> I, adverts are not an ideal thing and I don't want to go down that rabbit hole too much but I don't really like the idea of having a paywall where people can't see your content at all unless they pay but having the ability to try and make a little bit of revenue from everybody that's watching you know some people can't afford to sub some people can't afford to have Twitch Prime and sub with that or maybe they've only got they can't afford to sub and they've got one Twitch Prime and they use it on their brother or something who knows you know or they use it on their favourite streamer that's not me whatever it might be you know but I really don't want to have a paywall for people to watch my stuff. Uh, however, I'm not, personally, I'm not against ads, you know, so I, I, I'm not sure I want three minutes of ads every hour like we're doing in September, but I'm a YouTuber, you know, I, I'm not against ads personally, you know, I think it's part of the deal, you know, it, the, the video's free, you watch a couple of ads, you know. Archibald, you don't need to be sorry, it's all good. On the way in. And there's the bag, like like we predicted. <sighs> right, so we've got to keep heading towards the sun and away we go. Crystal Viper, and as well you should. <laughs> I do get emails from time to time about, like, subscription services. And, like, Patreon is a little bit like that, but a lot more simplistic, you know. People that have Patreons will have, like, bonus videos or, like, I don't know, little extra things that you can only get by subscribing to the Patreon. And I'm not against it, you know. People should make the content however they wish, but for me it's always felt quite simple, you know. People watch it, an advert plays, and then I get a tiny bit of money, you know. And if, if enough people watch the video, then I get... A lot more than a tiny bit of money, you know. I get lots of tiny bits. <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm not against Patreon, and some people like uh, uh, who's the armor armor three dude that makes all the bullshittery videos. His name's Soviet Womble. I got there on my own. He doesn't play adverts on his video. He doesn't play adverts at all. But he has a Patreon where he makes the money instead, you know, and and that's his way of going. And that that's that's kind of what he feels is right. And fair play to him, but. Personally, I'd rather force people to watch ads, but then not charge them, you know. <laughs> Obviously, Patreon is not is an option. Nobody has to subscribe to your Patreon. It's a choice. But I, I kind of personally think, well, fuck you. <laughs> if it's free, watch an ad, you know. I, I think it's a much better way, personally. I like it, you know. If you're not prepared to watch an ad to watch my video, then I'd rather you didn't watch the video, you know. I know that's a, it's a very, very blatant way. I'm, of course, I'd much rather have views than none, but... I think that's a fair enough deal, you know. Watch a few ads and you get everything for free. But anyway, yeah, we're stumbling into ads and I don't I don't really want to, but more so on YouTube. You know? No, no, come on, the mouse. But I always put the title of... In the title of the stream, I always put the map that I'm playing on, dude. Uh, of course people make make uh, make their money in different ways, we're told. That's kind of what I'm saying. That's that's exactly what I'm saying. You know, I, I respect uh, Soviet Womble's method, but my my kind of thing, I'm, I don't have as big of an issue with ads, and I think it might be my age, you know, like, like I've grown up watching telly where there's ads, you know, like, I, I, we, I, I don't watch as much TV anymore, but there are ads, you know. Don't get me wrong, if I was paying for Netflix and I was getting adverts every five seconds, I'd be annoyed and I'd probably cancel Netflix, but... This is a this is a stream that's free and the YouTube videos are free. No money is changing hands, you know. So I don't feel at all bad about that, you know. Right. So we've got, that's the sound. That's the way we need to go. 
Why is it blue? Because we're in a cold event, so I think we've, we've got bad weather. Nappy, thank you so much for the gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much, dude. Well, we must be getting closer, because I can hear it now, right? The bell is tolling. <sighs> How much is YouTube Premium? Like, in the UK, if anybody knows. How much is it? I honestly Happy don't know. TRM dead running. Twelve dollars a month. It's eleven pounds ninety nine in the UK. Is it? Is that UK? To be honest, there's not much difference between pounds and dollars anymore, so it's about the same anyway. Isn't it? John Benson, thank you very much for the six months, dude. Nathan Missy, thank you for the fifty months. Nappy, thank you for the gifted sub, and Henke, thank you for the gifted sub to Archibald as well. Uh, block Kev, cheers for the support Hazarda once again, donated five dollars. I wait for the day you tell us about your super smooth balls because of that lawnmower 4.0 promo deal you got LUS. <laughs> yeah, there is going to be a Manscaped sponsorship probably coming up in YouTube. Uh, apparently I've got to uh, get a macro lens for my iPad so that I can, sorry, for my iPhone. So that I can get really close to my ball sack and show you just how good it works. <laughs> it's fifteen pounds ninety nine. Fuck off. <laughs> Rogan Joe does, does he? Well, uh. Like I was saying, I've only ever had one sponsorship on my YouTube channel ever, so I've got no... I think if people want to shave their balls, I, I'm prepared to tell them where they can buy the stuff to get that, you know? I, I don't feel that's a particularly bad thing, you know? I, I, I'm all, if people want it, I can tell them where to buy it, you know, and that's their call, whereas a lot of the other stuff I get asked to sponsor, I just don't... I, I don't like the product, or I don't like uh, the ethics of the product I'm about going to be asked. I just don't like it, you know, so I don't do it. ODG Foxy, thank you very, very much for the five months. Very kind. Hazard Jewel, thank you again for the tip. Cheers for the support, dude. Guys, there's a heads up for you. Whackgat has given you a, a, a little nod there. If you're paying £15.99 for, for uh, YouTube Red or YouTube Premium, you bought it on the app and you're paying money to your mobile phone provider. If you, buy, if you subscribe to YouTube Premium on your PC, you're going to pay less. That's it. Look, we're nearly there. Uh, to be honest, guys, that's something to be aware of. If you buy anything inside the app, of, of certainly on an iPhone and almost certainly on an Android phone as well. If you buy anything from the phone that you can buy on a PC, it's going to be more money. Because if like if if you're buying it on Google or Windows, sorry, like on your PC, just whatever, it's free. Whatever, uh, whatever software you use to view the internet, whatever web browser you use. Whereas on the phone, it's all done via their app, their marketplace. They get a cut. Do we have stuff to make the suit? Yes. I am really tense about this. This, this I'm really, really like unsure about how this is going to go. 19 months of running. Much love, mate. 
I'm going to be gutted if there's somebody here. Like, somebody's just saying, hopefully there's nobody there. I am going to be really gutted if there's somebody here. I suppose we'd better keep the swim to a minimum and go around that way a bit, like it's a much shallower swim. It's time to start Good luck. Hope today has gone well so far. Approach it as someone's as if someone's there. I think you're right. I'll I'll run for run straight towards it with a with a kid's kid kid's school bag in my hand. I don't really have a great deal of choice to be honest. I, I can't stash this stuff here, it's too far. I've got to go over there. Snide Assassin, thank you for the 19 months. Or oh, Gazmax, thank you very much for the support. Well, good luck. Hope today has gone well. For it's been insane. But it could all come crashing down, you know. We've still got a long way to go. Uh, Snide Assassin, or oh, Gazmax, uh, Cyraz, Cyraz, I think that is. Thank you for the Prime. Dave Sardine, thank you for the 9 months. Out, Outer Rim Gaming, thank you for the 5. Cheers for the support, guys. Debbie, hope you're good as well. Thank you very much, too. Would people be camping this? I doubt it, because it's really hard to survive unless you've got a lot of sticks, you know. If you're camping this, you've got to keep making a fire. I think you're going to struggle with that, so... I'd be surprised if there's anybody camping it. Very surprised. Not, it's not impossible that it could happen, but... Premature release once more. It's time to start running. You need to have a full NBC uh, outfit to go in there now. It was fixed earlier today. That's something else as well on that subject. I believe last now, night, uh, like it's been done by Sour Sweet with a little group, which is cool. But I think you didn't need the NBC suit last night, whereas they fixed it this morning and now you do, so it's even harder. <laughs> oh, they needed the NBC suit, did they, Ghost? Interesting then. Okay, I don't know when they fixed that. I thought it was today. Because the first time I came here, last a few days ago, I had I took the full suit, but I didn't need it. Demrak fixed it on the tenth. Ah, okay, so it wasn't fixed in the hot fix today then. I hope there's nobody here. I think the siren siren doesn't make a noise when you're near it for some reason. Yeah. In fact, I think the siren might even be the homing beacon that we've passed. I'm not entirely sure, but all the same. What is that there? I think it's one of those barrels. going to drop this in case this bag despawns.
I doubt I need three, actually. I don't think I'll need three, but I'm going to take them. Oh, no, I'm going to leave one behind. Fuck it. No, what? Actually, I'm going to leave. The, I'm going to just take one gun. From what I gather, when you when you finished, you can only take one gun on the other side. Like you can't carry two guns. So if I leave the famas here, we can come and get it at the end. Or if we can't carry it, we won't carry it. Kind of thing. Would like my blood yet? Yeah, we've got that. Need those. So much more sorting out to do, but let's. Uh taking the bullets. I, I don't think I'm going to need them. I don't think I'm going to need all the bullets. Let's just take let's just take some. I think that's as tr that's as light as I can travel. Cold feet. Yeah, where's my NBC boots? I've not got them on. I also got a cold face, but we'll soon fix that. Right, okay. I think that's as light as I dare travel. I'm I'm taking four bandages. Let's just reduce that to three. Three is more than enough. I've got an EpiPen to make my way out if I need it. I've got that. I think we're okay. Yeah, drop FAMAS. Done. Have I got SVD mags? I need, I need an SVD. I'll take one SVD mag as well. I'm going to take a few more of those as well. I don't want to drop the backpack. I'm going to need that. I'm going to... Oh, shit. I'm still wearing the plate. I'm going to have to drop the plate too. Although I don't think I can carry the plate when, I, when I'm done anyway. So I'm going to have to drop the plate anyway. But it's more the grenades and stuff that... I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to need to make an emergency fire. You can actually get warm on the uh, on the thing. This is risky, but I'm going to drop that. If anyone starts, do you know what? I'm not going to drop it. I'm going to drop the grenades. If I die because I don't take this, I'll be pissed off. If I lose it, so what? I, I need to take it anyway because I've got the loot in it, but uh, I'm going to take it for the protection. And then when I've got the suit on, I can't wear it anyway, so I won't need it anymore. Why drop the grenades? Because I may be able to take them on the other side, but... Wait, let's just watch watch and see. When I when I try... I don't think I can climb up there, and I thought I could. When I get on the other side, you'll see I, there, there's a very long swim. Sorry, there's, I'm going to have very limited loop soon, so I'm trying to take as little as possible. I'm go I want to climb up this one. Everyone saying my name wrong way and stuff. I'm sure you can climb up this. I, I try. I, I think I did it the other day, or I was going to do it. Maybe I was on the wrong way of the ladder. I think I probably could have climbed up that. But anyway, we're doing this one. Gaza, dude, thank you for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Gaza, thank you so much for the for the gifted subs. Rastas, thank you for the three as well. Right, 
Now I do need to potentially... Oh. I don't think I'm going to need that, but... I need to try and find one of those those devices that look like... Uh, that look like, like motorbike exhausts or manifolds or whatever. Is it gassed? Yes, you can see it's gassed. I don't think there's one here at the moment. just make the thing we need to make. Uh, right, so, blueprints. How long does it take to make the fucker? Twelve to sixteen hours. <laughs> Eight kilos. Oh God, I believe this is gonna this right, so I've gotta turn the gas off. Which is what the wrench was for. Presume I do it there, do I? I have no idea. Is that done? That's done, isn't it? Nothing else to fix. Ah, oh, my fucking... My grenades have gone...
Like, oh, it, I can't wear it because I've got that on. Can I not? Why can I not wear it? Oh, the weapon. Oh my god. How cool is that? That didn't last very long. That's it. Should be able to wear the gas mask and the helmet too. Seems not. So that doesn't work for very long, does it? So have I got everything? I've got... There's nothing else I need. I can't get the O2, I need, I need a battery in O2, but you get that from Athena 3. Booney, <laughs> thank you for the tip, dude. Even I vaguely get that reference. Suit ruined on ladder. God. Right, okay, we've still got a long way to go. We're going to have to do some serious sorting. Uh, yeah, that's where it's from. Half-Life, yeah. Uh, Helladrill, thank you for the tip. That's really kind, dude. Thank you. Uh, Gaza beforehand, thank you as well. Yeah, we're not getting cold, are we? We can, so we can be out here for ages with this suit on. So, how do I shut the visor on that? Press K. What about night vision? How do I do that? Need battery. Ugh. <laughs> the fuck am I going to do this? How the fuck am I going to do this? This does not compute. Oh my god. So with this suit, I can't survive in Athena 3. I can't survive in Athena 3 with this suit on. I, I need the gas mask still, which I've got there. Oh. 
Oh, God. I, d I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't think I can even take the MK2. I don't think I can take the MK2 because I can't carry the bullets for it. I think I'm going to need some batteries. Well, maybe I'm not actually, but I, I kind of need one for the MVGs, if nothing else. I might need that. I don't suppose I'm going to need batteries for anything else. running with you. Dude, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I don't need those, do I? Uh, right, well, I, I need to get the... I'm going to get these bullets in here for now, and I'll think about it, but I don't think I can carry that. I think it's kind of done. Don't need sewing kits. I don't think that's going to work, is it? So we don't need those. Maybe we might need that. I need the cooking pot as well. I don't think I'm going to need the lighter anymore. take a while of sorting out. It's going to take fucking ages. I don't think I can take the morphine. I want to take at least two of these with me. Right, there we go, that's that. It's my only gun. I feel like taking lots of Mosin or SVD rounds is a good choice. I don't think I need that. Uh, I might need the head torch. I mean, how am I going to see? I do need the mask because I can't breathe with this on. I, I don't think this is going to work without oxygen. So when I go in Athena 3, how am I going to breathe without a gas mask? So I can swap those over. Seems to be bugged. Yeah, I, I clearly the suit's going to do it, but not without the ox. It needs an oxygen tank, right? The oxygen tank must be so you can breathe. Why is that bug now? I can't take it off. Am I sure about it? Well, I, I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need an oxygen tank. Otherwise, there wouldn't be one. You know, I, I, I don't think I'm going to even bother. I, I don't see the point in testing it because if I give myself the illness, I'm going to be right fucked, aren't I? I? Right. Let's see where we're at. What else can we save? We don't. Not going to need to make any fires. I don't have any food, but where's the fishing rod? I might need to, to make some food while we go on the way. Don't need lighter. I'm not going to need to make a fire. I'm, I guess maybe for cooking, but not right now, I don't. I think that's it.
The holster on the belt doesn't make a whole lot of difference, to be honest, because I'm not going to be able to shoot it very easily. I'm not going to be able to carry the bullets. Fishing hook on it, guys. It's okay. The grenades are no way. I can't carry the grenades. Holding L doesn't do anything. I left my sticks. Well, I probably won't need sticks. I probably won't need them, because this suit doesn't get cold. So, we're going around a bit in circles, but I think we're okay. definitely need sticks to fix my leg. <laughs> oh god, this is stressful. It's time to start running. I want to read that, but let's get across this water first. The Lantia Expeditionary Hazard Suit, LEHS. How cool is it though? It looks so cool. Straight south, D-Bear, from the submarine. It's actually easier to find going from the sub than it is to try and go from nearer. Why do I need the stove? Because it's my only means of cooking fish if I need food. It doesn't take up any space either, does it? The, the, the stove doesn't uh, take up any space. And it works as a protector case too. SVDs on my on my uh, suit. Yeah, I've got the key card. I'm I'm going to have to do some more looting though. You know, I I can't just go straight to Athena too. I've got to find a pulsar device. This suit's got MVGs, but only if you've got a battery for it, which we don't have. I am sent. Is it the only place the Pulsar can... No, the Pulsar doesn't spawn there, dude. Sent. The Pulsar spawns at Athena Research Institute and places like that. Fuck knows I'm going to carry the Pulsar if I find one. Well, I looted most of the places on the oil rig. There wasn't one, you know, like you saw me loot all of the rooms that I could loot. I looted. There were no more loot rooms. When I was there the other day, there was only loot in the rooms. There wasn't loot anywhere else. I checked them all. There was no loot. Guys, this is getting kind of confusing, right? But someone's saying read the patch notes. Can you tell me why? Oil rig is the only place for the locator now. Well, I've got to go back then. the inevitable emotional turmoil arising from take, don't take? Yes, no, probably I want it. Ah, is in some strangely sadistic way brings a visceral pleasure in being the voyeur of your torment. So what is the exact wording in the patch notes regarding the locator then? Why do, why do people keep saying close your mask? What? Why? I'm seeing better without it closed. What, what do I need to close it for? Head T ball, dude. Thank you very much. Pleasure in being the voyeur of your torment. But I'm not cold, though. <laughs> I'm not cold. I'm fine. That, that.
There's no face hitbox in DayZ, so I don't think the, the visor being down will do anything for me in, in the protection front. It doesn't have anything it can take. All it has is the visor which shows us down or up, that's it, there's nothing there. I've got to go back to the oil rig because apparently it's the only place we can find the, uh, the dealie that we need. How hard is it to, well you have to get a, you have to, well it's taken me nine hours, let's put it that way, nine and a half hours. You have to get really lucky and it takes a long time. Lantia Pulsar located, moved to Phoenix and added on a restock timer, okay. How am I going to carry the Lantia fucking Pulsar device, you know, exactly where am I meant to stick the fucking thing, up my, up my bum hole. Gravy. Well, the, the chat's going fast, and I ignore I ignore people called Gravy Baby. It's just a thing I do. <laughs> I did already see. I saw I am sense message when he first wrote it. So unless he's written it more than once, so he probably has. Nobs, thank you for gifting. I am sent this up. You have saved me there, dude, so thank you. I didn't know that we had to do this from here, so you have saved me a lot of hassle if, if that's the case. I don't really want to leave that helmet there, but I, I think it's going to be easier if I do. Because I've got to wear the gas mask to go back in there. I'm not even going to check if I can enter the gas with the, with the visor down, because it's not going to work. <laughs> That's why you've got the wrench as a means to try and escape. That's the whole point, you know, you can escape without taking the gas mask if you want. It's not going to work, so I'm not going to bother. I can't take the helmet. It's just not going to happen, but... You're taking three bandages. I don't think that's that, that crazy, to be honest, but... I'm taking four. All right. I can probably just go with two bandages when we leave anyway. Four bandages is probably excessive. NBC hood. Oh, I'm going to need the NBC hood. You're right, I am. Am I not going to need the full suit? What's going to happen when I go back in there? I think you only need the gas mask once you're wearing this suit. I think it does the rest for you. We've been here too long, really. So I need to get a Pulsar device that only spawns here now, apparently, which is uh, a bit of a ball ache. But anyway, let's see how we go. I was in the 3D print room. I didn't see it on the shelf there. I, I did get one in there the other day, but I didn't see one this time.
That's that's not what we need. I saw that. That's no good. It's not in here. What was that on the bottom shelf? That was a uh, Moyon detector. We don't need one of those. I wonder how long the, the respawn timer of this Pulsar thing is, because if we don't find it here, what the fuck are we meant to do? VSS there. Rob, thank you for the 11 months. Nobs, thank you again, dude. That's the pulsar. An orange filament, right? And that, that's useful. <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, if you came all the way here and you, you only needed the orange one, you'd be happy, I guess. So in theory, I can go to Athena 3 right now. I, I've got the Pulsar. There's nothing else I need. I've got the keycard and the Pulsar. We can go to Lantia. I need oxygen in a battery, but that spawns in Athena 3 by all accounts, so we'll get it from there. Why am I not going up there? Because ladders like this and platforms like that spell death very often in the game. I've died far too often on stuff like that. I don't want to do it. I'm very grateful, by the way. Uh, I am sent. You've saved me a bit of hassle here, because if we couldn't have found it at research anymore, I, and I didn't know, we would have been... So I'd have been a salty boy if I had to come back. Keep breaking your legs, oh. 
I know you can just jump into the water, but I ain't feeling like taking any risks whatsoever. I've done shit like that before, where I can jump into the water from an oil rig, and then you you, you jump, and there's one thing you could land on that kills you, and then you land on it, you know? it. I, I, I am not taking any risks. I've been... This character is nine and a half hours deep to get this far. I ain't taking any risks. Render Dad. Well, it's only changed that today. It's in today's patch notes. So the key card is pristine, we've used it but we can use it again. We've got the Pulsar. That's basically my loot stash, that's it, that's what I can carry. But I'm going to take this, and I would really love to wear the NVGs. I would really love to wear the NVGs, but I just don't think I can. And if we get into Athena 3, we're going well, to have to wear them when we go into Athena 3. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe I have to jump in with a bag in my hand or something, but... I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's just so hard, this. It's, it's ridiculously hard. And I'm thinking about things that are ahead of me. I don't even need to worry about it yet. It's time to start rolling. Oh, I might as well keep that there for now. Tope, dude, thank you for the raid. That's really kind. Guru, thank you very much for the six months. Tope, thank you for the 80 months sub. Dude, we have been at this too long. <laughs> I don't need the hood. I don't need the hood anymore. I only needed the hood for there, and I probably didn't need the hood either, but when we go to Athena 3, it's gas, but not as we know it. You don't need an NBC suit, you just need a gas mask. So the only the only thing I need for the gas now is the gas mask until I get an oxygen tank. Not sure why you can't wear a bag. I think that the suit just supersedes it. You can't wear a bag. You can't wear a bag because Sumrak is a like a sadistic bastard, that's why. It, it's a lot harder if you can't wear a bag, so that's why. Don't th jump into Athena 3 holding anything. How the fuck am I going to do this then? How the fuck can I, can I do this? I, I can't. I have to jump into Athena 3 holding something. You can't throw it in, guys, because <laughs> you can't throw it in, because when I jump in, it could go anywhere. You know, I jump, I throw in, it goes on the top floor, and then I go in, it go, I go on the bottom floor. You know, I can't do that. I, I need it to stay with me. Pinsy, dude, you're insanely kind, man. Thank you for the gifted sub bomb. Nobs, thank you as well. Both of you guys, thank you very much. Martin, thank you for the bits. Uh, Guru, Tope, thank you again, both of you as well. It's time to start rolling! I think I might throw the helmet away, to be honest. The amount of people asking for the helmet to be closed. I might just throw it and knob it all off. <laughs> I just want to be able to see more than I want the helmet down, okay? Let's, let, I'll put the helmet down when I need to, all right? Now sit in the back, kids. We're not there yet. Shut the fuck up, okay? Play your game, boys. Eat your fucking lollies and don't be sick on the fucking upholstery. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, Shibab, thank you for the new sub. Brick, thank you for the new sub as well. That's really kind. Thank you. Cheese Cutter, thank you for the bits as well. You guys are insane. Thank you very much. I can't believe we've done this. This is 
So far, so good, considering we're doing it on our own. I am kind of stressed about it, but... Someone needs to shoot him in the face, and then he will understand. There's no face hitbox in DayZ. If you're wearing a helmet, it protects you if you get shot on the nose. I don't even, like when we go to Lantia, now we've got the suit on, can we stay for longer or do we still only get to stay for 30 Mike. seconds? Leomardo, thank you for the 14 months, very kind. Yeelus, Lelius, Tad not had, thank you for the primes as well. Halliday's Egg Hunters, thanks for the support as well. Yeah, I had an exhaust pipe thing as well, Dubs. I had an exhaust pipe thing and I lost it. I had it stashed. Well, I guess the trouble is once the door's closed, you can't go back. I am hungry. So you probably can survive in Lantia longer, but what, there's no way of getting back again. You can go multiple times. I can't, though, because I, I've only got one key card. You can use the key card three times, can you? Okay. I need one of the extended Congrats things, but on getting the suit. I, I don't now even know where they spawn. I'm, I'm presuming they probably spawn. I found one the other day at, at the oil rig. suit can't fit in a bag. Why you not close the helmet, K? and what map is this, please? Ha, ha, ha. Piddle hat, thank you for the support, dude. Yeah, I, I won't <laughs> I won't need the extender to stay in Lantia longer, but if the if the orb isn't staying, I won't be able to get back, so it's a one-way ticket, you know, a bit like uh, those films, you know, like, like a bit like in, in Armageddon, spoilers, when Bruce Willis is like, Liv Tyler, Liv Tyler, I've got to save you. My darling daughter, right? I must save thee. So I'm going to sit on the I'm going to sit on the asteroid and I'm going to blow it. It'll be fine. I'll blow it and save humanity because I'm Bruce Willis. Uh, uh, like if we go to Lantia without the extender, I can't get back. I can stay there until my oxygen runs out. What film is that where there's a dude on the on the moon sitting on the moon waiting for their oxygen to run out? That is, is that is that the same one? I think that is uh, Bruce Willis, isn't it? Or is it Moon? Nice helmet. Shame it's not purple. Lord of the Rings. Far fumble, I suppose there is that. Space Cowboys. Yeah, I think that Space Cowboys. It's uh, Tommy Lee Jones, is it, that stays behind? I can't remember. Uh, Rummage, thank you for the 25 months. That's really kind. Riddle Hat, Susie Q, thank you very much. Karen as well. Blazing Saddles. <laughs> oh, I kind of need a drink. Why isn't this suit like a dune suit where I can have a piss and then I can drink it like straight away after? TRMZ love TRMZ love smoke TV sick smoke TV sick. There's different extenders, yeah, I get that, but where, where do I find them now? I, I, I don't know that bit. That's the bit I don't know. So 
So I've got to go to Lantia, get an extender, go back, and then go back again. And I need to get a battery and an oxygen tank from Athena 3 before... Fuck me, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. It's so hard. It's so hard. I think I'm going to head back to the submarine for now. Which means we've got to go north. Uh, cheers for the support. Gulot? Gulot? I can never get that one right, but Gulot, thank you. Oh. Right. Have, I got, have I got the compass yet? We're going fairly north. We are going north. So if we keep going north... Oh god, yeah, okay. Let's just use that, why not? If we keep going north for uh, about another, I don't know, six, six, eight, nine minutes, something like that, we should see the sub. But the weather's kind of getting worse, which is kind of bad. The suit does have armour, it's There's better protection than a, than a plate carrier. It's better protection than a plate carrier, yeah. I've I only seen most of the Monty Python films once, Bear Jew. The, the only one I've seen with any kind of reliability is uh, The Life of Brian, so I'm going to say that. It's the only one I've ever watched more than once, so it must be that one. Steve G, thank you for the bits. Canned Reaper, thank you for the bits. Vans, thank you for the bits as well. I can. I think it makes suit sense when you ever see like someone wearing an exo suit like this, like a like a spaceman. So you you, you never see like uh, like you, you don't see them in the films, and they've got their their suits and like and and then on the top of that they've got a fucking backpack, you know. I guess it kind of makes sense given the type of suit. It's like some spaceman suit, you know. You never see them with rucksacks on, you know, a little bum bag and whatnot, fanny pack. I feel like that looks a bit like the transformer signal. Yeah, you go around you go around Lanty or asking where you can uh, exchange your traveler traveler's checks. I have to say, that's one cool thing about this suit. You don't have to worry about the temperature anymore. That is badass. I have gone slightly a different way now, and I am a little bit worried that we might not find the submarine. When I say it might be... Tra I think it is. It's, it's the Optimus Prime symbol. I think you could draw that in that space and it would fit. You know where the best place to find a plate carrier on the mouse is? Normally on military zombies. You just kill military zombies and loot one. The further south you go, the more likely you are to find them. That's that's the best place, I'd say. Any military base can have them. And again, the further south they go, the more likely you are to get one. I don't even know what Balenciaga suit is, Gravy. You're, you're swimming with different fish than I am. I I, I, uh, I get suits from... Uh, what's that, that chainsaw that closed down? Debenhams. That's where I used to get my suits from. Devos.
No sense in shooting it too too much. It might as well come straight to me, might it? I'm not going to lie. That was just for a split second a slight worry that I might run out of bullets. There was some method in that madness, though. I haven't got any food. There's a bad storm and I don't know what to do, so why don't we cook some of this food? Now we've got food, look, see? Now we've got food, see? I can only cook like one piece at a time, well, two pieces at a time. There's no way my hands can be bloody. I, I can't even... Yeah, no way. I like boiled meat. It's my favourite. I like that noise. Uh, I'm freshy, bro. Thank you for the bits. Nasty infected. Does that suit give you extra stamina, or are you ill? It, I'm ill. <laughs> no. The suit means I can't carry any loot. That's why I've got so much stamina. Right? It forces you to carry less loot, which is why I'm... <coughs> you don't get cold. You don't get wet. Taking ages. eating my boiled bear. Where do you find the filaments? Uh, I found them in industrial areas on Tara Island, but you have to look a lot. There's three different colours. Does the helmet come with night vision goggles? Apparently it does, Kit, but you need a battery, so not when you've not got a battery. I'm baked. Apparently that's been fixed in the patch this morning. Potatoes? What's potatoes, Hobbits? Is? <laughs> Worth it. Where do you get the battery? Where you, the place where you need the battery. <laughs> you have to go to Athena 3 in the dark and then maybe you can use it. I'm full, am I? Oh, damn it. I don't think I can cook too much more. I'll cook these two and then that's it. I ain't going to be able to eat anymore. Now. I am Iron Man. Do, 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 do. That's how it goes, right? I tell you what, it's cool that we could just live out here with the suit on, though. I like that, you know? We could just, just live out here, minding our own biswax, just like eating bear and killing dudes that we see randomly and that we, we ain't going to see anymore. It is a special battery, yeah. Standard battery, no bueno. It's you can tell from the diagram, it ain't going to be a standard battery, but no, no, no bueno. It's an alien suit. It, it's going to need an alien battery. I've got to have to stop eating for a minute. I will need gas or sticks eventually. Yeah, that's true. But you get quite a lot of energy from bear. We could we could just survive on this pile of pile of meats. We'll just sit here and, and wait for the players to come to us. It sucks as a solo you have to double carry. I just dropped my gun. I actually went right the other way, Wiggle. 
I just don't have the space to carry ammo for two guns, so I carried lots of mo lots of Tundra rounds, sorry, lots of SVD rounds, and gave up on the FAMAS. I, I don't have the space to carry FAMAS mags and, and, and 5.56 rounds, and the same for SVD, so I just dropped it. I'd prefer the Fowler and SVD. In this scenario, with the guns I've got, I'd much prefer the Fowl. The gun slot now is on the front of the vest. It sits on the front of this knack, Knacker's vest. You keep it in your Knackers. Let's not get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Okay. Maybe drop the fishing rod. Well, for now, I'm not sure I want to. Can't eat with the visor down. If I were to get really lost, I might need the fishing hook. I might need the rod. Probably won't, because we've got food, but... We've got four bear meats. I, we probably don't need the rod, but... I don't need any of this shit. I'm going to have to drop it all. Right, I've got to keep going a little bit this way. And then we're going to have to wait for the storm to clear. Knack, now you can't carry shit. I think you're... you're, you're no... Assing, c-wording loot, you prick. What was on the bench? What have I missed? I, I'm not. I'm not going back anyway. But. Battery that, that was a myon detector. I don't remember seeing a I don't remember seeing any batteries there. No additional carry, brother hell, that's that's good. I don't think there was a battery at the sub. There, I think there was a battery for the it was a blue battery, that was a Gauss rifle battery. I don't think there was a battery for this thing there though. So many questions about this suit. I think I just answer them for the next hour. Yes, the suit protects you from the cold. Yes, it has MVGs and a light, but you need a battery, and you can't get that battery unless you go to Athena 3. Why back to the sub? Because I think a spare keycard wouldn't be the end of the world, and it's actually an easier way for me to get back to the mainland without having to swim so much, so... It's, it's a bit like going in, like here's the mainland, this is where I was. I can go up and to the left rather than trying to go across that way, which is kind of slower. How do you use the bathroom in the suit? I don't know, you just do. I don't really want to go too much further. I feel like we must be getting fairly close to the, uh, the sub. I've no idea though. What? Ah, there we go. It tells you on the screen. I am Nakaman. Do 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 do.
Oh, am I full? Am I full apple? Like full, full apple? I think I am. It ain't going up no more. But if I move, then it goes down. Health get food goes down. Food goes up. Here's abundant. Take it easy, dude. This is so hard. It's crazy. And uh, part of the reason I'm carrying the bag is that I'm so obsessed with loot, I just don't want to drop it. At least it's slightly less stressful with the cold, though. You know, we don't need the sticks or anything. It's weird that the suit's called a Nakaman suit, yet your knackers are the least protected of everything, you know. That looks like a bit of leather or something. I don't think... You could... I think a kick to the knackers and you're going to be on the floor hunched double, right? Where... I, I, I don't know. I think that's a bit... A bit dicey. Do you know? And also, his hands are still... Hands are showing! These, these gloves don't work. And his bum's showing as well. I can see his knickknacks through his Nakaman suit. I, I get the feeling this is not as legit as it appears to be, you know? What's used to repair the suit? WD-40. You need Anakin Skywalker, the builder of C-3PO. I honestly don't know if Epoxy fixes it or not. I've not been able to test it yet. <sighs> I just don't want to go too much further because I think we might end up going past the sub. I don't know. Where's the O2 tank at? Uh, A3 or Lantia only. It's time to start running. Running the first. Thank Keep you for the two months. Troy, hole. thank you for the 17. Gandhi, thank you for the two months. Frytex, thank you for the two. Unwin, thank you for the bits. <gasps> cry when I make love. Oh no, I cry when I make love. Uh, well, hopefully it's tears of joy. Thank you for the resub. I am a freshie, bro. Thank you again. really could do without the storm. I just need it to end. Well, I've got one epoxy here. The, the stuff in here I'm keeping. The stuff in here I might end up dropping, although I really do need that helmet. And I've got no fucking clue what I'm going to do. When we get to the other side, when, we, when we're trying, if we actually make it that far and we're trying to jump into Athena 2, sorry, Athena 3, I don't know how I'm going to do it because I've got to have the MVGs on my head. I know I've got two epoxy. Heading to work. Good I, luck I've just explained that, Sal. <laughs> I've got one you there arrive. that I'm going to keep. This one's Love just a spare by. for now. Oh, this, this is so hard. Yeah, but the helmet off, MVG's on, that's great and all, but where the fuck do I put that? Look at the size of that fucker. Apparently, if you jump into... If you jump into Athena... Three, with something in your hands it can bug out so I can't go with it in my hands I've got to have that on my head I, I, in order to use the MVGs I've got to have that on my head I've got to take the gas mask and somehow I've got to put keep that in my inventory and not lose it I am sent I, I think I'm going to have well I've jumped in there with a gun in my hands nearly every time I've ever been there so I'm inclined to think I'm going to have to jump with something in my in my hands. I've Namals got, remind got no me choice. of home. Keep on running. An MVG head strap might be great if you can actually wear the thing. I don't know if you can, but if an MVG head strap goes on this, that'd be great. I bet I would be surprised if it does. Oh. Old soldier, older soldier, thank you for the new sub. Mad Matt, thank you as well. Right, I'm going to wait for a minute. I don't want to go any further. I've got to wait for this storm to end. This really stuck, really sucks.
How would I rate each da uh, daisy map from 1 to 10? Uh, very slowly. Uh, to be honest, dude, I wouldn't want to do it mad map because whoever goes number 10 is likely going to be a modded map. And it's a little bit like if you had 10 kids and they said, Daddy, Daddy, we've all done drawings. Please, can you rank us 1 to 10? And then you actually did it, thereby ruining number 10's entire life. <laughs> Now, hey, space boy. Daisy map what modders like are not are not children, in your back seat? but I, I, I don't see the need to rank the maps and say which map I dislike when it's been made by someone in their spare time, you know. I, and there's maps that I clearly don't play on very much, but I'd rather not piss all over someone else's chips, you know. Like, they've spent their time making the map. I'm not going to tell 5,000 people it's shit. If I, if I dislike a game, that's a different thing, but a game you buy, you know. You buy a game, you you pay your money and if you don't like it you can probably offer your opinion but if you're being offered something for free and you're just nagging about it I think that's a bit shit sometimes those kids need brutal honesty and uh, they don't not not on something like that brutal honesty can come in also you learn a lot through sports so if, if you right if you like if I play my daughter at chess I never let her win you know that's fine but if my two kids are trying to get a one-up over each other and use me as their tool I ain't letting them do it either you know there's a difference you know like if, if I'm playing them at a game, they're old enough now where I'll try to beat them. They're 13 and 10. Soon enough, they'll beat me at fucking everything, you know. But when when they're trying to be, like, getting one up over the other and use it as a tool, no way. You don't fall for that shit. Uh, Matro, dude, it is a pretty bag sit bag big back seat at the moment. That is true. It is pretty big. The storm is abating. I like saying abating. It makes me feel smart. Let's just get on this little mound. If we can get some visibility, we'll, we might see the sub. I've no idea where we are now. I have no fucking clue. Uh, okay, let's just go this way a bit more. I think we might be near the sub. I think we might be near it. Like, pretty close. I don't know. Or else we might be miles away. I'm not sure we should be seeing so much water. What do we need at the sub? I'm only going for a spare keycard. I've got one, but the keycard I've got has been used once. Apparently the sub, the keycard has three uses now, so if we get a new one, we've got three fresh uses from it, rather than one that's only got two uses. Right, come on, give me some, give me some visibility, baby. Let's go to that mound, it's taller. It's six, is it? Keycard got six uses, locator's got three. All right, well, I probably need a keycard less than I did, thought I did then, but anyway. Running, I have played on heavy mod maps. If you go back and watch my uh, Trumpet Brothers quad quadrilli no, trilogy, for example, that's on a heavily modded map with trader bases and whatnot. I have played on those kinds of maps in the past. This could be hard then. Maybe we don't need to go to the sub because if the visibility improves and I can't see it, then I'm, I give up. It would be cool if we if we can find the, the sub. Like you say, there is a chance we could get a head strap there. That would be amazing. Let's get visible. Visible. <laughs> oh, come on. Just piss off with the fog, will you? Uh, Rushi, Rushi, the sub is always in the same place, but... Finding it in a snowstorm is kind of hard. There's no, there's not really a great deal you can do to help you find it. You know, you you need to be able to see it. If you can get within about a kilometre of it, you can see it. But I can't see shit at the moment, so... Am I going to do like sour and stay up till 5am? Probably not. I'm going to be streaming for another couple of hours though, but I probably won't. And the reason for that is simple. I, uh, 
I d at Sour, I'd imagine, probably didn't start at, at 12.30pm, you know. And maybe he did, maybe he did some crazy 15 hour stream, fair play to him, but Sour st streams a lot later than me, he starts like 6, 7, 8pm, whereas I started at 12.30 noon. You are old. To be fair, I think I could out-stamina most DayZ streamers on some kind of endurance stream. If, like Lone Wolf in DayZ for a number of hours, I think I win against 99%. I don't need to prove it. I've done, I've done two 30-hour streams in the past. I've done like 24-hour streams every other week. I ain't doing it again. Fuck that shit. I already have proved it, but you had to be here in 2018. Oh, in fact, no, 2016, my bad. Search it with the gun scope. It won't help. The problem is the fog, not my... I, zooming in will just let me see fog. It won't let me see any further. I just need the fog to burn away some more, and then we'll have more visibility, and we might be able to find this bastard. I just don't know though. I don't know which way we need to go. I'm not really sure. Visibility is just not improving very much yet. Now you've said you're feeling sick by putting the backpack down, I'm starting to feel sick. That's your fault, that is. I wasn't doing. <laughs> I'm going to go this way a bit. I, I just don't know where we're going, and the visibility feels like it's not getting as good as I thought it would. That wasn't spinning on a, in a circle, that was tactical spinning. That, that was submarine searching, that's what that was. I think we're going to carry on going north for a little bit longer. We're not even going north. Let's carry on going north for a little bit longer. The sun's kind of setting, which is a bit frustrating. We're going to be losing the... It looks beautiful though, doesn't it? I just don't know. I think maybe we'll just go back to the mainland. I, I'm, I'm a little bit unsure we're ever going to find this bastard sub. Hey Spaceball, what's it like to have 5,000 people in your back seat? Thanks for the support, Matro. Uh, very kind. Uh, not all of them are in. Quite a few have climbed in, but there's a few that aren't. Uh, Mad Matt and old, Older Soldier, thank you for the support as well. You're very, very kind. Thank you. There's Oh, there it is. Look, there it is. I can see it right in the middle of the screen. We're going straight at it all along. Everything was fine. No worries. Whackcat, that is not fair. Uh, certainly, it, it's uh, it, it it no, it's not fair. No, like, I'm, no, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at something else. That's harsh. I'd I'd like to be one fifth of the creator that Jack Frags is. Then I could retire. <laughs> then I could retire on all my YouTube monies. This has been stressful. So, I don't know if we really need to come to this or not, but a head, head strap for the MVGs would be amazing. I'm still not convinced I can wear it with this. I'm not sure I can wear a head strap with this helmet, So, but I'd like to try. It would really help me if I can. Even if I can't, at least it's slightly smaller space than the helmet for what I've got to carry, you know?
Uh, cheers for the follows as well. There's a lot of follows coming in. Thank you, guys. Now, I kind of want to leave this somewhere on this mountain, I think. I just want to have a look around to make sure there's no dead zombies. Right, straight off the nose of the sub. Is my visor closed? Yes. I don't know why so many people are so obsessed with the fucking visor. <laughs> if I could, I'd throw the fucking visor away. But it's attached to the helmet, which I actually need. Come on. I can't afford to miss. I've got no more bullets. I left them in the bag. I don't even need to shoot it if it keeps going down there. My shooting's getting worse because I'm getting nervous. I've actually been fairly good at shooting the Ziz today, feeling quite calm about it all, but... Moyon. I think I've had those before. I'm not picking them up. You do get head light vision goggle straps here all the time. <laughs> See, you can't wear it. Can I use the butt pack? No. really no key card. Wouldn't it be cool if that actually did work as the battery? It would be so cool. But there's no other key card. I already looted a key card from here before. There isn't another one, which is the only other thing I could realistically find that's of any use. Was there a card on? I think you're meaning that. That's a heat pack. I, I didn't see a card, that, unless I missed one, but I, I didn't see one. Before that, was there? Okay, let's have a look. No, I don't see one. Oh, no, you're right. I, I, I had gone past it. You're right. Now, what do I drop? Do you know what? We get six uses out of it. I'm just going to take one card, but I'll take the new one. Oh, fucking hell. I did forget the bullets. I don't need them. I've got more in my bag, but I'm going to I'm going back for them anyway because I'm a fucking idiot. I just don't need these, but because I didn't mean to leave them, I've got to get them back. fucking cap Captain fucking Chumpy to let the zombies know where I am. <laughs> oh 
I'm not getting any shock damage anyway. Oh, he doesn't know where I am anymore. It's time to start running. Okay. I feel like those shots missed because the visor was up. You might be on to something. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. So the only reason I can think to take the head strap instead of the helmet is that it's smaller. I just don't know how I'm going to do this because I need to be able to see in the dark when we go into Athena 3 until I find this special battery which must be in Athena 3. So I'm going to need the MVGs for a short while and I'm going to have to put the bat that that's going to have to go in here somehow. I, I just I guess actually <coughs> when I'm in Athena 3 when I put the locator into oh no that won't be any good until I get there though but I can use it with the gas mask, but I could have used the other one with the gas mask too. That that will work. I can wear that and use that too. Alright, you can stay there. Am I really carrying this stuff, or should I just drop it? I've got to carry it because of the MVGs. I'm going to have to carry that all the way. I just... This is crazy to do as a lone wolf. I just... Like, what the fuck am I meant to do? How am I meant to see it inside Athena 3 unless I carry that? The only other thing I do is carry a head Maybe torch, a I guess, you know? Flashlight. Can you even put a weapon flash... You can't put a weapon flashlight on the SVD. Putting the stove down doesn't save me any space. God, this is hard. Like, how can I clear Athena 2? I don't want to leave this helmet somewhere. Anyone sees it, they're going to take it. How can I clear Athena 2 without being able to see? It's just so hard as a lone wolf. I can't fucking work it out. I need to wear the night vision goggles, and I can't... They need... Maybe there's... I just... I just... Like, I have to go to Athena 3 to get the battery for the, the night vision in my suit. And there's no way to use it unless I can get a battery in there. And I have to go to Athena 3 to do that. But in order to do that, I've got to go in Athena 2 that's completely dark. And then Athena 3 that's completely dark. So I have to wear the MVGs. But how do I wear the MVGs and the helmet? I don't even think I can take the suit off now by the look of it, but yeah, the suit doesn't fit in this bag. Glow stick on the bag. <laughs> I carry a glow stick around in my hands. Sorry, on a bag in my hands. I, I just, I, I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I need to wear those MVGs. I can't drop the helmet. Like how, how, how can I carry all of the? I've got. This is my only inventory space. If I, if I'm going into something like Athena, I need to be able to have the Athena too. I need to be able to have the SVD in my hands to defend myself, right? So how do I put that in there? And I have to carry all this other stuff. I can't not. So. It's time to start running! 
Like, I have to carry that. I have to carry that. I need that inside Athena 3. I can't not have that. Gotta carry it. I need that for Athena 3. Gotta carry it. I need that for Athena 3. I've gotta carry it. So, in order to do the task, I have to have those things. These, these things here, they won't all fit in the case, obviously, but I have to have those. Just, I just, I can't, I can't get my fucking brains around it. Just, it's just not possible. I don't, I don't even know why I'm still trying. It's not fucking possible. So I can do it. But I'd have to choose between a bandage and a mag. So I could do that, and then do that. But... Like, I can't reload my mag, because I can't even put the mag in my inventory. I'm one soldier, ignore all the stuff in the bag. I'm only concerned with the stuff in here for now. I'm planning, I'm thinking ahead for when we go to Athena 2. I wouldn't have the gas mask. I guess I could wear it. Even inside Athena 2, I could still wear the gas mask, I suppose. I guess that's what I'll have to do. I'll have to wear it inside Athena 2 as well. It's so fucking stupid. It sucks so much. It sucks. It's so cool. It's really, really cool. Don't get me wrong, but it's crazily impossible to do on your own. I just... I feel like that 35 slots maybe could do with being, let's say, 40 or 45. It might not cause me so much, like, heartache. It's just impossible. Now, I don't need to carry these, all of these things. Uh, long shot, I think the fun is in the challenge of just doing it as much as that. There is more of a challenge added by the amount of loot you can carry, but... It's basically set up to make it more conducive to loot to groups doing it. Base in all honesty, that's the way I feel. Like, I know I'm probably labouring the point, and maybe we're going to struggle, and maybe I should just get on with it, and that's what we're going to do now. But I, I just <laughs> the the thing that I think is the problem is that maybe because you can't get a battery for the have the visor, so you have to be able to see inside Athena two and three. Maybe you should be able to wear the head strap with the night vision goggles whilst keeping the helmet on. And if you could do that, then you could play for now, you doing that, and then when you get the battery, you can take the MVGs off and you're laughing. Kind of flaccid, yeah, but I think the trouble is, dude, like, if you're Lone Wolf and you're trying to go... T like, you have to get the suit from... Uh, Unless I buried it, but because I'm streaming, I feel like the prized stuff you want to keep on you. If you, if I buried this suit in a, or I hid this suit somewhere, and stashed it, the chances of me getting it back, I think somebody will steal it. You know, like, like I've had that in the past. You know, I, I've, I've stashed things. I've been doing, for example, on Chernerus, I've been doing a gas zone route, and I hid all of my stuff in some bushes, and then when I went back to, my, to after doing the gas zone, my my MVGs and a load of my loot had been taken. Now. There's a small chance that was legitimate, but it was in such a random place 
in an area where nobody would go to, I suspect that somebody used the stream to find it and then steal the stuff, you know. Yeah, and my dry bag that I hid in the sea earlier went fairly quickly, you know, and I did put a changing server screen up for that, but I did then go and wade in the water and make it obvious that I was leaving it in the ocean. There's no battery slot on the helmet. The battery goes on the suit. There's nothing in the helmet. But there's nothing on the helmet that can, can be added. Like, that there is just the visor. There's no other loot that goes on. That's just it. That's all there is. A visor. Wardy Rob, yeah, but you need oxygen for the spacesuit, and the, that that spawns where the gas is. That's the that's the challenge, you know. That the oxygen mark, the oxygen for this suit spawns in Athena Three, where there's gas. So you, you can't you have to use a gas mask to go and find the oxygen. So you don't need the gas mask anymore. Holly found the battery at industrial this morning. Did she? Okay, that's cool. Uh, Catnip, thank you so much for the new sub. Bartman, maybe a weapon flashlight. Yeah, that is a good shout. I might be able to change my pistol and get a pistol flashlight, but again, likewise, going around Athena 2 or, th or Athena 3 in the dark with just a weapon flashlight seems horrendous. Done gamer, I, I doubt it, but I wouldn't say no for sure. I doubt it, but you never know. do this I just oh. hit the great I don't know what you're telling me but I have to carry these other things I need to carry the locator I need to carry the there's other things you've not listed there that I need to carry Right, we're, we're going to be seeing the mainland fairly soon, I think. I think this is the fourth night time this character has seen. Yeah, pistol with the light is a possibility, but you've got to remember Athena 2 could be full of players. So the idea that I'm going to go to Athena 2 with a pistol and a, light, a flashlight and then deal with a squad of M4 players or something, you know... <laughs> I'd really rather at least be able to shoot my SVD, you know, like, these places could have players in, you know, and, and I've got a really good suit that gives me a lot of ballistic protection, but if I've got an FNX and a Mag and 7 bullets and I'm using it just because of the light, I think I'm dead, you know. You need to make a friend or it can't be got done. I, I'm going to see if that's true or not. I think we can do it, but I think it's going to be really hard. Or double carry a gun with a light. Yeah, that, that's a possibility. I've got to find it, though. That's the trouble. Well, if, I, if the helmet is going to give me the same problem as the night vision I've got, you know, I can't wear the helmet whilst I'm wearing this helmet, so it still doesn't solve anything. Did I think to get the battery before getting the suit? I, I had a little talk with somebody about doing it, but it's it's really hard. I, I, I'd lost all of my stuff stashing it. Like I don't know how big this battery is. I don't know how big the uh, I don't know how big the the oxygen tank is. But I feel like I want them in the suit rather than I want them in my inventory. Because in order to go to the oil rig, I had to carry a full NBC suit and filters and God knows what else. I had to carry three filaments that take up 18 slots in total. I had to carry 
the the key card and I had to I've still got that I had to carry the blueprints and whatnot I feel like going to the oil rig and dropping a load of shelf stuff was going to be not much different than trying to get the other bits first so here we are you know Dead, dead by Marcus. When you go to the ice sheet on Deer Isle, you don't have quite so many slots because you can't, you've got to wear the bare ghillie suit. You can't wear a backpack, but it's nowhere near as harsh hey, as this on the loop Hope front. You're okay. Thanks for the entertainment. All the best. I just, I just, I don't know how we're going to do it. It's going to be so hard, but I'm, I'm going to be running around basically with this bag in my hand. And then if I see someone, I'll have to drop it and shoot them. I don't really see what else I can realistically do, you know? I, I just don't know what else I can do. Do I think I can finish this journey today? Possibly not. If there's no event while I'm nearby in Athena 2, there's nothing... Like, if we go to Athena 2 and an event starts, then I've got half a chance. But if we don't, you know, I can't do it, can I? You know, that I can't jump into the orb if there's no Athena 2 to press the button and then go. Mr. Surti, thank you for the 17 months. That's really kind. Thank you. Go TRMZ, go. That'd be so cool if we could see with this suit on. Let's just run around the left. Uh, Zuma, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you for the bits. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, where are, where are we? Hope, hope, uh, most to say, thank you. I hope you're okay as well, dude. Thank you. Big Shug, it's going to be very dicey. Yeah, no matter what I do, it, it, it's just, I just don't see it being easy. There's absolutely no way anyone's going to be friendly with me either. You know, you're wearing like... You know, like when you see a ghillie suit player in Electro... There's no way you're going to be friendly with a, a ghillie suit and somebody holding an SVD in Electro, right? Well, this is like that, but times ten. <laughs> like, this suit is just like... I, I should think there's only a handful of players that have actually printed one yet, you know? Like, a few people have done it, like, but on a full server that stays full all day, I should think there's not many people that have done it, you know? Couldn't find a filament to save my life today, so nice work so far. Happy bomb, thumbs up. HB, dude. Ugh, I, it's so stressful. I, I, as a lone wolf, I just don't know how I'm going to go to Athena 2 and clear the building whilst using MVGs that I can't wear. I, I have no fucking clue how I'm going to do it. When I get to Athena 2, I think my mind is going to explode. I, as I'm trying to work it out and trying to put this helmet in my inventory because I don't want to leave it anywhere. My, my head is going to start looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger's at the end of Total Recall. Uh, happy bombs, dude. Thank you for the 64 months. I hope you're good, dude. Cren, I, I know we probably covered that a few times, but I don't rate my chances of burying stuff so much. And it's still being there when I go back. Even if I hide the screen, I still don't think it will be there. I think we've done incredibly well to get this far. I think that's true. I'm not quite sure what's wet. Maybe it's because the helmet's wet because I didn't, I didn't put the visor down. You know, if only people had told me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I don't know how we're going to do it. SVD night vision optics won't really help me, Angel, because I, I, you can't walk and you, you can't use it for like looting around. You've got to use it like to aim only, really. It's time to start running! 
How many filaments Good do you luck, need? Paul, you need three face. filaments, one of each colour. So there's a, there's red, orange, and blue. You need three filaments. You need to get the uh, you need to get the blueprints, and you also need to get the key card from the sub. And you also need a full NBC suit in order to go to the oil rig. Jason, dude, thank you very much for gifting Blue, Blue Zoo the sub. Dark man, thank you for the bits as well. Might need to go to Lubjansk and recruit some mules there. Fuck that. Fuck that. We ain't doing any mules. We're doing it on our own. But we don't need friends. We need foes. In that suit, you can just live on the, night, the ice, Cordilla, or you do need to get food. I killed a bear and I've been eating that, but... Oh, yeah, the, the wrench wasn't actually that useful for me. I, I didn't really need it. The wrench is like, if you've got if you've got a, somebody with full NBC, then maybe you can... Uh, I think that's so you can escape, perhaps, or whatever. It turns the gas off, but not for very long. What you'd probably do is have somebody uh, with a wrench turn the gas off, and then other people go in and do the do the creating of the suit while you keep turning the gas off when it comes back on again. Oh, this is this is so tricky. I ain't going to be able to carry the epoxy or the or the EpiPen for a start. They're going to have to go. I can't carry anything. Like, when we go inside Athena 2, if I've got to put that helmet in my inventory, I can only carry one mag in the gun and one stack of bullets, and that's it. I know what a leg holster's going to do. I guess a leg holster actually would give me two more slots of inventory. You're right, it would, wouldn't it? Some servers have those, like, modded fanny packs that go where your belt would go. One of those would be amazing right now. But yeah, then I'd have to carry my knife, so it wouldn't help me. <laughs> I'd still probably need the knife in case I need to open food or cut things. Yeah, I've got a belt. Darkman, NZ, uh, Darkman from New Zealand. Might need to go to Love Jansen and recruit some mules. Yeah, I read it already, didn't I, dude? I, no mules, no mules. We're going to just crack on now. We're fine. I'm swimming around to the left a little bit so I don't swim right over by the town. I don't think Sumrak was compassionate in the scientist, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think I think he's been a right bastard, and that's how I haven't put the visor down again. Damn it, idiot! With this thing, you could swim to Lanty, yeah. But then I need. Uh you probably could actually. It's like I think I didn't Ceremor did it do it. It's like two hours swimming or something. Could try to get a gun with a bayonet. Yeah, I, I don't really want to loot for guns to be honest. I just want to get to where we're going and not see anybody. Why won't you go to safe zone and buy a bigger belt? There is no safe zone. That's what I thought, Newton. Even if you swim it, you can't actually get to land here. It's like got a cliff all the way around it. So you can swim to where it is, but you don't actually get to go anywhere. You can't see land here, as it were.
Uh, I went to the submarine after I'd done the oil rig. So there's no bleed. If there's no bleeds, I don't need bandages. Barjack, I can't breathe anywhere right now, though, because I don't have the oxygen suit, right? So it's not OP for me right now. And and I think it's because I've got to carry the things to go to Lantia, and like I need to be able to see, and I can't do that without the battery. There was bleeds from Zeds, but that was fixed today. Okay, cool. The bag might be the death of me, but I have to carry it. I can't not. I, I have to take those MVGs. I, I don't need most of the rest. I could drop the rest, but I have to take those MVGs. I can't wear them. I have to take them. That, that, that's, not a, that, that's not a choice. I have to be able to see when I go to the underground areas. The headlamp's still going to give me the same problem, though. That this is the that I know people are trying to help, but the problem is not the size of the, the the MVGs. The problem is the size of the helmet when I don't wear it. That's the problem. So the MVGs are going to be in my head when I need them, right? And so I, my issue is when I go to Athena three or Athena two, and I need to wear the MVGs. This great big fucker has got to go in my bag, and I can't even drag it at the moment. But it takes up most of my inventory. I can't drop the helmet. This helmet can't be dropped. I need to keep that in order to go to Lantia, so... <sighs> Rich people problems. Nico, this is the 3D printed suit. We've done it. Yep, we've done it today. Da, 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 da. Right, now what? I think I'm completely full. Is that frozen, no? Oh, yeah. God. Anyway, we're doing all this thinking about what we're going to do. We ain't even fucking anywhere near there yet, you know? We've got ages to go yet, so let's not worry about it. We'll, we'll, we're going to have to get over and get on with it. No two ways about it, really. It's still causing me stress, and I haven't even got to worry about it at this precise moment. What is the gas stove and the cooking pot for? Uh, Jax, it doesn't take up any space, so at the moment the cooking pot is for water, because I can drink from it, right? The gas stove allows me to make more water by just boiling the cooking pot really easily. But uh, it doesn't take up any space because there's stuff inside it, you know. So if I don't think you can find it uh, on Tyrone, I don't think you can find the, the uh, oxygen and the batteries there. I don't think you can. Uh, I, 
I just I... Matt G, uh, Matt Guy, or Matt G. Thank, thank you for the thirty months. That's very very kind. Bottom sneeze. Yes, apparently it's much more than a than a plate carrier has. Eddie, no, it's not. It's been like it since day one. It's been like it since 2014. Oh, my God. I don't want to carry this bag anymore. Can top up gas filters with charcoal, yeah. Which is why I'm still carrying the charcoal for now, but I've got two filters on me. And so I think I might have to go to Lantia with sorry, might go to Athena 3 with one filter. I might not have any choice. I I don't see see me being able to do it with two filters. I think I'm gonna have to go with one. And just see how I go, you know. You can probably we can probably find more filters in there. Guys, I, I know you're trying to help, but none of you are really helping when you're trying to help me sort my inventory maze out. There's no way of doing it. I can't do it right now. I'm going to have to carry the bag no matter what. I don't need all of that stuff, but I'm going to have to carry the bag no matter what. So there's no, there's no, there's no fixing it, right? Holy fuck. It's a nice bag, is that, dear? <laughs> Whatsy, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Uh, Steve, thank you for the prime. Uh, Matt G, thank you very much for the support. I'm just, I'm fairly glad at least that I've got a a, a decent gun. You know, the one problem with the. Uh, the one problem with the SVD is it's not very good for clearing buildings, you know, it's like inside Athena 2, it's not the best in the world, but at least we've got a scope on it that makes it a bit of a close range gun and a bit of a mid range gun and a, and a long range gun. It, that particular spectre scope allows us to use it for, for doing okay, but uh, it's, it's a bit trickier in small spaces and doorways and whatnot, but it, 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 I think we'll be alright. So this is the issue. I'm only going to explain it one more time. When I go into Athena 2, I've got to wear that on my head. And I can't wear that on my head whilst I'm wearing this. So this has got to come in here and take up nearly half. Well, it is half. How many slots is that? It's 4 by 4 It's 16 slots. So near enough half of my inventory has got to go to this helmet. And I have to carry a lot of those other things as well. I have to carry that. I have to carry the gas mask. I've got to carry the key card. I need those things. So my inventory is basically all spoken for when I go into Athena 2 because I need to wear the MVGs and they won't go on with that helmet. Unless I find the suit battery, but apparently that only spawns in Athena 3, so I need the gas mask to go in there. You know, I, I need the MVGs to go to get to where I can find that. And I know some people have been saying things like, Apparently, Holly found one in this area, and so and so found the one. There's lots of different. In, there's lots of different servers where maybe server owners have changed the loot economy. You know, I think it's safe to assume that we're not going to find the battery of the auction until we go to Athena Three. Tony, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm probably going to drop the bandages. Well, I can put them in here now, but knowing me, I'll find a way to cause a bleed with a suit that's meant to stop you from bleeding. No me, I'll find a way. It's time to 
I could go with that. Hopefully he updates it so you can wear backpack with suit. I could go with that for now. It still doesn't help me help me when I need to put the help the helmet out. Redacted. No, when you go to Athena 3 on the mouse, you only need a gas mask. You don't need anything else. You don't need epoxy. I think you can use epoxy to repair the suit, so I might need it, yeah. I will have to drop the pot, but I'm not dropping it yet. We already did that before. We had a little bit of a play at it. Yeah, I had, I'm definitely going to have to drop the pot. I'm not doing it now, though, because uh, I need to wear it. I think when we go inside Athena 2, I'm going to have to wear the, night vision, wear the night vision goggles and the gas mask, even though I don't need to use the gas mask. I'm just going to have to wear it. I have no choice. No, I know that's what you meant. I think you mean if you take the helmet off you, for the MVGs, you could bleed. In Athena Three, you only need a you only need a gas mask, so the helmet isn't needed. <laughs> I answered the question. I, I when I go to Athena Three, I could be naked as long as I've got a gas mask with a filter. I won't have any issues. There's someone up ahead there, look. The suit doesn't take damage from what I've experienced so far. So what, you've been shot whilst wearing it. Like you've been shot by, say, I don't know, a couple of Mosin rounds. I don't have gear fear, I have adventure fear. I'm not. I, I, you're right. I have. I have kind of got gear fear, but um, it's not so much. I guess it is the suit, but it's just that we're so close to having a chance at doing this insane thing. We're so close. That is an incredibly risky place to uh, make a fire. So I'm heading for Athena 2 in the hope that there'll be an event. We haven't had an event in quite a while. So I'm heading for Athena 2 in the hope that we'll get one. I was hoping they killed the zombies here, but they haven't. Oh, fuck off.
if I'd lost my SVD there, I think I might have cried. This dude may not stay. He may be gone already. I'm, I can't crouch up to him where in doing that. Well, it looks like he's on his way. I shouldn't have missed the first shot, but I'm pleased I hit that one. That wasn't so so hard. They, they weren't so easy once he turned 90 degrees left, but... Oh, God. The, it, everything feels so stressful now. Everything feels so stressful. Just squeeze the stress bag and it'll all go away. Load NK2, Max. There's no zombies around here for a while, so I'm not going to bother just yet. I think we'll do it after we finish with this. I don't even know why I'm going to what I'm going to do here. If I go to him, I can't loot him anyway. What can he have that I need? He could have something from Athena, I guess, but for Athena. He could have one of those things that allows you to stay in the, the map longer, but I doubt it. I'm going to very quickly check. Because if you if you kill someone and you don't check what they've got, why didn't I just let him go, you know? I have to, I have to check him, I think. It's just like... It's the rules. He yeah, has got quite a lot of stuff. We'll take the food. I'm going to take that one. I definitely need more bullets. No, no, no. Okay, we'll have that too. Come on then, let's go. Uh, he had a gun light. Uh, I, I don't think I've got a gun it will go on though. I suppose I could take it for now. If that went on the SVD, I'd be okay, or it'd be helpful. But it doesn't, does it? It doesn't go on the SVD. Right now, we've got a bit more of a run to do to get to Athena 2. Oh god, this is feeling stressful. I don't really need this, but it's going to give me hydration. I can't leave the bag. I don't think I can. And that's the thing, it's not Gear Fear username, it's the adventure that I'm on that I don't want to lose. The, it, the, the adventure has led to the gear and I need the gear to do the next thing, but to be honest, if I get all the way to Lantia with a suit and then I die, I'm not really that bothered. A little bit like recent video type things. Achieving it as a lone wolf is my aim, no matter what, you know. 
if they I, I don't care like maybe there's a gauss rifle in land to your own and maybe i take it maybe i don't you know but i don't really care you know if i can do it as a lone wolf and do this challenge getting all of the stuff going to the oil rig if i can do all of that as a lone wolf and come out and get to lantia that is the challenge you know if i do it i'll feel fucking amazing i'm amazed we've come this far i really am Slick Nick, thank you very much for the seven months. Be gone, thank you very much for the nine months. That's Evil Man's baby. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. He must have been dying of starvation, that dude. I can only I can only assume he was dying of starvation. Otherwise, there's there's no way he would make a fire. Well, I wouldn't anyway. It's too dangerous. Far too close to the Millie base. Did I think, well, I was hoping to go this far in the 11-hour stream, yeah, I was hoping we might do the whole thing, but... Ah, oh, come on. Really would just like to get there now. I, what am I, exactly am I doing, milling you? I'm trying to achieve a really tough goal. Forgive me for not telling you the whole thing, but I've been repeating what we're trying to do for 11 hours. <laughs> I ain't got it in me anymore, winning. okay? <laughs> I'm trying to get to a, Athena 2, to get to Athena 3, and then get to Lantia. Is, is alien technology is what we're doing. But honestly, sorry, dude, but I've been, like, a few people are asking things like, is the suit bulletproof? Since I picked the suit up, I've, un I've been, we've just constantly cycled the same questions. And then someone, someone says, why don't you make a stash? And then five minutes later, someone says, why don't you make a stash? And then someone says, why don't you drop the bag? <laughs> and so the circle jerk continues. So we, we just need to get on with it for now. <laughs> The suit will allow me to explore Lantia. In theory, yes, but not without a battery and an oxygen uh, an oxygen tank, which I need to get from Athena 3. How do you pee in the suit? Well, you don't pee in Daisy anyway. I think what it is, you don't pee or poop in Daisy, but you eat and drink a lot, but you're running so much that you just excrete everything via sweat, and so there's no room for, uh, there's no room for anything else. slots is the suit it won't go in the bag which is something other people have suggested as well you either wear the suit when you go to the oil rig you either wear the suit or you don't take it that's basically it you either wear it or you don't take it i think it goes in a barrel so you could put it in a barrel if you were feeling frisky so you could do it that way but Hilgen style, thank you for the six months. Mr. Darn, dude, thank you very much for the support. It, it's time to start shitting your pants. Doc, dude, thank you for the raid. I hope you're good, man. Thank you. We've got we've got the full suit, Lone Wolf. We've done the we've done it so far. I'm trying to get to Athena 2 right now, but I'm struggling. I'm I'm really struggling with what to carry. Cheers. It's making my brain hurt, like, so much. It's time to start running. Uh, Blackleaf, I oh, can't show done. the suit fully without, without taking the bag out of my hands, and I'm in the middle of an open field, so I can't, really. It's not safe for me to just stop and start pissing around to so show the suit. I look like, uh, I don't know. I look a bit like Iron Man, but if he'd, if he'd gone orange, this is the new black colours. 
Mr. Fizzlelegs, thank you for the for the gifted subs. Very kind Hawk. Dunning Kruger, thank you very much as well. Uh, Doc Rice, thanks a lot for the raid, dude. I feel a, a level of stress that I, I... The map is full, by the way, guys. The server is full. There, there, there's not like it's empty or anything, but I'm feeling a lot of stress right now. I just... I, we're going to have to hide this bag somewhere. I just... I think, I'm still struggling to work out what I'm going to do. Otterhead, dude, thank you so much for the support. Jackal, thank you as well. Love good carpet. I loves good carpet, I does. Thank you for the support as well, dude. Thank you. Holy fuck! Running Space Marine. Yeah, I like that. You can't wear anything with the suit, Blackleaf, at all. You, you can't even have a gun on your back. So to put the suit on, you have to be completely naked of everything. And then you don't have... You can't carry guns on your back anymore. You can only carry one gun on the front of the suit. So you can take one gun or carry another gun in your hands. The suit... The gun goes on the suit itself. That's all... There you go. Look, so somebody asks, there's the suit. That's what it looks like. Uh, and then you've got... I feel like Street Hawk now. Sorry guys, you may not have seen Street Hawk. It's quite a new program up and coming. Nate underscore LapT donated five dollars. The running free man Z isn't that right, Gordon Paul? Dude, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Uh, it seems about right. Cheers for the tip, dude. Oh, to head, thank you again. Just so stressful. really don't want to run around. I, to get to Athena 2, I've got to go over that hill. But this is a really dangerous hill. It's really not stop, not very safe. The read-along... I remember those. I had them for, like, Indiana Jones and stuff. You'd get, like, a... You get like a little storybook and a cassette tape to play along with it. Mass goes up, mass goes down. I like that. Bed goes up, bed goes down. I don't think this can be an unedited Daisy video because the life has been too long. YouTube caps how long you can put things up. You can't put like 20 hour videos on YouTube. It, there's, a, there's a limit to how big the video can be. And I think this would be over. This would have to be edited. So Uncupid has got some, uh, some challenges ahead to make this into a video, I guess. If I have to, I could get away with dropping that bag now, I think. But the only thing I really want out of the bag, really, is the, uh, is the potentially these. Yep, 
just cut out the seven hours. Well, you can't do that if you're doing something unedited, right? Like, we haven't actually been running out on the ice for seven hours. We've barely been out on the ice. We were, we've were we spent most of our time on Tyra Island. I could potentially take the charcoal tablets for now, but in a minute I've got to take this fucking helmet off the suit and then my brain is going to explode. Adrian Cavi, I think that's a good idea. We'll just make it me answering the same question for four hours. <laughs> and that's streaming, though. It's part of it, you know, it's part of it. But you get a bit jaded 11 and a bit hours in. to be honest I really don't and now we're at Athena 2 I still can't do what I want we've got to we've got to somehow get to the mountain and jump in you know we've got to wait for an event we've got to hope there's nobody else here and there probably will be somebody else here Fucking hell, that actually scared Most me. Most underscore of underscore chat donated five dollars. Could you please click on the helmet in your inventory so the little arrow underneath it is pointing down, so that chat can see nothing can be attached to it. Love, Ubi. Most of chat, uh, yeah, I've done it several times, most of chat, but there's nothing to be seen there, it's just the visor. There's nothing to be seen, rest assured. There you go, most of chat. Cheers for the tip. <laughs> Fucking great. Oh my god. You have got to be killing me. Kidding me. If there's players down there, they know I'm coming and they know they've got that I've got uh I think I just got shot. Everyone at. chill, trust the man. I definitely just got shot at. stash sake now it won't let me drag the helmet again
Okay, you need to do that. drink it as much as I can because I, I don't really see I have a great deal of choice let's do that right what am I missing I've got I've got the stuff I need for when we get to Athena 3 I don't think I need a bandage. I don't think I need a bandage because I don't think I can bleed from what, what people are saying. I, I can't bleed. i take it for now. open the door I think fucking way no way he just did that oh that sucks